Hello, everybody, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy-ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> before we get into our session for tonight, uh, we have some quick announcements to get through, uh, including with our first sponsor of the evening, NordVPN. Sam, Woo! take it away. NordVPN, the fastest VPN on the planet, offering amazing features like enjoying your favorite streaming content anywhere in the world, a dark web monitor that guards your online accounts, and most important, NordVPN can foil scams and malware with threat protection. You would not believe how easy it is to be tricked these days. You never know when it's going to happen. What is that? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. What, what is that? Uh... Fire! Fire alarm! Fire alarm! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Fire alarm! Fire! Everybody go! 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 Fire! 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 Jeez! Oh my God! Okay, Mr. Two. Yeah. They bought it. See how easy it is to trick people? That's what I was talking about. And that's why everyone needs to download and install NordVPN to protect your devices from tricksters like me. Okay, now that the ad's done and I've got all the cameras to myself, I can spill any secret about anyone at the table. Like, oh, like Matt. Okay, Matt pretends to be all nice and sweet with his hair and his good looks, but when the cameras are off, ho, 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 he is actually, okay, actually, he's actually kind and wonderful. But that's a bad example. But Talison, ho, oh, oh, ho, Talison. Okay, sometimes when he's a Burning Man, he likes to take new burners under his wing and make sure that they're safe and comfortable. That's also terrible. Terrible gossip, let me think. Uh, fuck. Uh, you know what, I'll, 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 I'll mess with Laura's dice. Oh, she's gonna hate it. She's gonna hate it. She's gonna, she's gonna fucking, she, dude, I can't do it. She sends me funny TikToks all the time, and it's the highlight of my day, and I look forward to her texts. Ugh! Ugh, this is so hard, I want to roast them, but the truth is they're my best friends and I love them very much, okay? But, but just don't tell them I said that, okay? Act like I, I, I spilled some nasty scandalous tea about them, okay? Promise me? Promise me? Ringo! What? Oh, Ringo! Shit. Oh, what are you doing nothing, in here? Nothing, nothing, nothing. What are you telling the audience while we're out of the room? Nothing, nothing. You'll never find out. But you will find the NordVPN deal at nordvpn.com slash critical role and get an extra four months. Try it risk-free now to get a 30-day money-back guarantee. Deal details, two-year plan plus four extra month. Get back in. Matt, hack to you. Okay. What the hell was that? Okay, thank you, Sam. <laughs> Sorry, that was a false alarm. Um, it was a false alarm. Oh, oh, it was a false alarm, apparently. What even was it sound? It was a false alarm. Don't trust you, you piece of shit. Is there a world of the worlds in here. All righty, well, uh, for our second sponsor tonight, coming straight from the pages of the land of Exandria, we have two pairs of adventurers that have arrived in the universe's collectible card game. Yeah. Yeah. Who would win in a fight? Vex, Vax, Jester, not? I don't know, but you can figure it out by fighting it out in the Critical Role Challenger Adventure Series, so Vox cool. Machina, and Critical Role Challenger Series Mighty Nine, available now at your local game store. For more information, go to uvsgames.com slash Critical Role. It's really fun. You get to watch, go watch a video of me and Liam playing, and uh, uh, I'm going to be dragging Marisha into a game at home as soon as we have a moment of free time that we, she wants yeah. to. Yeah. Kick his ass. Kick his ass. Yeah. But anyway, I, put, I put them all in sleeves, and I have them organized, and I have their own little deck boxes. Anyway, uh, <laughs> they, all, they also have. Uh, Cool. Art. Oh my gosh, these are so play, cool. play mats. Yes, on them. these are, so are really, pretty. really pretty little mats. Uh, they're awesome. They gave me a bunch. I've been, they? I've been playing. Oh wow! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, I I actually, can I save them because I want to? I've been wanting a new mat for my computer. Anyway. Great, great. I'm gonna keep these on the side. Laura, wow. go ahead. <laughs> Your turn. I played oh, like twenty times. Oh. I have, I have stuff. Yeah. I have a shirt. I'm on the merch side. It's weird over here. It is weird. It's weird. It's our Bell's Hells design, but now it's on a lightweight hoodie. Which you can wear it in the summer. You know, it's like a little cozy. Yeah, 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 <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, Laura. Marisha, you're I next. I have announcements too. The VOD for the second episode of 
Candela Obscura, Circle of the Crimson Mirror is now available on Twitch and YouTube as the investigations of this eclectic circle take them to a masquerade <laughs> auction like with that. a grim task. <laughs> I should have read it at least once beforehand, but I didn't. Check it out! It's the darkest one. It's the darkest one. Oh, is it? Fancy. Oh, it got real it got fancy. Oh, boy. It got crazy. Yeah. Talison lived his best spooky life. Oh, it's beautiful. It's Talison, spooky Talison shines. I yes, had, I had some correct. fun on that one. That episode. Mm. It's like. One of your best characters. Spooky Talison has normal hair. Yeah, that's, that's that true. That's true. If you want to see my normal hair, <laughs> it's... and that's when I saw the picture, I was like, "What's wrong?" <laughs> oh, he's like normal hair. Yeah, I grew it out. I stopped calling yeah. him for it's, a while. Uh, when all the cast photos went up. We had people being hair. like, "Who's you know, this cast member?" Here's my <laughs> here's my pitch to our audience. Mm. It's my favorite thing that Talison has done after Percy. Ooh. I got it. You did text me that. High praise. You did text it is, me that. It's good. Really, Shit. really yeah. Leo, Leo's a vibe. Yeah. But Sir Dante. Sir Dante is a, is a different vibe, but they're in definitely the same family. Okay. It's the same character. We have four announcements. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? Uh -huh. Also, thank you so much to everyone who has helped us so far play test Dagger Heart. Yay. Thank you, Yay. Travis. Um, Yay. Like genuinely, it's an invaluable part of the development process, and we've. Just loved getting to see all the creative ways that you've made characters, you've made worlds, you've made stories together, and uh, broken the system in all of its beautiful ways that it can be broken so we can fix it and make it back even better for the next update and the eventual release. But if you haven't had a chance to try it out yet, you can go to daggerheart.com for the latest materials and information about it. So please be sure to tell us what you think through our official surveys, because that, that official channel is what we use to go ahead and look at all the feedback. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Sending messages to us online, we won't look at those, but the official surveys, we will obsess over them. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I think that concludes our announcement. Oh, man. Oh, We're going to split it up. Oh, oh, so, oh, let's go ahead and jump into tonight's episode of Critical Role. Oh. Oh. the top two by two we fall will we beat our end or meet our destiny hold your breath and roll how do you want to do this it's thursday night all ye critters come join us it's time to continue our flight there is magic and mystery who knows what will happen he might For sure, we never give up on the fight. From the healer to the renegade, we all share the same goal. Adding more allies, taking more chances. Hold your breath and roll. You can certainly try. It's Thursday night. All ye critters, come join us. It's time to continue our Our friendship will rise But one thing's for sure We never give up on the fight Oh, get ready It's Thursday night Welcome back. <laughs> So last we left off, Bell's Hells deep inside the moon of Ruidus, into the crux of the main core of its long-hidden civilization, the capital city of Creviris. Here in Vetera Creviris, the subterranean mass of this metropolis, you have made allies with the Volition, the resistance force that has long fought against the Weave Mind and the Imperium that rules over pretty much all living sentient beings here on the moon. They've been discussing their plans, many of which are all to transpire today. The initial one being a, a sabotage detonation of their core digging tunnel beneath the glass pillar that marks the center of the city. That distraction setting off multiple other tracks. You have decided to split and be part of two of these four missions. 
with the individuals here, planning to be part of the demolition crew alongside Ira Wendigoth, the Nightmare King himself, and this crew on this side being part of a search and rescue mission for a spire operative for the Volition that has gone missing. As you've gathered your materials, you've requested some of the general notes, as well as what other things might be you know, pertinent to uh, Everoa, the individual you're seeking, this Bormoda scientist working among the various engineers. Um, you've gathered your things. You've had invisibility and see, invis see invisibility cast on most of you. Um, <laughs> I have my. Yeah. So you got that possibility. Though casting that will drop your invisibility. Oh, fuck. Well, now, now it even gets more exciting. Exactly. Um, I'd say at this point, as we go ahead and watch the two groups diverge, um, let's hop in first. Us, oh, that's right, we're invisible, we're but we still wave. <laughs> we saw each other as we left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hop in with, I'm going to roll for it. Let's see Ooh, who, wow. who starts first. We already first. Like, deviated. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, one, two. All right, so we're going to jump in with the bombing mission. Oh, you guys are oh, dead! Let's go. We're dead! Let's go. Oh, no. Come on, team bomb. All of you somewhat cloaked underneath the seeming illusion that the Nightmare King had placed you under. Um, we have a, a curious looking crew here. We have the standing uh, Greyford Quantica here. Uh, we have a Bormodo. Traveling, kind of their squat skitter herself, and uh, a, a tiny mice seat who is following along as Ira has taken on the form of one of these thought sneaky eaters. Little mice. Just a sneaky little mice seat. That's all you want. But as you scatter away from one of the hidden exits of the current safe house that the Volition uses, you enter the outskirts of the region of the city known as the Sprawl Grotto. Here, as you kind of look about, there is just an Especially from like a, a near ground floor level, an endless, almost MC Escher like maze of streets and stairs and stone walkways that just weave and twist into each other. Buildings kind of uh, popping out at, at almost odd angular directions, um, built upon themselves. And it just, it's beautiful as it is also a bit intimidating. But uh, Ira has kind of takes notice of all of you kind of processing the expanse before you and kind of turns around, glancing all of you. Do not worry, friends, just stay close and follow. If you see anything strange, speak up. Well, you'll see a lot of things that are strange. Anything that seems threatening. All right. You're not going to leave us to die like your other, your, the group you just tried this with, right? Oh, I didn't leave them to die. They just happened to die. <laughs> and then I left. <laughs> it's an important distinction. Sure, sure. Well, just don't do that either, okay? No promises. And kind of begins to glide away as you begin to follow suit behind, stepping into the bustling streets <laughs> around you. Uh, you can look around and, and see there are families walking around uh, with bundles of, of, looks like either farmed or traded, bartered for uh, fungus and vegetation. You go by and see the small like crafting huts and tents that are set up. It, it's, it's, an, it's a unique mirror to the Exandria life you're used to, because a lot of it seems a very unique interpretation of familiar, from, I'll say familiarity, but familiar things in the daily life that you're familiar with. Um, you see people pulling beasts of burden through, wakors being kind of pushed along, dragging carts behind them. They're heavy breathing and low guttural growls, just kind of echoing across the street, the dust beating, getting kicked up underneath your feet, that kind of slight layer of red that comes and settles as it does. Um, the lanterns themselves, the beautiful glowing blue kind of shifting and pulsing with the movement of the nearby populace. Um, you find one uh, Ryloran beggar that comes up, himself looking quite destitute, that kind of emerges and puts their hand out. And, and within, it's, it'd be going straight to you, actually, Fern. Uh, you hear in your mind, uh, please, tools or any anything. <laughs> Take 
take out uh, some. Lots of stuff. Got some you lots You've of got stuff. lots of it. Need, need some help there, Fernie? As you're looking, Ira goes, ah! Oh! And just glares at the beggar who. <laughs> no, no, no. And no, just no. darts back off into the shadow. And Ira adjusts. Yo, why'd you just get mad at him? Like that? What'd you just get mad at him for? Act the part. Is everyone here a dick? No, but if we're officials, if we're trying to oh, not oh. raise suspicion if you're traveling with me. All right, dicks. Well, I'll take no out dicks some. today? Mm. I'll still take out some, some change and kind of just, just like to try to, try to. Make, make his lot of hand check. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse steel. Look like you're not throwing change on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just trying to. Oh, natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most like, casual oh, natural 20. Yeah. Oh, natural 20. Oh. As, as the Bing. beggar, like, frustratingly sneaks away and, and watches most of your crew begin to vanish, kind of looks down and what do they see in their hand? Um, they see you asked for tools. Um, I gave them a little uh, a hairpin. I know it's not really. Uh, it may work for something, I don't know. It's really strong. Sorry. <laughs> to take it and look at it. Look back over to the uh, thought eater mystic visage that Ira has and shrinks away, but gives like a nod of acceptance and thank you. Okay, bye, I'm gonna go be mean. <laughs> you just gave that guy an alien artifact, by the way. I just hope you. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, you know. Yeah, it's super cool. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty, pretty cool. cool right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The metal's hard to come here. by here. Yeah, metal's hard to come yeah. by. Okay, good. Just putting that out there. You can hear the, as you cluster around Ira's <laughs> movement, though the uh, the mystic uh, image that he carries, a, a taller than usual mystic, um, which definitely catches a few eyes, but you get the sense there's not much that can be done about that to a certain point. Um, yeah, it's just unarmed and carrying no extra provisions, you do hear the occasional like shift and clank of the, the explosive materials that he's hidden within the satchel that hangs on his back. Um, you notice it. Thankfully, no one really gets close enough to a, a mystic of this sort of dress that is walking the standard streets of the Sprawl Grotto. And you do notice that as you move, there's a wedge that begins to form amongst the crowd, everyone kind of keeping a wide berth and a, a nod of reverence as the four of you pass by. Um, there is definitely a heavily enforced classist structure within this city, with the the higher rungs going to the mystics and the psychically gifted of the Rylorian. Psst, Ira. Just so I can act the part, I can't talk, right? Do not talk. Okay. Just be obnoxiously cute. Well, just while no one's looking here, Maybe we should carry one of the bombs in case we get to the target before you do. Great idea. Great we'll distribute idea. in a safe place, but we should not do that in the middle of the street. Okay, okay. Hey, by the way, what is the target? What are we blowing up? Oh, <laughs> there, are a few op there are a few opportunities here. I have not been to this particularly fresh tunnel. So we are looking for either the signs of a uh, a central weight loading pillar or a place of extreme weakness in the structure that could bring down the majority of the tunnel, or perhaps the source of their actual dig and destroy their means of digging further in this and perhaps other places unless they have something ready or repair it within a short time. So, keep your eyes peeled. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shifting on and following the paths, it's almost dizzying at some of the walkways. So what you would see a standard street suddenly splits in two different directions and rises, like small uh, footbridges that go over other buildings and then want to weave back down to a separate street. It has this almost, uh, if it wasn't static, it looks like it's built with momentum. Like, if you were to go through it quickly, it would look like it's organic in the own way that the streets flow and move. Um, you get the sense that a lot of the architecture is inspired on the dreams they experience. And many dreams themselves are also very odd and amorphous. 
and some of that is captured in the layout of the city. Um, at certain moments, the way that streets tend to like bank and turn as they shift around, you begin to question really which way is up, especially being underground as long as you are. And if any of you were prone to vertigo, you would begin to feel it kick in around this time a little bit. Um, but you continue on. You begin to hear the distant echo of numerous like barking sounds, and these odd kind of throaty calls. As you come around one bend, Iris says, stay close. Do you hear those throaty calls? I do. Okay. <laughs> she, she, earlier when you gave that hairpin away, yeah. you should have said it was a gift from Chetney Claws. So, oh, should have, should so we can start the, so the legend. Say, you know what? Next, if it comes up again, or if okay. I see them again for some weird reason, yeah. I'll tell them that that was from How Chetney Claws. How many do you have? I have probably hundreds. Oh my gosh. I don't know. They all just stick it in my Are throat. you two gonna do your like, or no, are you gonna do your rock thing, or? If I have to. Okay. I don't know yet, I, I don't know yet. So what is your, what is your thing that you do now? Well, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Oh boy. It's a surprise. Continuing on, as you come over this large, uh, kind of rising crest, you can see the uh, kind of dull white glow of the central glass pillar with that kind of uh, shift of, of green and teal and blue that kind of sparkles throughout it. Um, it's even larger when you're sitting towards the base of it. You have a hard time grasping the scope and scale of it amongst the buildings, because the further in you go, it doesn't seem to get that much larger while other buildings pass by. It is incredible, the size of this uh, massive vein of Ruidian glass. Um, and amongst the core of it, too, you can see the dark spots, almost like sunspots against the star, where the structures that are built into and through it emerge, That the center of that being the Arx Kenium. Um, and beneath that, as the the massive stronghold kind of twists down and shifts. You can see the rising towers that do eventually become the Colloquium of Candescence, where you know your friends are on their way towards. And you think a little, think a little thought for the success of their mission. Um, but the animalistic sounds get louder, and as you come past that one large land bridge that comes over a wall, you can see below what you can only describe as beast pits. There's these massive paddocks that sit around some uh, smaller kind of military barracks, and you can see uh, a number of Avadons that are all kind of armored and kept. You can see some of them have reins, some of them have weapons affixed to their back. Um, you can see there are clusters of uh, what look to be kind of like metal netted in slithers that are kind of almost like when you bring up fish off of a Outside of a boat, they're kept within an, a, a large net, kind of a uh, dome, like a Thunderdome-esque type center that keeps them from burrowing away. And you can hear the the cracking of like uh, sounds like a whip or some sort of a, a disciplinary device as uh, Rylorans and soldier armor are in the process of working within training. You can uh, glance down and see uh, these terrifying-looking insect entities that are. 15 feet tall, if not larger, themselves. They have kind of these massive mantis-like claws and this long crested head that comes up into uh, multiple spikes, kind of reminiscent of the Rhyloran uh, head crest, but even wider and kind of jagged at the edges. Uh, it has um, all these tiny legs, and you can see them uh, affixed with their own sets of armor and straps, and there are, on a few of them, multiple Rhyloran that are kind of climbing and holding them. These are like massive siege creatures of some kind. Oh, um, <laughs> Fern, make a, uh, make a perception check for yeah. me, if you don't mind. Eighteen. Eighteen, okay. You glance over and you, a couple things you notice. One, the these massive insect creatures the shape and size of the head is reminiscent of the skull that you saw above the glassworks when you first got to the city of Kerviris. Um, there was a particular skull that you were told to look for, um, and uh, the Vidulch was the creature 
and you now, this is your first time seeing an actual live Vidalch, and you can see a number of them that are being prepared for some sort of battle or travel. Vidalch. Second thing you notice is on one kind of rocky precipice that sits near uh, one section of the kind of heavy barracks <laughs> with what looks to be like some sort of siege defense weaponry attached to it, uh, chained to this pointed crest is a fold, massively folded wings that are curled in, and you see a creature that is sleeping. A familiar sight <gasps> as you see the resting gargantuan form of Gloomglut, the fey dragon that the Sorrow Lord Star took as their mount. Just to the moon? Mm -hmm. I can't fly my steel right now. Steal it right now. Steal it. Oh my god, we could steal it. We could steal a dragon. You could. That was my first option. Okay. I'm sure. <laughs> Might as well give it a try. What? Marisha. Wow. <laughs> How dare. Really? This is a children's show. <laughs> Adult children. As quick as you notice it, you watch it kind of like fidget. <laughs> its head comes up for a second, and it looks over the kind of beast pits around it, and you kind of instinctually recoil in fear that maybe it noticed you, but it just seems to be bothered by some of the nearby sounds and gives this kind of <laughs> sound out that echoes, and the beasts get quiet for a second. And you see like all the workers just kind of look up towards it. It readjusts like one turns over on its other side in bed and then curls back to sleep. With that, Ira glides you all off this path and underneath what looks like a small, brief set tunnel that comes towards the base of the prime pillar that sits in the center of Creviris. There you can see there are four structures that are currently manned by a number of, a mixture of soldiers and miners. And what looks to be a fresh excavation tunnel that's about 30 feet wide and about 20 to 25 feet tall, itself like heavily reinforced in a dome that descends kind of towards the more the rocky, heavy base before the glass of the central pillar begins to shoot upward. Ira kind of leans into the rest of you and says, "This is the entrance to our target. So let's do our best to stay close." Talk only when necessary. And if anything goes sideways, creatively find ways to do away with unwanted curiosities. Come. As he glides towards the entryway, and the three of you begin to follow, we're going to come to this troop oh! over here. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Team invisibility. Um, Team infiltration. Indeed. Both. Either. Take your pick. Invisible infiltration. Invisiltration. Invisiltration. Oh, I squared. <laughs> there it is. Um, <laughs> as you trek away from the separate exit that you were pointed towards, you emerge into uh, a, a separate part of the city and begin to, you know at least the direction of the target and you got a sight of it before you left from the kind of you know, overwatch position of the, uh, the safe house kind of crystalline wall. Um, but the trek in getting there is a little bit up to you since this is unfamiliar. So we're on city streets at this point? You're on Escher? You're, yeah, you're on uh, some part of the street level of where the kind of the Escher roads can begin to emerge to join with the Sprawl Grotto. The Sprawl Grotto. Um, prog rock? Spread, yeah, the Prog Rock Rottle. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> prog Rock Rottle. <laughs> I want to go to there. <laughs> Alan Parsons all day, hell yeah. <laughs> um, who is leading this, this well, search? Is it just oh. the four of us, or are we being accompanied we by anybody else? We have no accompaniment. No, it's just There's us. only you're the only team oh. of four that are invisible and able to make this journey. Well, we need to head towards the giant tower because that's that's where the colloquium of condescence is going to be, yeah. right? Can we you were pointed to where the colloquium is. You kind of were were guided where on the the massive glass pillar it resides. So you know what it looks like from a distance, and you know the basic direction from where you are. Just getting from point A to point B is going to be its own journey. Can we see each other? We can see each other. We can see Chet. Chet can't see us. Correct. 
the three of us can see each other. We yes. can also see Chet. I've we got my hand, Chet I got my hand on Orm's back. Okay. Just hold on. That's cool. He didn't take that. Yeah. He didn't. No, I didn't take the mark of the beast, okay? I'm <laughs> 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 gonna live here. Wait, that doesn't um, stack. <laughs> what would your survival? Oh, what would this be goodness. survival? Hmm? What what would this be? I think it's a investigation. Uh, investigation no, perception. perception. For this it would be either investigation or survival, I'd say. Because because part of it is figuring out the, the flow of the city survival or kind of naturally following the flow of the the rock and shifting inside of the cavern. All right, so well, choice is yours. All right, then how about Chet, you lead the way since you since we can seem see confident. You. We can see where you're going. Yeah, I'll put my hand on your shoulder, Pops. You go first. Oh, invisible hands touching me. Oops, sorry, let me go higher. Years. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, investigation or survival? Tight. Your call. Okay, investigation, please. <clears throat> uh, uh, 16. 16, okay. You feel fairly confident that you can find uh, a short-ish path to your destination, and you begin to trek that way. As you move through the streets to be unseen, unheard, I'd like a group stealth check from the four of you, please. How, how busy are the streets? As you go, th as you begin to, to enter, their parts are not as busy, and others are quite busy. And you begin to see. Uh, well, let's go ahead and roll, and I'll tell you what you see along the way. We don't want to. Oh my God! I don't know. What do you get? What'd you natural get? twenty <gasps> for a third. Ooh. I got a natural one no. for a natural one. Now you have advantage on this because you're invisible. Yes! Oh, I, yeah. I, I did roll advantage. Thought I did it wrong. Natural twenty. <laughs> oh shit! Okay. Oh. Dang. Yeah. Invisibility gives you advantage. Come on, you guys. Two more, and we win the game. So. I rolled a two. Fuck. <laughs> you did twice as well. Get out. I did. Get out and come I, back I, in. <laughs> Reboot. That is a one hundred percent improvement. That is actually. <laughs> that is. <laughs> I rolled a thirteen. Okay, okay. So a two for a, 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 a myself this high. For an eight for me. Okay, that's, that's you know, better, <laughs> roller, baby. better than a one. <laughs> um, so with two natural 20s, uh, the, the two crits certainly helped. Um, as you begin to weave through the very alleyways and, and, and discovering areas where they kind of come to an, a, a, a rapid and unnecessary close, kind of clamoring over roofs to get to the next area and get a viewpoint, um, you have a couple of close calls of like nudging something or knocking something over, and people kind of look, but nobody seems to reach out or spend too much time investigating uh, this far out into the city. There's enough going on, and with enough going on, you begin to pick out what is going on in a lot of places. The the people of the city are indeed packing. You can see a lot of uh, structures and buildings, places of business are picking up their banners. You can see people are loading up carts. You can see Wukors and other, uh, even Avedons that are, have been trained uh, are being loaded up with goods. Um, not for like an immediate bit of movement, but you can see people making the steps of an eventual relocation. Um, and among them you see all manner of Imperium soldiers, warriors, um, both being guides to the populace there. Not in an aggressive way to the Rylorans and occasionally to a dismissive way to some of the other species. Um, but guiding everyone to uh, answer any questions, keep people organized. Um, you also notice as you're traversing through here, there are numerous bands of Mycete, clusters of them, that are coming up from various small tunnels on the kind of the outskirts of these various pathways, and they are bundling masses of multicolored fungus, some that looks like it's been dried and folded and some that looks like kind of fresh and somewhat moist and, and vibrant, it's blues and purples and reds. Um, you see clusters of the same uh, kind of spongy, uh, like fungus tree material you saw growing on the surface that was being harvested as well. It looked like veins and cowbirds. Yeah, and these are being placed into large collections. Um, there is uh, quite a bit of, of business going around the city all around, and everything seems to be building towards an energy of um, many leaving. Uh, Do the, yes, Chad. Really, <laughs> <thanks. laughs> are they being gin, are they gingerly carrying the fungus or are they kind of like roughly throwing it and collecting it together or is it more? It's ginger. They're, they're, pretty, they're pretty ginger in their approach to most all activity that you've seen. I'm not um, checking hay, bale, hay bales though. They're like moving they're with purpose. They're being sweet. Yeah. 
they're, maybe treating it with a little delic delicacy. It could be. Um, but you do also notice some of the soldiers come up and give them demands and guide them in different areas, and they just continue to follow orders. And okay. off. You, you get the sense that the mice are either uh, also under Imperium uh, control, or at least are used to just following whatever seems like the whims of those around them. I what's the them. what's the demeanor, the vibe check of the people who are not Imperium? Are they looking haggard? Do they look put out? Or is it just someone getting ready to move from one house to another? The f you begin further out in the city, and from the outskirts of the Sprawl Grotto, what you do see, the, the soldier presence is minimal, and most people look like they're in some level of just above squalor. Um, not quite as bad as some of the people that you saw on the top side, um, but it is definitely, they don't have a whole lot to pick up and move, and so they're just kind of slowly putting it together while still taking care of their families and checking in on each other. Um, occasionally you hear the you know, screech of an unseen flying creature ahead, and you can see them kind of look a little nervously and then continuing whatever business they're doing for the day. I mean, a lot of it is, is people just going about their lives, just with a little bit of that odd energy of something, something's coming in there, getting ready for it. I wonder what kind of a timeline they've been given. Uh, what do you reckon, weeks? Not know. many. No, I don't, I don't even think weeks anymore. Might be something to ask when we finish this. When we're not invisible? Yeah. What about that ball? <laughs> I've got, I've <laughs> got a proxy on this side of the table. What is it? Yep. Do I see? Uh, you you notice the, the glow itself is now it's pointing towards the center of the glass pillar, the prime pillar, in the direction of the arcs. That's where we're going. Where we're going Still right. down or more right. kind of central to it. Where you're heading is towards the base. So she's moved up, right? So she's up. She's further up in like the, the major stronghold in the center of the world. Oh. Space, space. She's with the weave mind. Um we get Do that. we see on our path on as we're going, do I see the music hall anywhere? Uh we make a perception check as we're traveling along. Okay. Go for it. Woven Go for music it, yeah. grand hall. Yes, Looks that. like a big shell. I don't uh, see it. Jeez, okay. <laughs> it's you're it's cause you're sitting next to me. There's also a lot. It's a very, very Maybe you know, it's a it's a fresh, unique, and busy place. And so you, it, there's just so much to see from a distance. Parts of it look almost like an ant hill with the people shifting through the different elements and the blinking of the lantern lights. It's almost hypnotizing, and you have to catch yourself and keep pushing forward. Um, you also begin to hear the sound of music. And that kind of perks your ear, and as you kind of follow it for a moment, uh, no music call, but you do see uh, what looks like a pair of Quanicas and a Rylorn in kind of normal, a bit ragged clothing with a handful of instruments that are just playing music on the side of the street together, just having a miniature jam session, this little bit of, of art, this little spark, uh, and it, the instruments look Familiar, but not quite the ones you're used to. One of them almost resembles like a looter guitar, but it has like a backward bend to it, and he plucks from the front like this. Um, you see an, another one that has this long like didgeridoo, but he's played like a flute with the with the finger flaps, like do 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 do. It has this really like, bassy. Awesome. Oh, and it it creates a very very new sound to you, and it 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 adds kind of an element of jovialness to this otherwise kind of. Intense uh, atmosphere. Super surreal. Does it seem like um, the people on the street are the people on the street? You know, people <laughs> are enjoying the sound of music. Do, are like anybody stopping and watching the jam session? Yeah, a few people kind of stop and listen in, and then go on their work. Yeah. You see, like you know, these. Uh, um, you see, like a, a Bomoto child and a Ryan Lauren child that are kind of kind of curled behind what looks to be a, a half-filled box. By some sort of like odd herbalist set up there, and they're both just kind of watching and listening in, and it's just this little slice of life here in the moment that kind of feels nice amongst the rest of the tension that's been there. Is there anything in the air? Anything patrolling creatures, caves on the surface? Anything above us that we might need to be tracking or thinking? Yeah, you mentioned yeah. flying creatures. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I'm always 
looking for things that are going to kill us, but I rolled balls. You did? I did. 18. 15 for me. <laughs> you don't see anything patrolling. Get the other side. <laughs> <laughs> don't see anything patrolling, but glancing up in some of the kind of cleft and, and, and cre crevice like shadows along parts of the ceiling, you occasionally see something shift, like a, like a wing that kind of flexes a bit and then goes back, and you get the sense that there are probably a number of subterranean flying beasts here that kind of nestle up within those areas. Okay. You don't know if they're patrolling or they're just part of the natural ecology. Got it. Do we see an obvious path downward? Uh, well, because of you guiding them with your investigation, you do bring them to uh, an area where the city begins to build up even further. The standard homesteads and kind of rough and tumble stone buildings and hut-like structures that made the outskirts of the Sprawl Grotto begin to give way to larger, more refined buildings. And here the, the, the populace begins to be less diverse and more uh, primarily Rhyloran. And you begin to see them dressed a little better. You begin to see uh, a sense of, of adornment and uh, accessorizing that uses a lot of the Rudian glass, that uses a lot of precious metals that are fairly uncommon in the outskirts of the city, um, as well as a stronger military presence. Um, this area is m more heavily patrolled, um, and definitely there, there is a, a, a noticeable division the further in you go from the people that are closer to the Weave Mind and its vision and those that are not. You know, it makes me wonder hmm. if the Rylorans think this highly of themselves. How are they going to do when they're plopped in the middle of Exandria? And they're not top dogs anymore. Well, they are pretty powerful, at least a lot of them. So they may be top dogs. Seem to like their systems. I mean, not a lot of people reading each other's thoughts or able to enter each other's thoughts in Alexandria, so. I don't know, just makes me wonder. Speaking of, does it seem like any of the Rylorans that we pass can yeah. sense our thoughts, can sense that something's around that they can't see? Make an insight check for me. I also farted, but I just felt bad for <laughs> I was trying to play it off. <laughs> I was a 400-year-old one. Oh, Jeez, did you see that God. shit, shitty I shit? I did, I did. Uh, Speaking of the glamour. The first one was a two, though. <laughs> so that would be a seven. Seven. Kind of hard to tell. They're, 200 you've, years old. You've, you've learned a bit about their mannerisms as, as creatures, as entities, as people, right at the bottom of the um, but n n you're uncertain if you're able to pick up any sort of vibe or um, Physical acknowledgement of you passing by. We're not going to have any d20s by the end of this. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely the dice and not you. Oh! Whose are these? I don't that know, one's I just mine. Them. That's cool. That's you one's mine. You got some more. Perfect. I don't know if they're. Nope. nope. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> that one's out. And yeah, we're managing to stay. Like away yeah, from no, traffic no, areas, where yeah, okay. I, I, with you leading and being the like sneaky bitch anyway. that you are, I am. don't perceive uh, <laughs> me. What are you going to say, Orum? I forgot. <laughs> um, I think that if their intentions were on the up and up, there would be open communication going in two directions that wouldn't just drop out of the sky. You mean the Rhino Lawrence yeah. and Come the Alexandria? Alexandria? Yes, I was hearkening back before checking yeah, the spark, which distracted me. <laughs> but it's very possible. You know, they have no communication outside of Lutonus. You know, all all that they know of <laughs> all that they know of us. <laughs> You're such a dick. It's very hard to concentrate. We can on a see you. It's we can see you. It's not dispersing. I'm not it's looking at you, but I can smell you. It's hard to get rid of, That's just so like hard. me. <laughs> You were talking about the brutality of caste systems. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he cast in King Cloud. Constitution saves all around. Uh. Oh, Mama's gassed past. <laughs> Let's keep looking. All right. 
another 15 or so minutes of skirting through the shadows before you find a break in the more upscale neighborhoods that you've been skittering through. And here you come upon uh, that gap that sits beneath the large and winding walkways. There you can see the distant beast pits and hear the barking and calling of the various creatures that are being prepared for what is to come soon. You also can see here at the base of the incredibly immense prime pillar, the stronghold that is the Ark's crown, just kind of embedded in and spiraling around the exterior. You get the sense that it's probably built into to some degree, but much of it that sits outside uh, is impressive in its own right. And Orem, you focusing in and looking can see a couple of things kind of moving around. And with just a brief little bit of focus, you can see their Rhylorans. Mystics that are just floating around. Floating around and the exterior? Yeah, just flying around. Just moving from level to level. How like, high above is the nearest of those? Uh, six hundred feet. <sighs> six hundred And I mean I, I know that we're looking through I'm I'm sure I can't see to the very like un unhindered, my sight doesn't go to the top of this cavern, mm. but like looking through holes through different Escher stairs and bridges and stuff, how high do we guesstimate that this pillar goes? Quarter mile. Quarter mile? Wow. This is right, a very it's like large Grand Canyon camper. size yeah. scale. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well. And, and there won't, we won't, uh, is there a footpath that would lead us anywhere near, like the, ex even at the base, the exterior of this main pillar, or is that? We're trying to get to the colloquium, right? Which yeah. you saw at a distance, and now as you get close, you follow the towers of the colloquium that kind of eventually curl up and merge with the bottom of the arc, the arcs canium, uh, and you can see the actual hall of higher learning kind of just off to the right-hand side of the pillar the way you're looking at it now. Um, it looks more like a castle of shaped rock and marble, probably about 200 feet up at its bulk, and then some of the towers kind of rise up to connect with and meet the base of the central stronghold of the pillar. Um, you can see winding stairways and other scattered buildings kind of rising up from the entrance, kind of creating, it's almost like each structure is a wasp nest built into the side of this glass pillar. Um, from a distance, it looks just kind of rough and grown, and as you get close, you can see the refined details of the architecture. Um, this odd mingling of, of organic and uh, you know, refinement of mortals. Um, you can see there's balconies that kind of sit all up along the edges of this. There's different sections and different portions of the colloquium kind of have their own unique personality to it. Um, you eventually kind of rotate around and can see the entrance where there are two massive 10 foot bronze doors that mark the prime entrance. Uh, currently guarded by what looks six armored cool. Rhylorian soldiers. Six. Six. Cool, 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 cool. And on that arc around, any any other ant hill entrances and that are smaller out of the way, higher up? Windows. When, yeah, Fence. right. Yeah. Anything that could be flown to by those of us who can fly. Oh, there are numerous balconies. Yeah. There are numerous balconies that sit along this. You, you, you can't quite get enough detail at this distance um, if they're enclosed or there are doors involved. Um, when you get closer, you can go ahead and look for such specifics. But uh, yeah, there are numerous entrances beyond just the main entrance. They're just tall, and they're, it would be a climb or a flight to get there. You have a, I could spider climb and maybe bring six. someone yeah. with me on my back. Do you have to cast spider climb, though? I do. So you could cast Spider Climb, then I could recast Invisibility on both of us, so that you could get up there without being seen. You can climb and you can fly, but sure, but, but if I wouldn't be able do to do it while I was invisible. Time. So if you I'm, if you cast that. Spider Climb, I can at least recast Invisibility on you so that you <clears throat> can get up. Oh, you are invisible. right. Using your spell like that. What do you mean? I just don't want you to feel like it's a waste. Yeah. If I do anything. Shush. Shush. Yeah. 
It was nice. Before she we touched before me. we roll out the front door, <laughs> oh, 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 we could just girlfriend. <laughs> those two ten foot bronze doors. Yeah. Uh, the six guards that are guarding them are they within ten feet of the doors? Or are they down a set of stairs? Is there a distance, a gap between them and the door? There are two uh, Rylorn hulks. The ones that are the the massively muscular, taller kind of brutish ones um, that uh, some are juggernauts and other types that within the military. Um, there are two of them that kind of sit about five feet in front of the doors. Five feet. Yeah. And there are four other standard Rylorans, all, um, as you kind of get a decent glance, and Orm can definitely see their details from this far away with your incredible passive perception. Um, they, get better. they all can, <laughs> they all carry. Um, Variations of uh, glass weaponry as well. And are they also five feet within the door, or a bit? No, no. Sorry, they, they are. They are kind of like uh, almost like a flying V down two different staircases that kind of curl up and merge at the top. So there's like the two at the top, and then there's two more, and then two more. Okay. And the door is shut. Uh, from what you can tell, it is shut. Yeah. So if we even solid. tried to get near them, yeah. they, all their weapons would light up for me. Uh, those weapons light up when I get. Those close. weapons. Are currently lit because they are also ones. near other ones. Yes. Okay, that's good. That's I good. can take care of the two big guys and get us through the door. It's the other five I'm worried about. How about we try? We we as we get closer, let's look at if there we can get up to a balcony. Take care of them. How? I mean, I'll distract them and pick the door, and we could get in. But I'm worried about the other five maybe hearing us or something as we go by. So if we could yeah. sneak in, that'd be better. It's a solid fucking door, too, right? Yeah. It's not like correct. I mean, like it has has like carving in it, like it has designs. You can't quite see, make out the specifics of it from a yeah. distance, right. but it's, it's an important structure. We're in the middle of the moon. It's not that impressive. <laughs> How much can they know about doors? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is the likelihood of somebody coming in and out soon, though? <laughs> if someone comes out or goes in soon, then maybe we could just <laughs> just sneak up, sneak wow. by. I mean, if we look out, Matt happens amazing. If not, then I think we should try to climb the balcony. Okay. Yeah. So maybe and, and we. Do you have a climbing uh, plan of attack? Well, she's got an immovable rod. We've got some rope. She climbs up, clicks it. We all climb up the side. Let's see the rope. It's great. But does anybody have the ability? Can to... we? Oh. Um, <laughs> can we do a little? Okay. Spend ten or fifteen minutes trying to move around, do a full sweep all the way around. It's, is it dark? Is it well lit everywhere? Yeah, like a little casing recon action. I mean, there yeah. are, around, around the base of it, there are a number of military structures that are kind of scattered about. There are, around the, the base of the pillar, um, wider gaps and roads than further in. There's almost like a, an intentionally built reverent distance mm -hmm. to the central pillar mm -hmm. between a lot of the architecture. And most of what sits around the base seems to be either an extension, uh, an, an extension of the. Uh, what is that? I don't even know anymore. What is that? <laughs> it's a good smolder, though. I kind of like it. That is, is that from? Is that what's that from? I don't even fucking oh, know. It's good. It looks like you're in a it nuclear like, bomb going It looks on. like you were in a romance novel or something. Was that when you were the like pizza delivery guy in that short? Somebody. Film? That say that is. I think that's exactly what that. <laughs> no, no. That's no. Old. <laughs> no, that was from the Geek USA movie where I, I was a, a burnout. Um, oh my yeah, I think. that's right. Anyway, regardless. <laughs> Your jawline looks really nice. Totally yeah, it's all been downhill yeah. since then. This is like a lot. Look what nine years of streaming ago. have done to me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just made you handsome. Um, <laughs> you just he looks like his browser like so close together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just keep your pecs apart. Uh, he's okay, okay. So Sorry, reverence in between the structures. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> okay, back in now. I <laughs> got pulled out of my med space. Um, so um, wide reverential space around the correct. base. Correct. Um, there are like nooks and crannies between where rocks and stones that, because the, the pillar doesn't just Rise out of the ground. There is kind of like a, a, an element of the of the eroded rock and stone over time. It's kind of built along the base to give kind of a gradual incline to where the structures are built out of and kind of merge around the pillar itself. To go completely around the pillar would be like an, an hour. Yeah, it's like, like it's not longer. It's a it's a it's a massive. But there's little crevices that we could hide in. 
To a certain extent, yeah. Maybe or you could drop the rope, rope like, down, and down crevice. like a crevice. Down a little yeah, irregularity. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just to ask it, the, the crevices in between the structures, there's no exposed part of the column where you could move in between buildings and like actually like reach the column, the blue glass. But you could, but but to where it, the structures themselves are built into it solidly, yeah. any other space where it's just natural kind of rock that is that it's still there kind of like the it, base of a tooth kind of. Correct, yeah. yeah. You could get to it, but you'd be out in the open. Kind of got it. But if you're invisible, not a huge deal, but you could okay. definitely do that, yeah. Okay. I kind of want to touch the column. We will, Chet. <laughs> will we? we We're will. going to balconies and stuff. We're going to touch the column. All right. Balconies <laughs> and stuff. All right. As we get closer, <laughs> can we keep eyes open for balconies we could reach with a spider climb? Sure. Uh, there are a number. Uh, there's a few things you notice. Uh, the lowest balcony, not far from the entryway and where you're kind of standing on the outskirts of the colloquium, um, is about 60 or so feet up. Uh, they're all kind of about maybe 50 feet apart and they're all kind of situated among different sections of towers that emerge from it. It has that weird like castle parapets, but almost like they, they're like like a pipe structure. They kind of grow, they kind of are built outward and then up and then come to an end where there's like a visual point, and that's where a balcony sits. And there's occasionally like a small balcony along where that tower rises. And it looks like a massive pipe organ and how the clothing kind of rises up on the side. And many of them kind of stop and become their own little kind of sentinel perches uh, or overlooks for the beautiful, you can imagine the view would be incredible from up there. And then a handful of them continue upward and then connect with the central stronghold of the Arcs Canyon. How long has this been? How long have we been on this little journey? Creonium, I keep saying it wrong, sorry. Creonium? Yeah, Arx Creonium. Arx Creonium. Creonium. Oh, okay. That's on my head. Creonium. How, how long have we, has it been since we set off? Since we got our invisibility spell? Uh, you rolled it decently. I'd say it's been probably about 35 to 40 minutes. <laughs> okay, oh. so we're halfway through it. 30 minutes. Did you say 30 minutes? I did. Yeah. Well, maybe we should just do this now. Because if we wait to try and see yeah. if the door's open. I think it's a solid option. Yeah. It's better than taking the door head on. Yeah, yeah. go for it. You right. also notice. Oh, oh, this oh is, shit. This is fine. Oh, um, this is fine. <laughs> what looked like a solid pillar of glass from a far distance, as you get close, there's, there's texture to it. And the closer you get, you can see, the majority of it is just solid pillar, but there are like little branches, it looks like, like tiny little, like either individual or clustered bits of glass that kind of come out, reach out like like branches of a tree, and you can see elements of it kind of growing through parts of the structure, or the structure was built around it. So it might help us to climb. At a certain point, the lowest ones are about 30, 40 feet up. Okay. And they're kind of, they're disparate. They're not like, it's not like hair on the back of a hand necessarily, but that you could, there it is like a unique kind of. Interesting, um, so it's not smooth. Like it's. No, the closer you get, the, the more detail it comes out of okay. it. You can see, that, like, there are parts of it that sprout off on a smaller yeah. scale. And I say smaller scale, I mean like, you know, still 50 big. feet long to 150 feet long, kind of almost coming out the side or branching out a little bit. But glass, you said? It looks like it's made of the same glass material with that dull, dull light that just kind of emanates from it. Right. Are they? Do they feel like crystals, or are they like, like you said, like branches? We'd have to get over there. <gasps> yeah. What if it's like part of Pradathis's brain? These crystals. It's like his brain growing into the hive mind. It's a very interesting idea, and Matt, his face is very blank right now, right. almost seemingly intentional. That's like the he poker face. Not. That's yeah. the one. Yeah, yeah mm. nothing. That's Should brilliant. we move over towards the balcony, and if we can get close enough to the column? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like. All right. As you trek up to the shadowed edge, we come oh back boy. to the screw here. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> okay. Okay. Get your shit together. I don't. Jesus. <laughs> We're kind of doing little little mini time jumps here as we go too. Mm. So, uh, Ira, unchallenged upon arrival to the outside of this excavation entrance. Um, other Rylorn and uh, Quantica soldiers step aside and let you pass within, and you can see now the illusion that you've been placed in, the equipment and armor that you're wearing is very much in line with the number of the other soldiers that are looking over these excavation. There isn't a moment of them where they might have looked for any sort of recognition, but the presence of a mystic in the attire that Ira has taken as a guise uh, sets them 
to not look too much into it. <laughs> but you begin to press into this large tunnel, and you can see there, I'll, there's the rough kind of stone elements of it, and then the further in you go, it looks like it's been shaped, mm. smoothed over. Um, not too dissimilar to when magically stone is worked or retooled. It looks like a lot of the interior structure of this tunnel, once it's been dug into, has then been uh, almost like when you would fire over sand to make a glass to give it structure. The stone here has been smoothed and hardened to become a uh, structurally sound tunnel. Sure. Um, there are pockets where Kind of tools and materials are set off to the side. There are occasionally passing miners, and you can see heavy carts that are coming up that are containing uh, the loose kind of red and brown rock and shale that has been excavating from below, as well as clusters, broken bits of glass dust and kind of chunks of glass that have been uh, either found or broken or you know, dragged out from their source. And you can see numerous of these carts being carried out and the massive piles that kind of sat on the outside, you can see them kind of moving this in check sections and chunks. Um, but you continue to push in further. No one's stopping us, no one's looking at us funny. No, not at the moment. Is it? Is it all, um, is it all worked, uh, all the stone has been worked, or is, it, or is are parts of it still in process? Or? Parts of it are still in process. Okay. It, it's not like the whole thing is solidly done that way, but uh, any area where it would be, I'd say like every 30 or so feet, there's a 10 foot section that is worked over like that mm. to make sure that it, it, it's better than building like a wood brace and they don't have wood as a very prominent resource here. Gotcha. Um, you eventually begin to notice that the, the mining population grows thicker. Um, as the tunnel, and it goes down in an intentional direction. This isn't a meandering mine shaft where they're just looking for ore veins willy nilly. This has a very specific direction and is descending at a pretty standard decline. Um, the carving of the tunnel, its shape, um, is imperfect, meaning it isn't a central uh, worm bore tunnel, or at least uh, if it was, it's been expanded in places and it's kind of given it a slightly uh, uneven uh, width at times. Um, but you do see the mining population begins to become more dense. You can hear chatter of the various species that call Ruidus home themselves, carrying various tools for mining and digging recovery. Um, you can see there are different piles set on the outside of what looks like a small uh, resting area, and another what looks like a soldier barracks that has been makeshift and built here. Um, and the, some of these piles have ore that have been recovered. You can see there's kind of silver or iron, oh. precious metals and things that uh, you don't see much of here have been recovered as part of this excavation and are being set aside for use for the Imperium. Um, you also see within to the right-hand side the kind of makeshift barracks, all of these uh, separate alcoves and tunnels that are kind of burrowed into the wall that have themselves uh, stone doors have been placed. Um, you can see chairs and benches that have been built out of the ground, out of the stone, and... Uh, like break rooms? It looks like break rooms or resting spaces. Um, and there are about three dozen different uh, soldiers, uh, pretty much specifically Ruidian, uh, or sorry, sorry uh, um, uh, Brian Lauren, thank you, um, of different varieties that are kind of watching over this excavation. And there is definitely an officiousness to the, which they walk around. Oh I, I think to a Ashton and Fern, mm -hmm. if we can get in there and do this, how do we how do we get out? How do we run? Well, <clears throat> can you turn us into like mats or something? I mean, I could try. I haven't really thought that far ahead yet. Okay, but that's good. Maybe be think of our escape plan. Too. I guess. I guess is. is I mean. I feel like we're getting ahead of ourselves there. We'll we're just, just gonna need a way out because Ira's not gonna. No, he's not. He doesn't give a shit about us. Yeah. Well, we'll um, find out. All right. Okay. Do just we? Just think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about it. Hey, Ira. <laughs> yes. How much? How much further are we going down? As far as we need. I've not been to this tunnel before. Okay. We'll know when we get there. <laughs> Love that, but sure. <laughs> At which moment, immediately, Ira goes, 
Ooh. and turn to the side, and you see two Ryloran soldiers with like decorated shoulder armor approaching quietly. And they just kind of stare in Iris' direction, and Iris stares back. And they nod and give a hand wave. And Ira gives a nod and looks back at the rest of you and goes, Oh boy, follow me. What, 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 what's you, all? You notice him now following in step with the two other soldiers that approached. Oh, God. And heading towards the barracks. What are, are we in, are we? We can't talk him to him. him. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Shit. Shit. <laughs> I guess Shit. we just go. We just go. We just go. Talk should, to we just let him, should we just let him go in by himself? No, no, no. We no. don't even know where we're going. Okay. As you have this, <laughs> you shift into the the nearest entryway, which is just kind of like a like a, a half circle, uh, like ten foot opening in this rock wall. And as you step inside, the immediate smell hits you of uh, almost like a, like an incense or a tobacco type smell. Um, and you can see there is a. A handful of Vanguard soldiers wearing the Vanguard garb, but they're armored up a little bit. Um, one of them has a, a heavy tobacco pipe and is currently kind of smoking in the corner. It looks to be uh, human, an older kind of soldier sort of vibe. Um, most of the other soldiers in here are all very much kind of standing to attention, and there is kind of a, a stillness to the chamber for the most part. And you hear hushed conversation from a chamber beyond as uh, Ira steps up into the entryway to the right. You can't quite see what's in there. And he just kind of stands there and nods. As you kind of come around the corner and look within, there is another mystic across the way. Mm -hmm. There are a number of well-armored soldiers that kind of surround the perimeter of the inside of this chamber. Uh, Over a central table, you see a dark armored figure. Papa? It's, oh, it's already. It's it's now. It's begun. Papa? It's happening. <laughs> Help us begin. Help the us Sorrow begin. Lord Zathuda stands at the table with his helmet off to the oh. side. You can see his uh, his God. facial hair has grown a bit unkept, and even at a glance, his discomfort at being here uh, is apparent. And he is in the process of conversing with a figure you've never seen before, but cannot be ignored. Across the table from him, uh, flanked by two Avadon beasts that are kind of curled up at the side themselves with these like massive golden ringed kind of neck armor adornments, uh, as well as spiked shoulders, and uh, their kind of open eyeless mouth kind of growls as they kind of preen themselves on the floor. Both of them flank their master. You see a massive Rhyloran hulk in smooth, polished mask of dark iron that sits on his face. Ooh. His entire face is encased in this kind of like pointed black smooth mask, very much like a predator mask sort of vibe. Um, you see uh, he is wearing incredibly intricate bladed body armor. Uh, looks like a graphite colored metal with tusks and bladed edges that are kind of woven in and shoot out to the sides. You can see the armor itself is adorned with long ragged strips of black and red dyed leather that seems to kind of tear and get rough before it touches the ground. And Zathuda looks tiny by comparison. Wow. Zathuda still stands at probably a solid, you know, six and a half, seven feet. This Hulk uh. probably at full height is about 10 feet or so. What? And is leaning on the table, yes. and they are both. Don't die. They're both having an intense, or at least the the uh, uh, what you assumed now uh, to be a very important figure is having a very intense, quiet stare at <laughs> Zethuda before Zethuda goes. You greatly hate this whole mind speak, <sighs> and you seem kind of huff for a minute and just kind of stares. The figure continues to glare and slams its fist into the table. The two kind of. Uh, Avedon's kind of get up and stare. The entity kind of runs its fingers over the neck of the one that stood to attention, almost like it's petting one of its companions as it stares back. It's kind of expressionless iron mask looking back towards the Sorrow Lord. It gives a nod. 
and it turns around. Both of them kind of stand up and linger for a second as it leaves for the exit to pass in your direction. One of the beasts looking back at the Tsar Lord, the other one kind of following behind it. Zathuda just kind of stands, our arms crossed. Almost looking a bit, a bit out of his element here. Wow. The last thing you hear from the Sorrow Lord towards his face, he goes, What thy will might be, Sunderlord. The vanguard will see it through. He says through gritted teeth and a bit of a sour scowl. But the Sunder King, you've heard before previously. You've heard the Sunder King. The Sunder King Kruth. Oh, right. Oh. Oh, and hmm? Is it the same, same person? Same, same person? We don't know. You get the sense this may be the Sunder King Kruth, the head of the Dominion. Iron Kruth. Will. The big giant the guy is. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Ooh, he's the big guy in charge. If we can take him down. And, and we can pull the cloak off his whole thing. Sunder you gotta do it. Yeah. Sunder, 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 King. Sunder King. Sunder King. Okay. Sunder King. If I misspoke, yeah, Sunder, yeah, Sunder King was the intent. Sorry. Sunder. 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 Sunder Kruth. <laughs> as he steps from the room, and you see him, he has to like dip down to go through the entryway, and Ira there as the mystic kind of drifts back and gives a, an acknowledging nod. The Sunder King well. just kind of doesn't even pay any attention to Ira, and the rest of you are but ants in the presence. And it is a presence. There is just like a vibration in the air as he walks by. You look through these strips of leather that kind of just, these like wide two-inch strips that kind of dangle past where the, the mantle, you can see the arms kind of flow through easy, so he has no kind of restriction in movement. And through the, the glimmers of it, of his massive arms, you can see numerous weapons that are sheathed his sides. You see like mace oh. and a massive like saber, and his, he is just <laughs> surrounded with weapons. <laughs> Cool. The two Avadons that follow him behind in their own kind of unique ceremonial armor kind of <laughs> growl. They're massive in their own right, but even next to him, they're about the size of a large dog. <laughs> um, like as you all kind of set back, one of them, one of them kind of <laughs> kind of <laughs> it seems to be taking a particular interest in your direction. <laughs> Got a treater or something? Keep, uh, or, uh, keep uh, food. <laughs> 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 Did you eat baked goods? Oh, I might. I, I do. I yeah, probably. what do they eat? We eat. Hello, hello, sir. I just, I'm just bending down. We talked this from a half he, mile away. Yeah. So, so <laughs> he's walked by. The Sunder Lord has. Passed. Has passed and is exiting. Okay. One of the one of the the Avadons has gone with him. The other is kind of slowed and is all massive. Yes. Yes. The, I'm just I'm just trying Iris. to remain. In, in Get your dog, dude. Now we got. <laughs> I, like when you I have a little dark chocolate. Do dogs like that? Well, maybe maybe they can eat it. I don't know. What about grapes? <laughs> Give him some chocolate. Okay. I'll break off a little piece of dark chocolate and just kind of throw it at it. <laughs> it kind of follows it with its head. <laughs> Goes over and talk. <laughs> sniffs it. <laughs> like a little bit of spittle, like on the ground, you can see this like thick, viscous uh, saliva just kind of coats the area where it was. Wow. It turns back around. He's waiting for you. Oh God. Oh God. The other like soldiers around are like kind of wide-eyed, the various Rylor and like their black shark like eyes just circles. As you get the sense this isn't the first time they've seen someone be checked by one of his entities. What are you doing? I don't know. Can y'all talk to him? I can, but do I want to start talking? Okay, I, I was know, told I specifically don't sit, talk. Sit. I could talk to it too, but won't that bring attention to us? Uh, maybe better you than me, since I don't, I'm not supposed to talk. Speak with animals. Okay, so you quietly oh boy. cast speak with animals on yourself. Oh God. Is this a dumb thing to do right now? So Who knows? Gross. Why is it so, it looks like oh, wet. Oh, that's yeah. oh no! Oh, that's the soothing. Boo! Oh, oh, right here. Boo. Not even a little. Oh, no, that's crazy. No, don't care. Yeah. We're yep. gonna get banned. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta add to it. 
Oh, oh weirdo. Uh, now we know yeah, why. He completed the picture. So what are you doing? <laughs> you cast <laughs> speak with animals on yourself? That's very visual, isn't it? <laughs> it's okay. You can is disguise it. it. Is You're it fine. verbal, somatic, material? Verbal, somatic. somatic. Verbal, somatic. <laughs> okay, so no material components. So you, you have a physicality to it. Is that uh, all your gum? If you want to make a sleight of hand check to see if you can kind of the mask the movements. Okay, I'll do that. You did not look at me. No. <laughs> okay. Um, 13. 13, okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. No one seems to pay particular mind at the moment. Okay. You finish casting the spell, kind of using the shape of the Abaddon that's now coming towards your my seat friend to your left. Um, you cast the spell, what are you doing? I'm just going to say, hey, go get your daddy. Go get your daddy. He's waiting for you. Do you see him? It turns around. <laughs> it's massive, open, like rounded mouth, just filled with teeth. <laughs> You're just a big old boy. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Make a persuasion or an animal handling check if you'd like. <laughs> oh. The whole plan is just the same. It's just one girl. It would just be animal handling, except for the fact that you can talk to it. Thirteen. Thirteen. Oh. Yeah, I was like. Oh. What, what's the matter? What you want? What you looking for? You hungry? It kind of this guttural sound <laughs> comes out of it, and you recognize it as saying. I smell dinner, different meat, new meat, want new meat. I don't know where you're going to find this new meat. This new meat isn't in here. I think the new meat is way out there. That's what I smell it too, which is crazy. It's way yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it starts like kind of like smelling the air around you. Okay. Guys, guys, I don't know what to do. I think this is, I think this is. What did he, what did he, what did he say to you? What did he say to you? Um, he said, he said that he smells new meat, and I'm pretty sure that's us. I don't have any meat on me. I'm gonna, no. I have I some old, meat. Old, I, meat. The I have meat. some old griffin. Uh, <laughs> on you? I do. It's in the in my, hole or in your pocket? In my, it's, it's in my, my, in my like normal bag, uh, but not in, not in the whole bag. Is real fast. It's really old. No. It might be way too old. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say you, too old. you don't, you don't old. have Griffin in your pocket. No, you have, you <laughs> have, you have a, you have a slimy yeah, stain it's, it's that sits gross. at the bottom of your it's pocket. It's pretty gross. Let's be honest. Yeah, I was like going through a trap. I have meat. Yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh wow. Well. I'm, I'm, I'll throw that out later. Next long rest. Don't be rude. Go find the new meat. It's in the other. It's in the other space. Leave here. I do something. You're a good boy. It. It. Your words don't seem to be strong enough to quell its interest. Okay. okay I will cast. Speak with animals. Fuck oh these. boy. Shit. Fuck these Jesus. things up. I'm sorry. I failed. Where it's can this stack? Like a hat. Can this mm. stack? This can stack. Um. So I'll speak. I'll cast. Speak with animals. Give it a second, and then I'm gonna cast on top of that. Um, command. Right? Yeah. He'll know you did it, but. It's a dog. It's not a dog. Why is he looking like that? <laughs> okay. So, let me look at the spell first. Okay. Speak one word with a creature I can see within range, <laughs> wisdom saving throw, or it has to follow the command. Mm. It is currently. Um, Right up in your face, and very like Ripley and Alien Three, like the, the entity's mouth is like, right there. So good. Um, you said you're casting. Look at part of it. Either command or fast Curly friends. And his. Let's see what's what has the better chance of working. Is fast friends on animals too, or just people? It is if you can talk to them. Yeah. Probably. Where is fast friends? Where is it? I know I prepared it. I always prepare it. There it is. I'm done yet? I'll do fast friends. Okay. Wisdom saved 16. All right. Choose one humanoid. Oh, fuck! Within range. Where does that say that? The uh, second sentence. Well, then I'll do command. Okay. Which command to a creature that you can see within range, indeed. And I can understand your language because you have to speak with animals. Correct. What do you command it to do? Oh, boy. Shoot. Scram. Shoot. Scram's good. Yeah. <laughs> 
please. You just get, <laughs> get. Now, are you get. saying this in common? No, nope. yes. in its language. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, it's wisdom save. Uh, command is wisdom sixteen. Got it. I like you're whispering it. Yeah. That's a twelve. Oh, oh thank God. As it kind of rears like back, it looks like it's about to pounce on this poor Bormoda that it's uh, feels a bit focused towards. It suddenly like looks up at you, and it leaps out and kind of charges out of the door. Gets about thirty or so feet before it turns around in your direction. The spell Ira. faded and goes. Ira, we gotta get out of here, buddy. You see Ira going like. <laughs> you need to bring his hands up, and you hear a voice go. And it like it shatters the air like a thunder strike, <laughs> and immediately the creature <laughs> and darts off, catching up okay. to its, its pulse pop. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Oh my God. A little, I almost dragged one of you with it. <laughs> it was about, it's about to pull you out like a toy. <laughs> oh boy. Um, at which point Iris' hands go down, gives a nod. And then one of the soldiers who's present is looking at you with a concerned look. Because you just went. Bah, bah, you also just did. cast a spell. I did, for uh, sure. Without trying to hide it, as a tiny my seat. And as it glances at you, Ira kind of lifts over. Do not worry, you saw nothing. Yes. 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 Come on, Ira. And the figure okay. goes. And just starts walking a patrol. Uh, <laughs> it makes the Matt Mercer yeah. smile. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really want a scone. <laughs> yeah. I returns back to you three. We need to keep moving. And as you all kind of shift out of the barracks back into the center part of the tunnel and on your path, you can hear the kind of the soldiers that are gathering up and following behind the Sunder King as he heads up from the path you came as the Sunder Lord exits out of the barracks behind you, puts his helmet on and turns to one of the other nearby Rylorian soldiers and goes, What are you looking at? Get back to work! But I cut that head from your shoulders. And the soldiers kind of nod and begin to go back to their posts. The miners start picking up their pace. And the Sunder Lord just, or the uh, the other Sarah Lord just begins walking and looking about the current business around you as the four of you begin to slowly head further and further down the tunnel. Hey, back over to the room. Oh, Holy yeah. shit! Oh, oh my god! god. Oh. Brain bubbles yet? This is crazy. It's fun. Uh, you skitter over into one of the nearby kind of shady portions of where some of the heavier rock and stone is kind of broken and the erosion hasn't fully filled the gaps there. There's enough room for like maybe one and a half people to really hide in the shadow for a moment. Um, we should hide in the shadow, you and I, Ladna. All right, get in the crevice. If we look up, do we see a balcony like above us, anything close by? Make a perception check for me. Can I, or yeah, when I you know. look up, do you see? Yeah. I wanted to ask if I yeah. saw any fuckers up there, but is is it like <laughs> peeling up so you can't see what's above? Correct. On like they're, like they're, they're they're little like outer cup. Um, yeah, they're just like you know. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, <laughs> 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 the, the, the rusty trombone. Oh. Is what I'm doing. Okay. Um. <laughs> so and even on the walk from like the out, so it's a big empty space. You said. So yeah, even on the outer edge, when you're the furthest back, you still can't see. It's it's. Uh, Cupped, if you will, from my vision. If you go all the way back, you can probably see into some of the lower balconies. Okay. All right. I'm gonna quietly skitter as far out as I can okay. and avoid any fucking individuals, mm -hmm. and see if I can see anyone up there before we send Ladna. You got it. Uh, mm, that's not great either. Come on, guys. That's uh, 18. That's nice. 18. It's not terrible. Okay. It's terrible. Yeah. The the four lowest balconies that are kind of equa distant from the ground across the entirety of the colloquium, uh, you can see two of them are occupied, and you can also see a number of them are occupied. You're not sure if they're by people who are sentinels, like keeping watch, or if they're students or employees or people that have purpose within uh, this this particular structure, um, but you do see. Not the not the balcony on the furthest left that's closest to the shadow, but the one next to it uh, is 
unoccupied. Okay, so I pitter pat back and then steer them away from the one that has someone above. I can't tell for sure, but this is our best bet. Was was there a balcony in between that one and another? Was it? I was think it there were. That way? So there's, there's one, one, one and then there's two, and then there's one the in the middle. Was it? Okay. What about above it? Was there? I only have myself to blame. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Adults. Guys, yep. this is my favorite terrain. Go straight up there. Okay. Sometimes it leans to a yeah. Yeah. I'm used to height differential. Jesus. <laughs> You're only plotting the outside. You have to get in there, too. So get the There's more to this plan. <laughs> Okay, so that's the balcony we're going to. Yes. Yeah. Yep. All right. Not, not the one closest to you, but the next one beyond it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Stop. Okay. Yep. So, so stop. do a little how, yeah. just, just Right. Shunk. Shunk. All right. How much? Sit on. Um, how far up is that? How far away from us is that about? Uh, at an angle, it's about eighty or ninety feet from you. How much rope do you have? You got a fifty footer. I think I got a fifty foot or two. Yes. Yeah, okay. So great. All right. So that should be enough. Do a little loopy loop. Not Put it up and over. Just do a little Lana. Lana. It disappears as soon as it's on her, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Does it? Well, let me check. Actually, that's a. I mean, funny you're wearing it. Like you, other, you would be wearing the rope on your. Right. That's true. Yeah. On your hip. Let me look into it. And the target is uh, anything the target is wearing or carrying is invisible as long as it's on the target. Correct. Person. Yeah. So yeah, it does advantage it. It stays invisible between you passing it. Okay, the whole nice. hundred nice. feet the whole length of rope. As long as she's clutching yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah okay, yeah. so right. what we've got to do mm. is you, we've got to tuck into this little nook. Go real fast. The minute you cast Spider Climb, I'm going to cast Invisibility on the both of us again. Because okay. if I cast Invisibility on her, then I'll turn invisible. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. But I'm going to rely on you to tell me as soon as like nobody that's, can uh, see that's above what I'm on or look around. Out. I'm just looking in every direction. Yep. You keep an eye watching people, the, the handful of soldiers that are kind of walking the perimeter of the open space here. And it is like, it's almost like a warp uh, valley. Uh, it's intentionally likely open like this, whether it be for reference. It's also to ensure that anything, anything tries to storm, they're wide open before they get anywhere near the base. Um, so you keep an eye out, watch for the patterns of those that are closely doing the perimeter the ones that are guarding the front entrance, as well as the occasional shifting of those that are moving from balcony to balcony. Nothing changes on the balcony of intent, and you find the right moment to go ahead and give them a signal. You go ahead and cast Spider Climb. For that brief instant that you appear in that shadow, you also appear next to her to cast your spell, and you're casting it at third level to get yes. both of you? Yeah. Okay. You both vanish immediately, but you feel yourself now able to adhere to the terrain around you. Great. All right. Give us one half up part of the rope. Okay. Otherwise, we won't Takes be able to keep it where we are, yeah. All right. Okay, so you have two lengths of rope. No, we're gonna have. Rope. I have the end of the rope, and she's. Gonna I've climb, already and tied she's gonna like, two together. This one say you actually, yeah. Okay, yes, yeah, we've yes, already. Yes. It's a hundred feet of rope. Okay, so uh, as it unwinds, just so you're aware, it becomes no longer carried by you as an object. It becomes something that you're just holding on to. Yeah, so she's trying to. We're trying to keep it tucked into a crevice. To this wedge. So right. So that, like, okay. as it unravels, like, try to keep it in crevices. Totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I would like for you to make a dexterity check for me. So I have <laughs> but advantage. Actually, as long as one of on us is holding the bottom of the rope, it should stay. It, right. it should, what do you think? but there's a difference between like an item that you carry on your person and an item you're holding. In your hand, right. When you're holding a length of rope, the spell affects it. But the minute enough rope unwinds away from you, yeah, yeah, it exactly. becomes something you're holding, yeah. like That's a common. part of the terrain. Yeah, yeah. That's, That's how I interpret it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I, you I did. think I did. Yeah, you, you did. did. You gave yeah. her advantage. So I have yes. Some, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I still did. have advantage. Uh, uh, I have that advantage because yeah. you give me an enhanced. Yeah. But also your spider climb, right? Yeah, but she gives wow. it. I don't think this that is, gives her advantage. This, on this, this is no, the, the, this is to maneuver the rope through the oh, I see, various. I see. Uh, cracks and uh, mm. imperfections and mm -hmm. folded bits of shadow along the exterior of the building. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. What's the no. matter with you? What in the fuck? What are you doing? What, what is this? What Marisha. Is that? That's a, you know what that is? That's a crit, because you rolled it on both of them. Oh, yeah. That's a crit in Daggerheart. <laughs> oh, no, oh, it's a two. How? Oh, oh, it's two two. No. Two two. Roll two two. Two twos. Two twos. Two twos. Two twos. Take up two twos. So that's great. So that's great. Um, 
What can I do here? What can I do? You're just Don't apologize. Have... <laughs> <laughs> You're doing it. Do you have modifiers? I yeah, five. So that brings me to a, to a, to a five. To a five. Okay. So uh -oh. as you clamber up the side, Shit. you wind the rope into these little. You find little notches and imperfect edges that hold the rope and. It's working out pretty well, actually. And you get it situated, <laughs> and you get halfway to the balcony, and you're, you got this, you got this. And as you're kind of paying attention to the balcony, making sure that nobody's up there, and you're holding the rope, the rest of you notice the rope just kind of up here. And it's oh. just kind of, it kind of came untangled from one of the corners, which then the weight of that pulled another, and the whole rope just kind of came off of now, and it's just this Lodna, long, Lodna, bowing Lodna, rope Lodna. that's just kind of hanging there now. Oh, no. Does anybody Who's, see it? Uh, you don't see anybody. So Lana, go back like and grab it. Go back and grab the rope from the from the yeah. structure. Huh. Can I reach it and climb bring back it down? Back in? Can she climb back down and, and gather it up again? You want to? Uh, yeah, do that. Okay. You go ahead and regather it. You want to attempt it again? Yes. It's a higher DC. Go for it. Well, this theoretically, one is the advantage dice. Okay, you you roll yours. You only yeah, learn your way not to do yeah, it. The perfect theoretically, the perfect moment has been lost. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's not impossible still. However, patrols are now starting to close around. Go for it. Son of a bitch. I've got advantage. I'll run out of time. Okay, 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 okay. This is a 15, so 18. Okay. 18. You get up there, mm -hmm. and as you tangle most of it up, you get to the edge of the balcony and kind of clamber over the edge and get the rope affixed up there. You have your rod. You click it, and it clicks in place. Um, half of the rope comes dislodged and is now visible just from the balcony to the midsection. Shit. Okay, if we climb as we go up the rope, does it disappear as we climb it? Are you collecting as it as you? Whoever's collecting whoever's it in the bottom will be collecting it. We can certainly give it a shot. Okay. Let's go. We can certainly try. We've all got to try. Okay, so I'll go second. Okay. Or no. Yeah, I'll go second. So if I fall, you'll catch me, right? Me? Yeah. You're, invisible. You're invisible. They'll still see me. Oh, I'll still I'll see you. Okay. You Can't won't. Okay. You. you won't see me. If I fault, Chet, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got you. 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 Crack. Trust. All right. Oh my. Just I'll try to start climbing. Making noise on the way down. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I feel better. <laughs> I'd like you to make an athletics check for me. Athletics. It's not a terribly difficult climb, but it's a singular rope <laughs> at an angle, uh, basically uh, up the side of a building. You're 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 Batmaning this up the chain, like Adam mm. like Adam West Batmaning this. Oh, yeah. You're like, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> that one time that okay. was okay. Reverse repelling. Okay. No straight. <laughs> Able to deliver dialogue. Okay. And it's easy. Like easy, easy, lemon squeezy. Oh, come on. Sixteen. Come on. Sixteen. The adrenaline pumping through your body, your ears kind of oof, 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 as the moment happens, you just begin to scurry up that rope as, as quickly as you can, and uh, you manage to, without much of an issue, maybe a little bit of winded breath at the end of it, your arms a little sore and tired, but you get over the edge uh, of the balcony and meet alongside uh, Ladna. And there at the top, you can see there are two doors that kind of mark the interior. It's about uh, six feet back from the flushness of the wall, the balcony itself also going about five feet out from the front. So you have about ten feet of space here that you can occupy, uh, but the doors are closed. The minute I get up there, I start looking around to see if anybody mm -hmm. is looking at the rope. Okay, thank you for such a check for me. And do you have a? Do, do, does she have the? Do they have the full effects of sea invisibility? Like as it pertains to <laughs> things that would otherwise be hidden. Like yeah. words or okay. anything, anything else that, that that would be seen from sea invisibility okay. they have. No, I don't think anybody can see the rope. Nobody sees it. All right, you feel good. You're I going feel up? really good I'm about it. I'm still looking. Why? <clears throat> yeah. Why? I'll go. Because you're sitting together. Why? Athletics check for me. Star Fox lovers. True. What's the height of the rope? Did we, did we guess? No one's no. a uh, it's, it's no, about, what? What if well, about, the, uh, the balcony itself is about <laughs> 80, 60 or so feet up, but everybody's in an angle from where you're at. So since you're missing the closest balcony, so it's about 80, 90 feet away from you. Okay. I make sure that seedling is easy to get out. If anything goes wrong, and I start to climb. 18. Great. Uh, following suit in Imogen's path, you climb up the rope rapidly. The last little bit, you just kind of do a, a pull and then leap and then land on top of the balcony next to your two other Don't companions. Worry. Nobody can see shit. 
Is that true? I'm feeling very <laughs> good about this. We're anyway. doing great. Yeah, we're, we're doing great. Uh, that is a thirty. All right. Uh, you do see one patrol of two Rhyloran soldiers that are kind of approaching, with a with a bit of like uh, well, intent. Down on the ground. Uh, yeah, on the ground, about maybe a hundred or so feet off. Chet, you got company coming. They're going to be there in like twenty seconds. No, I'm, I'm coming. I'm up. Up the chain. Uh, nineteen. Nineteen. Like, like the only way that a four hundred year old gnome can scurry, you rapidly climb oh, up this rope. No legs. No legs. <laughs> You're gathering it as you go. Yep. Shoop, 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 shoop. Maybe little legs. <laughs> you do in gym class. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because of both no the both the activities, it takes a little longer than just a straight climb. But as you get most of the way up there, the rope takes into the spell, and as you get over the edge, you watch as the two other soldiers kind of approach. One of them is kind of looking around. As soon as Chetney clears, I unclip the the rod. The rod, put it back on my person. Back up. The one kind of glances about. The other one just kind of gives him a heavy elbow to the side. It's a big sigh, and they both begin to kind of walk off and continue back on their original path. Can we go home now? <laughs> okay, there's a door in front of us, right? How's that look, chat? Traps? Or is it Piece trapped? of cake. I'm sure it's not. Can I check for traps? Sure. <laughs> make an investigation check for me. Uh, 24. Ooh. 24. Uh, it does not appear to be trapped. It does appear to be locked. Uh, can I? I can't pop him twice. Can I? <laughs> can I uh, fix the lock? Yes, please? you may. Go ahead and roll a dexterity check, adding your proficiency for lock fix. Oh, no sliding or no advantage. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Uh, with ease. This this wasn't an easy lock, but you've you spent your time breaking and entering, um, and within. A 20 second foray with the tumblers. Door opens Reveal up. Reveal your secrets. <laughs> Immediately you can see inside, it looks like a, like a, like a study chamber. There are uh, three different tables that have comfortable looking chairs set towards them. Uh, it looks like this would be an area where someone would bring books or bring other materials to come and do study work, uh, independent research. It kind of has a like a, a, a college vibe to it, to a certain degree. As the door cracks, can I use my wolfy nose just to make sure there's nobody actually could be in here? Do I detect any sense that I've picked up since being on the moon? Make perception check. <laughs> I forgot to listen through the door. <laughs> uh, 17. 17. You don't smell anyone here, but there is a unique smell in your immediate vicinity. Hmm. Coming from the small satchel of materials that you were given when you left the safe house. Oh, we should probably look at that. <laughs> yeah, uh, the satchel, what? Should what? we get inside first? What material? Let's get inside then. Okay. They, they requested like the letters and notes and anything that oh, could, might oh, pertain oh, to. I'm a girl. Oh, maybe oh, you can pick up the scent. Of... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, let's get inside. Let's get inside, inside and then shut the door. Very the quietly shut the door. Uh, open up the satchel. As soon as you open it up, there's a, a burst of movement, and something like leaps and skitters <gasps> out. Oh my God! It's the thing. You it's, see. It's her. It's her. 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 You see a, a, a small thin cyta. Um, oh, it shit. has like oh one like vibrant blue clouded eye, and one that's like a like a dark brown. Um, and as it kind of closes, it's like, oh. oh my gosh, oh. have you been in here the whole time? I'm so sorry. It took you long enough. Well, I didn't know they didn't tell us there was anything living. She's also, us. they're just talking to nothing. Uh, just, well, you know, we're invisible. There's four of us here, we're friends. Are you, what? Can, oh, can you, you see, you can see us, can you? Can you see us? What are you? It's just kind of, you can see, it, it, it's not she, focusing on anything We're friends of Eva Roa. We're, we're going to help. Oh wait, can you use <coughs> your eyeglass and like hold it up to to its eye? I think they have to activate it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Also, it's invisible when you're holding it. No. Yeah, we're trying to find Everoa. We know she went missing. <laughs> Everoa, yes, she's, <laughs> she's my She's my Yeah. You're helping. Yeah, we're helping. You're helping. Yeah. What's your okay. name? My name is Gona. 
Go, go, go now. Go now. Okay, go now. Go when was the now. last time you saw Everoa? God, why didn't we do this before we I'm, fucking left? I just thought, I thought it was a bunch of letters. Yeah, me too, me too. When they took her beneath the bay. Beneath the bay? What's what's the bay? I can't the, whisper in The engineering oh. bay. <laughs> oh, yes, that's right. Where the, she was working. Do you know the way? I can. <gasps> yes. Great. Um, oh shit, I gotta see. You, you two are connected, aren't you? Yes. Would you be able to sense her if you were close? She's still alive. Oh gosh. Well, we're gonna get all of us out of here, so how are we gonna do this? I'll, uh, I can cast again and cast on. If, if wait, if. Yeah. Gona is in our clothing. So does go Gona go invisible? Gona, it was not visible inside the bag, and then once Gona emerged from the bag, became visible. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you assume if there is an an object that you are wearing that contains Gona, she will also vanish. Okay, great. You can, she can hang out to my people in my. In <gasps> oh yeah, my in your bird birdhouse. My birdhouse. In your soul. In your yes. Soul. I don't know what oh, that is. Here, uh, go it. I'm gonna hold my hands out. I'm touching your face. Yeah. Here, just hold my hand. Okay. Um, you're in my hands, and I'm gonna hold and now, you up. Now, now, the, the minute like she crawls into your hands, she can see you. She's like un now aware of like. And is she part, invisible? Part Does that mean she's invisible as, as she's long as I'm holding her? Yeah. Oh, great! So she can just chill on our shoulders, so she can like see what oh, she's doing. Oh, that's great! That's good. Also, a d like Pate could have made an absolute horror scene oh, in there. Oh, yeah. You so know, you know, maybe it's a, he's a single you know. bachelor. You know, <laughs> like curls into your shirt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Now, do you know your way around this building? Like watches. Uh, she looks around the chamber inside. We are somewhere in the study chambers. Yeah. That means we go past the development hall, and the engineering bay should be beneath that. Amazing. Great. Which which ways? Out to that door. And they just point to the only other exit from the chamber that's on the opposite side of the balcony. We have a guide. We have a guide. <laughs> Trishy, Trishy Scrabble. <laughs> Trishy Scrabble, uh, above you. Oh God, I hate this. And you're. How long am I going to be invisible for? You guys just. We just so really we're. Have we have an. Well, let me double check. How long is my invisibility? I mean, you said 40 minutes before. It is an hour. We've okay. got like yep. five or 10 minutes left for me. Okay. Yeah, about 10. I'll say with all the climbing and everything, it's putting it out, about, <clears throat> about 10 to 15 minutes left. Let's just, let's just try to move quickly then. All right. Okay. As soon as that time is up, I'll tuck into a corner and. Have to recast it fourth level. Oh no, because you can do it to yourself. Mm -hmm. So I'll do another third on us as soon as it's been about ten minutes. Okay. Will I be able to sense? Will he be able to sense when it's like? Well, uh, yeah. Thing? So you can like you can feel the magic beginning to fade. Okay. Um, if you cast it again, you also lose her. So it have to be fourth level to get all three of you. Fucker. Well, let's just move quick. All right. We'll, we'll cross that bridge. Okay. When we can cast it on two people. I think he's just a special no, just a, a special will. <laughs> <laughs> um, but as you come to the exterior door, uh, Gona the side there goes, All right. I think I know where we are. And kind of curls up next to your ear. I'll tell you where to go. Okay. I'll follow Gona's directions. Okay. Are there? Is there anybody around? Yeah, looking, listening. Yeah. Uh, as you... Slowly open the door and peer beyond it. We're gonna come back to this. Oh, we're jumping here. back. We're jumping back. We're on the bottom of the, the big building? shaft, right? Hmm. Like the big, uh, the prime, the prime. You are, pillar? you are beneath. We're beneath like, the, the prime. Like, yeah, the, the entryway seems to like go along the exterior. And you guys and are, they're kind of up in the big shafty the bits. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. 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 <laughs> If it were like that was the best. just a sense of scope, <laughs> yeah. if it were like so. nine inches tall in scale, are they at like four and a half? Uh, the, the 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 entire pillar? Yeah. I can't tell if you're fucking with me or if you're being serious. <laughs> no, like, are they? Do we do we have any sense of where it's they like are? A quarter mile up. Oh shit! And we're like 
70 feet up, right? Yeah, oh, so, so they're very much towards very the bottom. Very much cl- okay. close to the bottom. Correct, and okay. b- both of you are probably, you. <laughs> you both have probably climbed <laughs> now far. about 200 or more feet below the surface, mm-hmm. okay. Okay. Near, near the the bottom of the pillar. Okay. Um, but as you trek past, the sound of uh, immediate mining and the clustered remnants of the the body of workers down here thins a bit as you come to what looks to be a wall, a hard wall, a breach wall of thick, smooth stone. It looks like it was physically erected to reinforce the interior of the structure and has smoothed around it, but also as a blast boundary, mm. almost like they've learned a bit from the previous attempt. Um, it appears quite thick. There is a singular ground-hinged garage-like door. It looks like it would go inward. Something that's about 12 to 15 feet wide. So it looks like there's an entryway that comes down to let something large travel through, or a cluster of people to travel through. Uh, but it does appear to be sealed. Sealed or closed? You can check. Um, as long as I'm not going to get stopped by uh, Ira, I'm going to check with him. Can I uh, take a look? Ira gives a nod. Uh, at this breach door, there are only mm-hmm. three current soldiers that are keeping watch, and they just kind of watch as you approach. They don't question. Uh, it looks like the presence of the mystic definitely kind of adds an air of don't bother, and most folks upon watching just kind of bow and mm-hmm. kind of keep to their own business while you step alongside as the accompaniment. Going inside. Well, we there's nothing yet. we can't open yet. I'm going to start taking a look around. Do I see a mechanism? Do I see anything that looks, or is it just have they decided to lop this off because things are now moving you at can, speed? You can make a perception or investigation check if you'd yeah. like. I may actually, uh, just to make this a little easier, uh, your perception and investigation is uh, fabulous, correct? Burn, That's great, so I can assist you. I'm in my head going to have, like, Fern, can you come take a look at this? Yes. And then out loud. <laughs> yes. So. Oh, yes. <laughs> and yes. Um, I'm also going to have. Um, Act natural. I'm going to have Mr. Pop Mr. out. Okay, a flaming yeah, monkey. The, the, no, he's no, not he's a flaming the, monkey. He's the oh, the Saita, right? Yes, right, sorry, yeah. he's a Saita. So I'm going to have him out just kind of. Or he was already out. He's already been out with you. He's already been out. Yes. Just mark that. I was like, if you're popping him out, he wouldn't be under the illusion, yeah, 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 but yeah. he's been there the whole time. So. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna help. Snake. Snake. <laughs> look around, try to see if it's been sealed or if it's just. Go for it. Closed off. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Investigation perception. Uh, Either. Yeah, either okay, one of those I'll two. Do, uh, the different yes. facets you can find uh, with either. 24. 24, and this is? Perception. Perception. Glancing around here, you feel pretty confident. You do not see any That's mechanism or pulley or any device that uh, opens it from this side. Uh, it also does appear to be quite thick and quite closed. Ira. What's the plan here? Are we trying to get in here? I'm going to, I'm going to go back and and go to Ira and mm-hmm. genuflect. Ira We're having kind of problems. Yeah, presses into your hands. Um, they got this up faster than I thought they would. Uh, and most of the reinforcement of this tunnel thus far has been less than exemplary. Besides, if they have this closed on this side, whatever they're using to dig might be beyond this. I can bring myself there and maybe one other on the opposing side, but that's the extent of my ability. Well, Ashton, can I, you? I could do it, but it would make some noise, and I can't bring it. I can, I can make a hole, but it will be very loud. Very loud. Very loud. I could make a hole, and I don't think it would be as loud. Irish shifts be small. Irish shifts forward, um, and. Uh, looks to the others there intently, and one of them kind of looks back and nods and looks back at the other, and they, three of them kind of nod, and they all begin to walk up from where you came. Yeah. I returns back and says, 
I've sent them to retrieve me some materials, so we have a few minutes. Oh, great. But they also cannot open it, because they are told to ensure something doesn't happen like we're plotting, and it can only be opened from the other side. All right. What's your plan? Well, now we can make noise, right? They're gone. So you could you could go under, or I have stone shape. Stone shape might. But it's only five feet, so if this stone wall is thicker than five feet, I won't be able to get through it. You know, that's the thing, I could have Mister, like a dimension door with Mister, but again, that's I could try to tunnel, is the, is the floor stone as well? I guess everything's stone. Uh, everything around here is like smooth stone. So I could just kind of go under it like I'm making a little, a little like digging a little tunnel Wait, like a skunk does under the... Do we have the, the hole? We don't have the hole. Who has the hole? I, I don't remember if I or Laura has the hole anymore. I think you have I think I have the hole. I don't think the hole will do that, bag. though. So. All right, last question. Oh, wait, I can do it also with the staff. I can I can do, uh, cast pass wall with the staff and make a, a hole in the door. I think that's a great fucking okay. idea. Then there's that's a hole, right? Then there's a hole. But yes, just... but then you can stone shape back five feet of the of the door if we make the door But the smaller. door is metal, not stone. No, the no, door. The stone. door is stone, but it's like oh. it's like deeply solid, smooth stone. Oh, so as long we as we don't know how deep it is, right? Correct. But as long as we can get all the way through, then you just have to make a couple feet of stone. No one's going to kick that as long as it looks like it, what did before. Sure, it should be fine, right? Sure. Sure. Do you want to do that? Uh, yes. Let me just see. Double check. I'm going to just check my spells. Stone yeah. shape lasts for how long? It's permanent. Is it just a one yes. thing? You shape the stone. The stone, the stone is shaped, and as long as the door is not too big, and we're willing it's, to. Yeah, stone shape is instantaneous, and it is permanent. Okay. So as long as that path we can get from one side of this door to the other, and you can stone shape to put the stone back where, okay. it, where it came from. Uh, all right then. Before right. I do this, before I waste both things, we could just go under the door. I could just make a thing that goes under, but we don't know how thick the door is. The door can't be more than five feet thick. That's crazy, right? Right? Uh, <laughs> well, we don't have to fill in the whole door anyway. We just have to fill in a little I will bit. Say, and then, yeah. It's definitely built to be a breach wall against explosives. So it could be very thick. All right, all right, all right. I'm casting pass wall with the with the star staff of Dark Odyssey. All righty. All right, all right, good idea, good idea. All right, cool. So. It can up to five feet wide, eight feet tall, and twenty feet deep. Mm -hmm. So you just—are you making a door? Are you carving just five? I would say just yeah. we want a tunnel, just not yeah. too big, so that you can just use as much stone shape to fill it in as oh, possible. A, now, a five by five, even. you know, hole, mm -hmm. but twenty feet long. Okay, so you you focus on it, and the solid, smooth stone boundary before you. Just this this tunnel opens up right there, and as you glance through, it's about fifteen feet thick. Oh, 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 oh. They built this wow, to ensure snap. that something wasn't going to get through it, um, but indeed it exits the opposite side. It is a cartoon tunnel at this point. Okay. So, right. wait, does the tunnel his tunnel disappear once we're uh, once the spell is over? Or the openings stay? disappear when it's done. Oh, it so lasts, you don't have to It lasts for an hour, but you can or dispel an, it. Or you can or you can, can end dispel it prematurely. So once we're all through, just dispel it. Great. Go. 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 Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm just gonna say this. I'm just gonna say this. Okay. We do have to escape. But probably we can open the door from the other side when it's time yes, to escape. Yes, it'll be fine. Okay, okay, it'll be fine. Okay, okay, yeah. Sure, sure, it'll be totally fine. As you all kind of dart through this this opening, through the the the, temp, the the temporary tunnel, fifteen feet through, you emerge from the opposite side, and the kind of dull lantern light that has accompanied you along the way in this tunnel uh, becomes nearly non-existent. Uh, it is an almost complete shadow on the opposite side, just the dull blue glow of some distant lanterns that are further in that haven't quite been triggered by your presence to a light. But as you all step through the opposite side, along with Ira, um, you can leave it open or you could close it behind you. I think I'll close it behind me. Do we need some light? Actually, is it an hour? It's an hour, but if they come back in two minutes and see a big it? hole, that is a thing you could do with stone shape. Is you could stone shape it and keep it up. That's what I was saying. But but uh, when yeah. we get to the other side of the tunnel, I'm gonna. Oh. <laughs> yeah. If you're discussing this, I have a ghost. I believe I can handle this. Okay. Oh. He's gonna go ahead and uh, cast an illusory spell, and as he does, the surface of both sides 
Green. Perfect. Seems well, that's to better. remain. This is now it's our little secret. <laughs> oh, we're back to spooky now. Freak yeah. <laughs> me out, <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's low light over here, low light, dim light. Can I just look around and see? Like, is there a way to like open this door if we needed to to let the blast out to cause more damage? Um, it, from this side, what, 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 what you do see is that the garage kind of door, like like that comes down. There are chained uh, attachments that kind of pull it up and through. So there's actually a contraption on the ceiling above it where it maintains it. There is like a heavy like metal wench that pulls it up there. It looks like it's been built in to hold it there. Um, and on this side, there is a lever okay. that opens and know. closes. Good to know. Good, good to know. Any reason why I shouldn't light up a lantern down here? I don't think so. Let's keep it interesting. Touche. All right, I'm going to light up a little since we don't I no one has magic light as far as I, I know. do. Oh. I do, but it might look oh, weird right. coming from a, a little fung fung Ira guy. extends his hand and you watch as this little spark kind of begins to spark and then this will-o'-wisp looking dull blue flame just kind of flickers in the air in front of him and he just walks with it kind of drifting about five feet in front of him. I don't even know him. why I bother. <laughs> shit back. <laughs> dick. You continue down and this, this side of the tunnel gets a lot rougher. This one seems like it's been recently uh, dug through uh, since the blast door was finished and it looks like they've pushed beyond it in recent days even. Um, a few things. Mm -hmm. um, one, the, the beyond the breach wall, the tunnel begins to, there, there are elements of erosion that kind of put into it where something is pushed past and kind of uh, pressed into the nearby rock without reinforcement. You don't see the same kind of smoothed uh, tunnel uh, braces, thank you, brain, um, kind of built up on the sides of the wall. You do also hear a distant grinding sound echoing further down. And as you approach the nearby lanterns, they kind of glow as you walk past, they diminish. These look like they're just kind of uh, nailed into the wall by these uh, long pikes that kind of keep them held and dangling there, but they're much more sparse. And you can see what light, as it begins to light up and the light that Ira carries, and you see refracting little glows. There are elements of glass that now begin to emerge from the wall, almost like wayward crystals. Almost like parts that have grown through or have been here uh, for a long time that have been unearthed, uh, some of which have been broken past, like something has drilled into and through them, and you can see where it's like jagged and broken, and there's like glass dust and bits of like rough glass rock across the ground, kind of mixed with the loose gravel and dirt. Okay. Okay. It's, it, does it look like the glass that our, my weapon was is made out of? And it this... all appears to be the same Rudian glass. Mm. You hear the heavy grinding sound as it gets louder and louder until you curve around the edge of the corner to the right-hand side, and through this kind of rough-hewn space, the elements of glass that it's kind of curved and pushed into the uh, excavation, it becomes more and more prevalent, like it's burrowing now into the base of the pillar beneath where the cavern ends. And you can see there's a large portion of the wall that is just now like broken glass. The grinding sound is now met with the sound of some sort of a, uh, a hum. And the glow and grinding that pulls your attention down the end of this hallway, and you do see the end of this excavation. Um, there are a handful of Ryloran figures that are manning a machine, a contraption that uh, has some sort of a, a, a black uh, exhaust that kind of pours out the sides of it, the smell that kind of fills the space here. Um, it, it's reminiscent of like a burning oil, but also has like a, like a, the smell after a lightning strike. And as it grinds and burrows in, you can hear that horrible whining sound of metal hitting glass, and it's having a hard time. You can't tell at this brief instant how, if it's moving at all, but the sound is now starting to really pierce your ears. Um, Glancing down the way, you begin to take in exactly who's ahead of you. You see the massive uh, device. It's about eight feet wide. It looks like it's on some sort of rollers, and there is a massive handle where a hulk is pushing it into the wall, and it's just kind of a 
you're just grinding Lumber. into it. And you can see bits of the stone are crumbling away behind it into just like destroyed gravel and bits of glass are shearing off and like ting ting spinning around the room. Keeping watch beyond that, you see uh, there are two other small, uh, simply dressed but officious looking Rylorn that are currently kind of holding the sides of this device, almost like keeping tabs on it and making sure that it functions properly. And there is one that has like a little more uh, special uh, Imperium uh, army, Dominion of Kruth armor that is kind of just keeping watch down the tunnel in your direction. Three Rylorans and a Hulk. Mm -hmm. But one of those Rylorans is fancier. Than one of the Rylorans has a fancy vibe. But it's not the Sunder King. No, no, no. Okay. It's a sta standard size. Does that third one look like a Thought Eater? No. We've, we've never seen this kind of clothing before? Or? Uh, you, you've seen it in members of the Dominion of Kruth. Mm -hmm. um, you know what, I would say yes. You've, you've seen this armor, the closest effects, uh, equivalent of it would be the one that you saw in the glassworks, that you briefly convinced you were one of its children. Okay. Okay. Feels like a while. Yeah. And that feels that's all that's down here. That we that's all you so see far. in 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 this portion of the tunnel. Yes. Okay. Ira. Yes. <laughs> what are you? What's the plan? Are we going up? And we could just set them down around here. Did set you? them down. The. The explosives? Uh, explosives? Yeah. Do you think this is close enough? Maybe a bit closer, just to ensure everything goes. Okay, I have a, I have a wild idea. What if we say, you know, like, hey, we're gonna work on the machine, we were told that like we we're needed repair to repair people? We needed to repair, good job. To three telepaths? Well. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then we can make sure that the, the boom boom it's like right at the source. They might be able to alert others, though. I don't know how far. Well, you might know how far they can. Think. I like this idea. I know, but you're also right because that is a lot of them that, that could alert. But then also, how far are we from them? And we have—they have not seen us yet. Uh, you're, you do not think they've seen you yet. You just kind of just barely saw her in the corner and are holding just as the turn uh, goes into oh, the main tunnel. Okay. How big are these bombs? Uh, Ira pulls the like puts his hand on the shoulder and pulls the the currently illusion cloaked package from the side and sets it down. As he does, you see it kind of appear on the ground. It is a uh, heavy like camping backpack, like full on like you know large thing on the back. And as he opens up the top and pulls it out, you can see there's uh, elements of arcane cores that you've uh, you know encountered in Basaris that. Power a lot of the devices there, and a number of the devices that you've seen Ira build, um, and they are affixed to materials, kind of rough-looking clay-like materials that are kind of mashed into it. And you can see there are runes dug both into the material and placed around metal bands that hold it all together. Each one weighs about thirty or so pounds, and it looks like he has six of them. Ooh, nice. Were you planning on using all of these down here? Are we of saving course. some for later. Okay, got it. Go big or go oh, home. We've got to wipe this off the moon. Okay. And are these like a, a light, light it and throw it type of a bomb or a timer type of a thing? You set a period of time. Okay, okay. We've got to get them closer though, I assume. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to do if we weren't here? Well, if you weren't here, I was going to walk down here and try and take them all under my mind's sway and have them turn around while I set them and then walked out and blew it all up. That's, That's a great idea. Pretty good plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's just give it a try, I guess. Sure, it worked well last time for me. I'm sure the same thing will happen. They'll just walk right out. Would it be easier to put them to sleep since there's no, the door's not open at the moment? Do we have, do we have that sort of a ability? To a certain degree, I might be able to send some of them into a slumber. Mm. Are you going to need Dora, some help? I figure probably makes some things problematic. I guess let's look into see who we can put on our side for a bit. Stay close. Stay close. All right. Or, if you wish to stay 
unseen in case someone slips away. Well, do you want to stay back, or both of you? I've got some charming things, too. You're persuasive. So should I go up there? I don't know. Do, can you, do, have any, do you have any charming way. type spells? Yeah. Okay. Do. So do I. I do. Somebody's got to play safety. I'll play safety. All right. Anything All right. walks by that I don't recognize, I will hit it until it sits down. Okay. Go to you. Sports. Right. So you're I'll staying go. back, and I'm. I was like, what does he mean by saying? Okay. We'll come oh, up and. We'll come with you. It, it, should you need help? I'm playing catch. <sighs> Let's go destroy something beautiful. <laughs> That's a little bit intense, but okay. <laughs> As you all begin to glide down towards the horrible, grinding sound at the end of this hallway, uh, turning around the corner, you can see some of the watch kind of look over in your direction. And raise a hand, and the machine <laughs> grinds to a stop. The hulk keeps pushing, and the other ones have to be like, like turns up and looks around as the mystic and his companions approaches. From there, we're going to come to you. Ah, oh, oh. Jesus. <laughs> Reminding me, you can call me when we come back from a break. Right. So, oh. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Okay. So, we're taking a break. We're taking a break, we're taking a break now. Break. We're taking a break. Oh. I realize it's two hours now, yeah. so I'm going to yeah. go ahead and take a break now, and we'll we, come back to you we, guys. We, we, okay. We return. Oh. Okay. Jump into what you're in the middle of doing. There we have more in the lobby. The lobby pop. We're going to do fine. We're going to do fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Indeed. We'll see you all here shortly oh. for the, <laughs> wherever oh, this split chaos this. continues. Um, <clears throat> see you in a minute. Delve into a new tabletop role-playing game of investigative horror with the Candela Obscura Core Rulebook using the Illuminated World System by Darrington Press. Roam the turn-of-the-century-inspired setting of the Fairlands, including the bustling city of New Fair and the ancient ruins of Old Fair below. Assemble a circle of investigators within the paranormal secret society of Candela Obscura. You'll analyze strange and horrifying events, fight back against dangerous phenomena, and contain the bleed that spreads from corruptive magic. Choose from 10 custom character sheets to empower your investigations and explorations. Use tactical intuition and brawn with the soldier specialty. Use your charm with finesse and flair as the magician specialty. Or study and practice mystical arts as an occultist. Explore districts of Newfair, competing organizations, four full assignments, and dozens of example assignments to inspire you. If you choose to brave the role of game master, this guide contains everything needed to pave the way for your Candela Obscura investigators. 
offered in both a standard edition as well as an ornate limited edition for collectors. The Candela Obscura core rulebook contains 204 art-filled pages, including maps, items, immersive notes, mysteries, and plenty more to power your very own story. Keep this tome close, for the knowledge obtained may be the key to protecting you, your allies, and the Fairlands. Hey Critters, Laura Bailey here to guide you through what's new in the Critical Role Shop. Oh, so comfy cozy. Roll an investigation if you want. It's basically perfect. This is pretty badass. Could anything be more perfect? Style should never be a dumpster, darling. Ooh, look at this. Look at the details. Ooh. Look at this. Isn't it fashion? So much fashion happening here. You need this? You probably need this. And hey, if you want, you could head over to the Critical Role shop right now. Knowledge of the Flare is not exclusively held by Candela Obscura. There are many in the Fairlands who try to exploit the magical bleed we work to quell. In the gilded halls of the Varnish, the wealthy gather to celebrate their collected avarice and gluttony. But beneath their revels, sinister plots cast shadows of the past onto the present. When New Fair's most powerful find themselves in competition, it is those who work in their shadows that suffer the consequences. The Circle of the Crimson Mirror, assignment number 4316, The Gilded Graveyard. Jonas Spar is getting ready for work. Brushing his hair, trimming his beard, adjusting his uniform. He's very critical of his reflection. Everything must be perfect. Or at least look perfect today. It's kind of hard to concentrate on looking perfect. He keeps getting jostled. Movers are packing up his possessions and moving him out of the Consector's mansion. Everything's going in boxes. Movers are bumping around, picking things up. And more movers are jostling around those movers. It's very chaotic. Today, Spar is being moved out of his house, and someone else is being moved in. This isn't his house anymore. Tomorrow, he will be getting ready for work somewhere else. Normally, his company entourage would be briefing him on the day's events, current affairs, his schedule, etc. He doesn't have an entourage anymore, though, so he's catching up on the latest the way any other regular trustee would, by listening to the news on the teletheric.
doing this right or oh sorry um am i doing this right you can also gift subscriptions to fellow critters so what are you waiting for start spreading that sweet serenity with a twitch subscription to critical role it's like a warm blanket oh, oh hold on. it's my proctologist just give me a second okay hello hello, hello? Oh, hey, hey, Doc, yeah, what, what's up? What do you mean, more teeth? I thought you got rid of them all. Well, no, you don't tell me to relax. I'm the one with teeth up my... Subscribe.
Welcome back. <laughs> so, over here, ah. the folks who've been ah. sneaking into the colloquium, yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> stepping into the hallway and looking out to each side, it looks to be, at the moment, empty. Uh, the Saita Gona kind of glances back. I will, I will show you the way. I will whisper it to you. You continue where it needs to be. Wait, before we go, should we re-up now? We should. We're in a room. Yeah, it's only, you're right, you're right. It's only 10 more minutes. Yeah. All right, uh, okay. Um, yeah. Let's step back into the room. Right before we go out. <laughs> hey, Chad, do you want to take any of these books from right here? I mean, it's not like it's any texts that we have on Alexandria. Yeah. Books? Books about what? Wait, oh, We're in oh. a study, right? Oh. Are oh. there any books in here? Yeah. So the study, it's a place for bringing research here, but there are no books oh, necessarily it. present. It's more of like an, a, a general room. use quiet room. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. All right, I will cast at fourth level. Chet, do you need, can you re-up yourself? Hey, I'll drop invisibility, or I'll, I'll, I'll let it fall, and then I'll look at Gona and go, I feel, I feel strange. And I'll like Terminator 2 pull Chetney's hand off, and there's just a big werewolf claw underneath. Oh, God! <laughs> 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 it's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> I'll finish uh, transforming into a, a sexy ass wolf. A sexy ass. Wolf. And then I'll cast uh, invisibility, <laughs> or I will activate the uh, monocle. You do hear footsteps coming. Oh, oh shit! Oh, shit. Oh, okay, <laughs> fourth level. The invisibility. I'll ask. I'll activate the monocle and uh, okay. see invisibility and yeah. cast invisibility. See invisibility. Yeah. So, so you have seen invisibility and you're invisible. <laughs> the rest of you have about ten more minutes of see invisibility left. Oh right. Oh, oh, that was a. Th I, I thought that, that was. was a thing. Yeah, but there was no help in that, so. We're yeah. just going to hold hands. You can still minutes. see invisible for 10 more minutes. Yeah. All right, well, let's let's move. Go, were you being facetious when you said we heard someone coming? Well, let's go. No. no. The Saito screamed at the sight yeah, of him. I think hug the wall, someone's coming. <laughs> should we get in the oh, hallway? The we should get in the hallway. Is let's the door the shut? Go, go, go. Uh, you, shut the door, you shut the door behind you, yeah, and you, oh, you peeked out, and so you hear footsteps coming. Yeah. Oh, so the door is open? I went like this and looked out because everyone was freaking the fuck out, uh -huh. and I wanted to see if I heard anything, and I did heard something. Yeah, back to the wall. Back, back to the wall. Back to the wall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so y'all back in the room, you're gonna get to the wall. A brief time passes before the door opens, and you see a uh, Quantica in kind of longer robes, um, older looking fellow, uh, looks like a pair of uh, Rooting glass spectacles that are polished to the end of his nose. They kind of sit right about there. He cool. kind of leans in. Hello. Hmm. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Dude, <laughs> terrified me as a kid. Fucking train filled with heads everywhere. Like what the hell? <laughs> Ernie Hudson, baby. All right. Door closes. Wait, good minute and a half. Okay. Of being able to see each other. You hear in your ear. Is your friend okay? Oh no, never. But <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Well. Me too. We'll complete this mission in his honor. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, to the right. To the right. Mm -hmm. All right, I'd like everyone to make a group stealth check with advantage because of yeah. the invisibility, please. Okay, come on. All right. Come on. We got this. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Oh my God. God. Yep. That's a d12. That is a d12. <laughs> we'll probably roll I'm in line. Right. <laughs> <laughs> <Whole night. laughs> to be fair, it almost did. <laughs> I rolled better than you did on the phone. <laughs> 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 we should just go. We should just start over. Should we start over? <laughs> just <laughs> take it from the top. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, Risha, what you got? Okay. Um. Fourteen total. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Eighteen total. Okay. Already twenty. Already. Twenty-four. Okay. I'll just dream of seventeen total. Numbers. My math sucks. Seventeen total. Oh my God. He did, something, he did something. He did something. He did something. That's something behind the screen. What? What? <laughs> you follow the path down that hall, down a set of stairs. Uh, you get to the bottom, and the 
hallway before you opens in three different paths. Uh, you can see there are a few other robed figures. You see some uh, Rylorn that are just walking down the hall one pathway. You see one soldier who's coming from right to left. Uh, Gonus is to the left. Um, wait for the soldier to pass, then go where they came from. To the left. Mm -hmm. You wait for him to pass by, and you all kind of scurry that path as the two distant Rylorn like step into another. Doorway out of sight. What is the floor like? Is it stone? Is it carpeted? Is there anything that's? Or is it just stone? It's not carpeted. Uh, it, it most everything here is is shaped from stone, mm -hmm. magically or psychically. Um, yeah. Some of them have rougher areas, but like this this place is a very nice structure. And it looks like everything has been intentionally shaped and made through <coughs> will and magic. Okay. Is it more smooth or? It's still <coughs> angular in the hallways, like different corner edges. Um, but if you but if you look at the close to the texture, it has kind of a. A little bit of a more natural kind of smooth stone texture than like a straight wall. Yeah, there's no like brick edges. Everything is built and shaped from the stone as a pure thing. Um, but heading down the hall, uh, it eventually heads to another left-right split, and then one kind of spiral stone staircase, like a tight one that heads downward. And uh, Gona's down the staircase. Got it. Quickly. You're so helpful, Gona. I never do it. Um, you head down to the bottom of the staircase, and right at the bottom, kind of closing off the walkway up Shit. there, are two Rylorn hulks, armored in the soldier garb of the Dominion of Kruth. <sighs> Essentially, almost like two blockades preventing you from entering the chamber. And Gong goes, ah, hey, <clears throat> sorry. You're both kind of, you're all like at the bottom of the staircase, looking at the back, <laughs> the muscular and armored backs of these so two So like halls. down the stairs and they've got their backs to us? Correct, the they're essentially like guarding other people from getting to the <coughs> staircase and you are on the back side of them. Wait, we Gona said sorry? Yeah. Just because they ran us into to be a couple hulks. Is there, uh, how close together are they? <laughs> they're, they're shoulder to shoulder. Mm -hmm. I got this. So their their legs are apart then, there's a gap at their legs? Yeah, they probably a solid like foot and a half between at the base. Is there Based on their, their size and scope. Mm. A gap above the door? Uh, they're pretty <laughs> tightly in there. There's about a six inch gap from where the top of their heads and shoulders are to the ceiling that's in this chamber. And the stairs here are big enough to, must be, to accommodate their massive feet? Uh, this staircase is not. Not. Um, they probably came down here through a different means. Okay. What do you, what do what you have you in mind? mind? Toys make the world go round. <gasps> and I'll reach into my, uh, my little pouch and I'll take out two toys that I have worked on. Uh, one is a little wooden wolf that hinges at the waist, uh -huh. and when you set it down, it creates a little bit of movement. And another one is a, uh, a spiral stick with a, car, a carve going along the side of it that's got wooden marbles that spin in it. And I will, like fucking Batman, just <laughs> throw them both on the floor <laughs> in front of both of the jobs. They, as you throw it like, through their legs and they scatter to the ground in front, they both, <laughs> and one of them like, pulls up a fist and they both glance down. What's the DC on this? Oh, Come on! Five. Oh. Come on! I was waiting for this moment. <laughs> I've been waiting. Uh, Fifteen wisdom saving throw. Fifteen wisdom saving throw. Fifteen wisdom saving throw. It's a natural nine and a natural one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Let's go. So they are uh, distracted for uh, one minute. Oh All God! All right. So okay. both of them immediately like reach down. One grabs one and picks it up. The other's like, "What?" Sees the other one and goes for it and picks it up. And they both kind of go. <laughs> and you start like looking it over and go, messing go, go. with it. Go, go, go. Yes, but carefully, me. carefully. Yes. Right, so we're going under their under their they kind of sacks. Moved away they moved they had to bend yeah, there, there, a little bit of a, a gap has presented itself as they stepped for okay. the oh. toys. Uh, Gordon goes, "Okay, I follow. Keep going. Straight forward. Straight forward. Yep. You can in, in, in the head. We're all in. This is all in the heads. Well, well Gordon is whispering it in your ears. Gona doesn't have. I as we go by, as head. we go by, I very lightly whisper. <laughs> oh my god. Perfect. Um, going down this hall, you pass by a number of open doorways. Uh, you kind of glance into them as you do, but Gonus is like, no, no, keep going. But looking into the sides, you can see their uh, either sleeping quarters or general like resting social quarters, but you see Vanguard members in here, people wearing the Vanguard robes, uh, some look like they're in the process of playing like a, a card game or going through uh, whatever they brought from home to try and remind them, they, they're not like comfortable uh, in these chambers. They're not, you know, incredibly well decorated. They're just kind of 
standard rooms, and you kind of just give quick glances as you go by and see them sitting in the space. And it's the, the mingling of both the Vanguard figures and the Ryloran figures, and the, the current truce they hold, and still that odd tension and gulf between them culturally. Question. Um, mm -hmm. Do we get the sense that now that we're in here, are we in, we're not inside the glass spire, are we? You don't think so. Everything you've seen is stone at the moment. Okay. Okay. Also, can we see each other anymore? Uh, currently, you still can. still can. You guys have been moving pretty rapidly since you left that chamber. Okay. Um, you continue down for a bit, and then it curves to the left and continues onward. As you do, you can see out of the wall an element of that glass is kind of breaking through the wall. Okay. It looks like it's breaking through and into the ceiling to where about a quarter of the chamber is obfuscated. By just this like lower part of a branch of glass, and that's branching off of what we think is that giant pillar. Yeah, this whole thing. You, you imagine the direction would make sense yeah. if you, this, if it's to the left of you. And did this building, this location, uh, the colloquium of Candescens, go all the way around? Like not all the way around, but just like a, a section of okay. it is built onto it. All right. All right. Yeah, only only the uh, the arcs creonum goes like all the way around. It is like a spiral up it. Okay. Okay. Um, how far away is that uh, section of glass that's br breaching into the room? 20 feet ahead of you. All right. You can get around it easy, like it doesn't like block the path. I'll be right back. And I'll walk over to it, uh, and I want to put a hand on it, and I want to use uh, Grim Psychometry. Yes. Uh, and just <laughs> see what I can feel off of this giant pillar of glass that's the focal, focal point of this area. Okay, go, ahead and, uh, go ahead and roll for that. Okay. History, advantage to recall information about fey fiends or undead, recall information about a darker past surrounding an object, or you're touching or a location you're present. Okay. Uh, it's only a 14. Uh, only a 14. Yeah. You concentrate and focus, and you get flashes, flashes of, of red, like a red filter over images, just kind of like in your mind. You see stone crushing. You see uh, uh, feelings of anger and hunger, and you feel a brief moment of aloneness, and that's all. Okay. All right, let's keep going. Continuing along this way, you kind of go past, and you can see it hasn't grown through the stone. The stone has been built around it. Um, it looks like it. Like some buildings will be built around a tree or a structure. This looks like the uh, the entirety of this was built on and around any existing protrusions. So either it's these branches have grown over time and they've accompanied them, or the branches have always been there. Um, you continue down the hall like curvature at this point. Now previously it was like straight hallways. Now it seems like it's kind of following the slight curve of one <coughs> edge of the, uh, the the glass pillar. Are and we level or are we? Your level as you're oh, going, okay. as best you can tell. <clears throat> um, and then it begins to descend uh, a pair of stairs. Uh, one that goes straight down in front, and one that goes uh, to the left. Um, Gona goes, oh, I, I think it's to the left. Okay. I think it's to the left. Okay. All right, to the left. Oh. Shall she scribble? Okay. All right. And it doesn't look like it's moved at all. It's just kind of hanging stationary. Uh, I mean, best you can tell. It's not like a, a perfect uh, GPS. You know, you can get the general distance. It's still kind of above you to a degree. Oh yeah, center of the pool. That's right. You head down the left staircase, and it switchbacks twice, and you can smell the air is shifting a bit here. The uh, chant. It's something about the moon. It's lower pressure. There's like a, it's like a chemically scent. It kind of mixes in the air. Um, as you come down the third stair, switch back. It leads into a smaller chamber, and in here, you can see there are uh, two Ralora that are currently sitting um, at two different tables, and they have instruments. Like, like it looks like metal and stone instruments that have various knobs on them, and they are in the process of inspecting samples of some kind. 
It's like a, a semi-arcane laboratory. Elements of it seem more rudimentary than what you've seen in higher places of Arcana, but then other elements seem quite high-tech, and it's a unique mixture of the two. Does it look like there are stairs that continue down beyond this chamber? This chamber, uh, it's about a, a, I'd say a 20 by 30 foot room, and there's some decoration and there's a couple of shelves that have some things upon them, some looks like different uh, types and shapes of Rudian <coughs> glass. You can see there are jars that contain like dark liquid and things that kind of hang in them, of different sizes and colorations. Um, and there is a, uh, an open archway on the opposite side of the room that enters into a larger chamber. On the inside there, you can see there is like a long table, what looks to be uh, an extended, like smaller chamber beyond that too, like a, a shine of like a smooth glass surface within, and then another opening that leads to a further chamber beyond that. It looks like these, this is like a cavalcade of laboratory rooms, if you will. Yeah, I think, and, what, did, what did Gona say, they took her beneath the bay? The engineering bay. Do we see any signs or anything that show where the engineering bay would be? There's no signs in here. Um, but Gona says, this is the bay. Okay. Yeah. This is the bay. And is, is there a stair step? I don't know. They, when they, they took her, they said, to, they said they were going to hold her below. Hold her below. Should we try the other stairwell then? We can. In this room, can we look for anything that we've seen near that Malleus key, like green glass, more of that Aeorian looking tech? Anything that would jog our memory from Make a perception check. Based off what we've seen before. Nope. Can I go up and look at one of the jars? I'm not gonna touch it, I just wanna look. And there's two individuals in here working. Right? Yeah, there's two individuals oh. that, are, that are working and like sitting at two different tables, kind of, they're kind like of facing away work. from you and they're currently called into their work. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, 18. 18. Uh, on the far, far chamber, not the, the, the next one over, but the one beyond that where they just kind of open archways that lead into each. Um, and the faint lights that's there, you can see there, um, on one table, it looks like there is a similar device, at least in coloration and design. This is the one that you had procured from that uh, contained box when you first arrived at Previrus. But it's large, right? Uh, this oh. one looks like it's like a, 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 a smaller piece. Maybe the, Would it fit the, in the bag of holding? Ah, uh, no, nah, it's a little bit too large for that. Okay. I mean, I'm stretched the limits of what can be fit into a bag of holding before. Uh, I'll, I will say you can certainly try. Mm, I wouldn't do that. Uh, but I, I, might, noise, I might go over and look at it and see if. I don't even think we looked at it that close. Is there anything I could like pull off of it or a piece of it that I could take that wouldn't make noise? And if not, then I would just leave it alone. Do you want to go inspect it? Yeah. Is okay. it in the same room with the with the two workers? No, it's in it's in it's two rooms over from okay. that. Okay. It's like through two archways. All right. Are you all going in? Through two archways. Yeah. Through these last couple of minutes where we can still see each other. Mm -hmm. And we're still going off of our same stealth at the moment? Mm -hmm. Correct. And just yeah. and just so we have it, so room room we are in has two Red Lorens in it. Right. There's a stairwell going that down goes from there. down, but also two more chambers. And right. two archways into two other rooms. Well, it, although there's a, you came down this like triple switchback, mm -hmm. and it leads to this. Yep. You can go back up, and there's a second stairway that goes in another direction. Oh, but this Got so it. this one comes down to here. There are no stairs that go down. There might from here. be Correct. further. Correct. There might be further on, further on but uh, oh, from where you are now, this of the two paths that you could have taken, this one led to this bay. Got it. Yeah, can we? Yeah, worth it to take to see what the hell they're yeah. doing. Yeah, so we yeah, should we'll head. Quietly forward. go to the archway, but inspect the archway for any sort of <clears throat> traps or ruins or anything right. with my <clears throat> monocle of invisibility. Okay. Uh, okay. So you you glance around as you see within some of these jars as you pass, kind of under the the first archway on the shelf. You can see within uh, these different chemicals. There's organs. Some of them look like they are very young, like fetal even, um, oh. that are just kind of arranged and labeled. Um, Any this, labels that we can read? Uh, you do not recognize the language. I've got my runic guides. You do, actually. Do All right, so. What does that mean? What does that mean? The, the, Do you know what your runic eyes say? Ripley, no, no. Ripley, Ripley, <laughs> Ripley. Yeah. Ripley. yeah. <laughs> it's all yeah, three code. Yeah. Uh, one of them says uh, primary zinc input failure. And the next one says. Zinc? Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, another one says uh, use of strong uh, like psychic influence at second stage ruined brainstem, failed. And you see these are all different kind of experimental reminders. You don't know how old they are, or how recent they are, but you get the sense quickly that a lot of the things that are collected here are essentially older experiments within the engineering bay that have been kept for historical and research purposes. Oh. Are they trying to grow this? Book? Yeah, they well, they, they said that there's the bioengineering yeah, being yeah, done. That's how the hulks are created. Right. That's and how, how like the weave mind is probably still alive, and, okay. uh-huh. and they probably have been making like beasts of burden. Do they look like Ryloran yeah. fetuses? Right, or any or of like the people that we've fetuses? met. Yeah. yeah. Make a nature check for me. A nature I'm too, so that's some question. Nope. Nature's not great. You know, we know I've been just rolling like so good, you this guys. This is the one, though. Ugh, yeah, I rolled an 18 for 19 total. Hey, that's great. That's great. Do any um, of them look like that? <clears throat> kind of, actually. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so sad. It's that it's like seeping it's so wet. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 water into a book. Look, his, is that a thing wet. that he can weave in? Fell out. Okay, no. <laughs> oh, oh, the seep strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> um. Some of them look like they could be Ryloran. There's, these are biologies you're unfamiliar with at those stages of the development. Um, some of them look otherwise. You see one that looks Bormodo. You see one that looks like it's one of, another beast, maybe in, in Avedon, you're not sure. Um, but it looks like there's a wide range of different biological experimentation that has gone on in here. Buff. That chemical smell is strong. Buff. As you pass beyond Buff. the archway into the next chamber, you can see there's uh, other tables set around, and there is a massive alchemical contraption to the left-hand side in the corner. Um, there is a monstrously sized, like 15 feet across, Rudian glass tube with a kind of an imperfect surface on it, where it kind of warps the shape of it, and a, a thick green kind of brown liquid that fills the inside in the shadow of something that is... is moving? At the moment, no. You just see kind of a sh- like a shadow of shapes, almost like like spider-like, and it's like weird, odd limbs is kind of just set in this liquid. So rough for about a Luke Skywalker bath, right? Like that size. Oh, yeah, about yeah, fifteen feet across and about uh, twelve oh, wow. to fifteen feet tall. Yeah. Cool. You know, when I heard engineering bay, I pictured like engines. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. What? Why? I don't know. <laughs> Right there on the main. Biological cooling. Okay, yes, so yes, big yes, tube yes, yes, with yes, something yes, with murky yes. green brown water, so it's hard to see through it. All right, any labels on that one? Uh, no labels on that one. All right. And that's the only thing, that's the, the main thing in this room? Main thing in this room to, to your left. Uh, on the right, uh, you can see a couple of other uh, like chairs set up at the side. There is one uh, Bormodo researcher that's currently in the process of gathering a few. It looks like uh, uh, bits of leather that have kind of writing on them, like thin sheets, and kind of rolls them up and starts walking over towards the glass and kind of crosses in front of you all, and you kind of step back as it passes by, it has like a, a heavy, like, like fur-necked collar around its back, and it kind of inspects and looks in the glass and goes and starts checking some of the glass instruments to your left, kind of leaving an opening in the next chamber. All right, all right, yeah, all right. Yeah, let's go into that. Go into like, <sighs> I can sense she's around here. Keep going. Oh she's God, not in this tube, in is she? Tube. What if she's in the tube? I don't know, we'll find out. Yeah, and, just, and actually, just before we leave, yeah. can I, uh, I don't think it, this will hit, but Hunter's Bane for Fae Fiends or Undead, can mm. I just uh, feel out towards the tube and see if anything Is that happens? a spell? Nope. Yeah, it's just a sense. Um, so you kind of like try and sense for any of that. No Undead. Okay. No Fae, no Fiends. Well, I'll check those off. Let's keep going. Stepping through into the next room, this is a, this is the largest of the rooms you've been in. This has numerous tables with all sorts of equipment on them. Um, you can see uh, small creatures set into smaller alchemical vials and tubes that are kind of affixed to walls above. There are numerous experiments going on here. Uh, you can see a number of other like 
caged tubes, and you can see like like there's the glass and the metal around them. Uh, the one you previously saw had kind of metal casing on it. These also have like a, a natural metal cage around the outside of the glass. They're almost like large pills, if you will. You can see what looks to be a Rylorian shape in one of them. You look at another, and uh, it looks like something smaller that's kind of growing weird and off. Um, you see on one table there is a body that is just open, and someone you see a, a Rylorian is currently in the process of reaching and essentially. Uh, autopsy. uh, autopsying yeah. this this figure, this massive burly figure. You recognize the scars on the face where a max, mask was once affixed. This is a judicator that is currently being pulled apart and researched within the laboratory. Adjudicator. Oh mm-hmm. shit! Alien autopsy. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! Whoa! Um, Wait. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> the, the what big, did Judicator do here? Yeah, yeah, they dragged, they they dragged. Got taken. Yeah. Oh, well, well, that's right, because all the, the they, they came they to came try to stop, to stop it. that. So they took a prisoner that's of war right. and brought the religious beefcake here yeah. and cut them open. Because all the Vasselheim <laughs> ships got, yeah. got rocked. Oh my god. Damn. You oh my god! <laughs> there are uh, two other Rylorn figures in here Ooh. that are overseeing. You see one that has the heavy chained uh, head adornment of a mystic uh, that is kind of gliding a little bit off the ground and just kind of inspecting the space. Shit. And you see uh, another one that uh, is the long, uh, thin shrike-like body um, and has on its side three glass blades, one on to each side and one across its back that just kind of dangle and swing with it. <laughs> And they're all just keeping watch. On the left-hand side, you see one more uh, glass tube. On the one side of it, there's a, a structure. It looks almost—it looks almost like a, like an, uh, an orrery, but it's like a, a halfway open uh, artistic rendition of a red sphere. Um, you can see like layers, like it's been cut in half, and you get a quick glance. This is likely a, a and it. A theoretical interpretation of Ruidus. It is a diorama of the moon. You can see there's like pockets of caverns strewn throughout, and certain things are marked. But what you do notice is the center of it is teal. 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 There is there is a glass core to this, and a number of these pillars kind of pierce out. Again, in the crust, in certain ways. So we see glimpses of some sort of uh, of mass at the center of this diorama. Yeah. How big is the the mass compared to the total size of the moon? Uh, How big that gobstopper? Yeah, it looks to be a. If it's about. This, this large, mm-hmm. it's nine inches. It's about the size of a fist, so Yo, it's a so. fair core. That's like forty percent of the mass, maybe thirty to forty percent. Tight, yeah. tight, 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 tight. And how? Okay. No, All right. Yeah. This is a theoretical mm. representation of Ruidus. It is, but the the liquid tube next to it uh, catches your attention as well, as you see floating within it what looks to be uh, the shadowed shape of uh, a female. Bormodo, Fuck. who of is course. kind of floating in the vat. In a vat, okay. Can you hear and in your ear, go and I go, no. Okay. She's still alive. I can sense her. We have to get her out. Shit. Mm-hmm. In, so. in Gona's head, I say, trust. Just keep quiet. We're going to get her out. I promise. We're going to come to you guys. Oh, oh, oh that felt bad. <laughs> As you step out and approach this as, oh, device. As, as we, just before we step out and approach, I'm just gonna quickly, uh, just quickly, uh, just bind with these two mm-hmm. folks. Yes, great, just do great, a little great, sympathetic great. bind. You got it, okay. <clears throat> as you bind them and step out, the initial sentinel steps and approaches and begins to head towards the mystic. Um, a little more bold than some of the others have been, but definitely like nothing aggressive. But most everyone else has shown like a, a, a reverence, mostly towards the mystic. This one kind of 
cocks ahead out of curiosity and approaches. Ira steps forward and begins to gesture like he's speaking towards it. Um, moves a hand this way, moves a hand this way, and releases it. Um, could I have you three roll d20s for me, please? Okay. He's staying back. Right. Okay, just a d20. Just, d20. A, just, just roll cool. on d20s, no big cool. deal. Five. Sixteen. Eight. Eight. So you're rolling for the saving throws for these figures. Um, oh. Oh, for them? Yeah. Oh, oh good. Uh, oh. And actually, there's only be one more, because there's two engineers the, and the juggernaut and the one that's part of the Why don't you so roll, roll again? One more. Maybe you'll do badly this time, please. Three. Perfect. <laughs> <clears throat> Ask and we shall see. <laughs> so. The two engineers that are on the sides of the structure kind of turn over and look towards Ira. The one that he's talking to also looks over and nods. Um, actually, let me check one more statistic on this one here. Oh. No, that would be over so here. Just say the word and just say the word and tell me when you need one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, 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 we'll keep you posted. We'll keep you posted. We're just mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah. Looks like there's some. <laughs> and the three of those figures immediately. Nod and leave their post and begin to walk up the tunnel. Oh, that as was easy. I returns and gestures that direction. So how many are there's, there's two? There's one left. left. There's one left. The juggernaut. The juggernaut which goes. Of course the top juggernaut. <laughs> something there, Fernie? And a, a, approaches looking confused and like quick like gets up close to Ira. Ira begins to gesture incredibly intensely towards this figure. Um, one of you roll another d20 for me, if you don't mind. Uh-oh. He's casting it again. Natural 20. Stop it! Was that for, that was for that? That was for the bad guy. <laughs> you rolled it for the bad guy? Why? Why did you Why roll it for the bad guy? He told me to, it's his fault! <sighs> that, this, this was not for charm. This, <laughs> so this, this was not for charm, this was for a dominate. Um, <laughs> And so Ira goes and releases this spell towards it, and the juggernaut goes. <laughs> uh oh. Charm. Come on. Now I'm gonna check one thing. <laughs> <laughs> charm. You may not be able to. Well, it's a different person. Charm. Chicken and charm. 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 Pleasure. Pleasure. Should do this instead. Charm. Okay. No. I mean, it, 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 you can still attempt to charm it if you'd like to. You can do it. Um, you got it. Sam, roll another d20 for me. <laughs> we believe like in shit, you. Sam. 14. 14, what's your DC? 18. That would be a total of 16 with this. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 dude. So, uh, it brings its fists back, and right as it go, it does so, you release the spell, and it looks, <laughs> it looks towards you, and still continues to bring its fists back towards Ira. What do you do? Oh, because he's only charmed for you. Yeah. He thinks you're a friend. Hey, hey, I'll hop in front yes. of, the, of, of Ira. As a Bormordo. You can hop in front of Ira? Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, I'm going to say roll a dexterity saving throw to see if oh. you can get in there before the juggernaut makes contact. Sure, 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 sure. Okay. This is the Jim Henson side of the mm -hmm. table. Okay. That's good. 19. Nineteen. Da, da, okay. Da, da, da. You see this happening as Ira's like pulling back again, ready to prepare some other spell. As you dart in and kind of wedge yourself in the front of the way, and as you do, the juggernaut stops with his fist and looks down at you, like, and you hear in your head, "What? I do not think this is what it's supposed to be." Oh, but it is. <laughs> you need to do what he told you to do because he told you to leave. I'm pretty sure he told you to leave. In your head. Uh. <laughs> Listen, I know you're you're doing you're doing your job, but we came down here because we had to do to do something. He regards you as an ally, but the conflicting orders are challenging. Would you roll a persuasion check for me, please? Mm. Okay. Mom for moto. Easy. Persuasion. Okay. Yeah, because this is also a Bormodo giving uh, commands, friendly as the spell may be to a uh, juggernaut. So. 22. 22. The juggernaut releases the tension in the fingers and the arm's kind of dropped at the side. 
We're all friends here. We're all friends here. <sighs> Gives a nod to you. Walks past you. Walks past Ira and gives Ira this long look, like the I don't trust this, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then continues walking after how, the others. How far away have they gone? Like out of sight? Out of sight. Whoa, that's that's awesome. I see them. I'm tell <laughs> I assume I see them they're, walking. They're com- you do. They're, they're, they're coming up your way. All right, I I back to the side and okay. and then walk over to where they are, and I'm gonna very <laughs> quietly walk to see what the. I'd like just watch to see what what the heck okay. they're going to do. You continue down as you do. The juggernaut kind of comes up behind the initial wave of them Uh-oh. as it approaches and looks over towards you as it lumbers past. Uh, just make a deception check for me. It's not a terribly high DC. That's yeah, me though. But I'm. <laughs> <laughs> hardly fair. So hardly fair. Uh, deception check, really? Okay. Yeah. Come just on. Be, beat a ten. Oh fuck no! That's not possible. Are you kidding? What'd you get? I got a three. Oh. Oh. You got a draw of five. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. I have a negative two to deception. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of just double to, to kind of check on Ashton well, and the juggernaut. The, so this is a little out of the, out of sight because they okay. curved around the corner here as you sent them off and warned him. Oh. Um, at this point, uh, Ira is rapidly. Pulling out the explosives sure, and help. begins and it's like handing them to you and is like dancing about like it's like it's the dance of the sugar pump flare. He's like, yeah. all right, just it keep here. it professional, Ira. Right. <laughs> Goes and is like places one underneath the device, like spider crawls underneath and like Jeez. fixes one to the back. Yes, crawls back yes. on How top. big is the device? Wide. Agreed. Wide. It's probably about mm-hmm. I'd say ten feet ish from side to side. Okay. Or from, sorry, from front, from front <laughs> to back. And about eight or so feet from side to side, and okay. at the front there is this massive, like, <laughs> ragged-looking drill that has oh. been burrowing into the chamber. Uh, Didn't even do anything, man. Just it's okay. I'll just say to Ira before you, before you trigger it, just tell me because I'm gonna help. Guys, I may have a problem. I think it would not be best for us to trigger it while we're in the chamber. Well, okay. Wait, but, but, but what's the what's the trigger time? What, how much time do we have? Uh, haven't said it yet. Okay. He didn't answer my question. That's totally fine. <laughs> Ashton, are you doing okay? No, uh, I'm getting eyed. The juggernaut approaches and like looms over you, kind of looking down. <laughs> you hear in your head, who are you with? I'm with them. Oh. Grabs your throat and lifts you up against the stone and gets real close to inspect you. Mm-hmm. Who is them? The other figures are have walked like towards the blast mm-hmm. doors and like mm-hmm. stop and turn and are intrigued by this. <laughs> Guys, need some help. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna start walking toward yeah, I'm gonna start walking like, back. What time should I set? One minute. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. And he goes and starts like. You haven't started it yet, though, have you? I just started. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> you told me one minute. I, I, I said it for one minute, but don't start it yet, Jesus! We gotta get the fuck out of here! <laughs> I misunderstood. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Come on! Like you watch him go in a flurry, like, oh like almost like multiple arms out of him as he just goes and sets them all rapidly and turns around smiling. I was like, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Bomb this! Bomb uh, this! <laughs> so they're all set, right? Uh, the majority of them are yes. Okay. Five of the six of them, yeah. I'm gonna cast silence on the whole, the whole thing. Okay. Oh, God, cool. So you cast silence poof, on this area and you're holding it. All right, as. You, I'm sort of uh, 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 running uh, back towards. You do? Our we need the distraction. You're supposed to be the distraction to kick everything off. To... Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> for like this, Ooh, this is higher you're plan. To be for the multiple plans. For multiple plans. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. <laughs> So, so <laughs> we're going to you Here's know you thing. realize that the entire we're fo- so fucked. But it can't. Everything. It's we gonna make some noise. It's okay. It can't it's just like explode I don't know. and then. We'll find out. How long like does the silent range? Not far. <laughs> how long is it, does it make silence? Twenty feet. Okay. 
Yeah, how does sound good does it if the... Uh, it does not overthink it. We'll see, we'll see. My, okay. Yeah, my minute hour glass is not it'll sound good. It'll sound good. Fuck, 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 fuck the minute hour glass, man. Stuff getting here. stuff. Here, I'll just make a timer on my phone. It'll still make noise, just not in 20 feet. It's fun. In the... In the in the midst of this being kind of wibbly wobbly timey, I'm just mm. going to set a three minute timer so to activate it to one minute. Okay. Mm. Oh. So, did um. What are you doing? Did did. Three minutes. Why can't I talk? I read. Did he set all six of them? Five of the six. Five of the six. So there's one of them that we still have. Well, they're all it's placed. There. He just only set five of them before you stopped. Okay. Him. Okay. 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 Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, send a message to you guys. I'm, 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 we have 50 seconds to get out of here. Motherfucker, I'm close. Why did you set them already? I okay. didn't hear there was a misunderstanding. I'm gonna fucking. So by the way, I don't know can what else to do. Too? Uh, I mean, yeah, I imagine. You send you can. it to us. Yeah. yeah, sure. We have 50 <laughs> seconds left before this thing blows. All right. <laughs> So, uh, as you both come around the corner, Ira rapidly behind you, you see Ashton being held against the wall. Uh, Ira goes, ah, not much we can do about that. Um, is going to go ahead and. Even regards to. Uh, is, I don't know. Ashton. <laughs> Ashton. <laughs> is going to go ahead and. Hmm, cast Polymorph on the Juggernaut. Oh. Rolling the 24 minutes. Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> the Juggernaut sh shrinks down into a snail, and immediately you're released at that point. The um, the other guard's like, what? And uh, Iris says, sorry, uh, we need you to check the, the machine back there. It's uh, it's acting up. And they all kind of look to Ira and keep running. They all, all seem confused by it. All three of them run back it. towards the machine, yeah. Right. Perfect. You all just go in. going yeah. into a go, run. Go, speed. Go, I'm going to rage just to see what the fuck happens too. Uh, oh, fuck yes. Nice. Ira reaches up and grabs the handle, <laughs> and the garage door <laughs> opens. Um, great. great. It's like we're going to take everything down. Stay close, children. And almost like reaches out and almost like sweeps you up in his hands as you all kind of run together. I have. I also hit my. I hit the time point of my. So I have a. I have a walking speed of eighty feet right now. If I want to take it. Okay. So I'm uh, pulling everyone. Yeah. Okay. So as Iris says, uh, take whoever you think is slowest. I'll take the other. Got you. Yeah. Oh. All right. As as you as all of a sudden you're grabbed by Ashton and both you're like <laughs> cruising at an incredible speed up mm -hmm. this tunnel. Uh, Ira is just like gently running with you, like so. No beef. It's nice to spend this time with all of you. Uh -oh. I know, it's been a little fun. It's been a little exciting. I think it's great. I think it's a little weird that you said those with such a short amount of time. Oh, shit. <laughs> Keeps it interesting, does it not? Well, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much. I mean, we only have so much time anyway. Do you mean like in the general? Sense Whatever of life you want or it just... to be. Okay. You're both shooting past people and guard soldiers, like, what the fuck is happening? They start getting their weapons to like follow, and you're just darting and running and running and running and running and running. It's like a Sonic the Hedgehog moment as you're just like cruising through, putting everything and dragging him. Oh. And at that point, oh. you hear, hear this massive rumble. Uh, in the ground, and then it just gets louder and louder and louder, like a, oh. like, a, like a freight train just kind of cruising up the way. You see this white light coming, and <gasps> Iris says, I guess it's time. What? And takes you and holds you, and right as the flames erupt, you both, <laughs> need to mention doors you both to the surface. Oh. <laughs> and you get like, kind of like, <sighs> arrive on top, and he's like, we need to keep still running. You'll see why. As you both continue to cruise, knew it. the, <laughs> the oh ground God. begins to erupt for oh a second, like it bulges God. beneath you, and you both kind of get thrown <laughs> up a few feet before it <laughs> begins to sink below. Like the entirety of the ground above this entire tunnel like detonates from underneath and then falls into its own cavernous space. Oh. Uh, I need you to make a strength saving throw. Which one? Who? Fern. Whoa, whoa, wait. I have a running speed right now of 160 feet. It's on okay. But I know I'm going as full. I have a I have an emergency for me, but I don't have an emergency. Hmm? So you, as, as it begins and to then, fall down, you get pulled into the collapsing ground that's falling in from the impact of the explosion and begin to seep in. You see Ira like running the opposite direction, spinning around and seeing you begin to fall within. I goes. Come on, babe. Don't be a dick. I'm just trying to get out. He's going to go ahead and 
He's going to use the fifth level slide. He's going to cast Wall of Force, and he's going to like create a wall of uh, of nearly invisible energy that kind of shh appears right there on the ground next to you. And uh, you can reach up and grab it, and it's like leverage that's not slipping oh. like a, like a quicksand. Amazing. You manage to get yourself up onto the wall. <laughs> you get up onto the wall and look, and you don't see him anywhere. You're on your own. Okay. Shit. But, 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 but is anybody there? Hello, Ashton. The two of you who are running, you can hear the rumble going. Is it, cat, is it getting faster and faster? It's getting faster and faster, and you can hear the distant screams. Just people just like flashing out as the flames <laughs> blast are catching up behind the tunnel. What are you doing? <laughs> you have a plan? Because I have one thing I can do, but I'm just fast. It went off. It went off. I'm very fast. Like, like incinerations. And I'm going to. Uh, I'm going I'm gonna, to. I'm going to give you a, uh, a a a boon. A what is it called? Bonded blessing. So you get a, a d6 on some roll that's coming up. All right. Go faster. I'm also going Let's to go activate go the shard of Kamort because fuck it, we're at that point. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm yeah, super fucking fast and. Um, like burning through my fucking uh, yep. through all my shit, yep. and I'm going to try and get into the rock. Like I'm starting to like shark my way through the rock. Okay, so, so you're like <laughs> you begin to like carrying. move into it, carrying FCG on the outside of the rock as you do. <laughs> the flames are now catching up as the explosion is tearing through this tunnel behind. Uh, as Ooh. as you you pass by the barracks. And you see, as people are emerging to look and see what's happening, and the look of fear and horror in their expression in the moment that they realize that this is the last moment of their life. Oh, Jesus. Um, Got anything? I, I, stone shape. <laughs> <laughs> are you okay? Not yet. I don't have shields or anything. You teleport anything. I can teleport 30 feet. <laughs> can you banish? I can banish again. Yeah, but then you're stuck mm. in that one then, spot if that's mm. everything. For a minute! Uh, hold on. <laughs> and then re emerge. In. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It takes your chance. Ira! <laughs> so, sorry, we are in a, a, a rock tunnel now that you you're, made? You're in the wall. No, you, he's in the wall. You're being dragged on the outside of the oh. wall. In, I can't still inside the, 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 the tunnel. So you're in, still inside the cavern. Oh, but it moves as real the, fast. The landscape behind you is brightening, okay. and you can see like you're, you're moments away from being hit by the blast. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, don't know yeah. what to do. I don't either. Move you real fast. I don't have a, a traveling shield spell that I can throw up. We don't need a. We need a. We need to teleport. We do not need a shield. Can you get in the hole? Do you have the staff? What hole? Yeah, but you'd have to like lay it out. There's can not enough time. Actually, I'm really fucking and get fast. In the wall with him. Well, no, that's, oh, uh, shit. Hold on. You don't have the teleport staff, right? I, I used four of the charges oh, already to open Passwall. Shit, right, right, right. can oh, you open Passwall again? I, yes, but to where? Into, the, into the rock? <laughs> so you're so there while in. explosions uh, go? Um, you, might get right. oh, you might get buried. Oh, oh, is there anything flat anywhere around us? Uh, I mean, the, yeah, the, the floor is smooth stone. Wow. Can I? Can I use some of my fucking crazy ass speed that I the, the, some of the the speed to to like flash unroll the the, the fucking the fucking hole throw him in and just drag it with me, or is that insane? Drag the hole behind you. I'll tell you like, what. Put him in the hole and then pick I'll it up. I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. yeah. Unroll, throw him in, roll it up. I need you to roll. If you want to do this, I need you to make a dexterity check for oh, me. Oh, this is gonna be all. Oh, you know what? I have yeah. one thing I can do. Maybe you should. What, what, what no, is no, it? no. Divine intervention. <laughs> you try Might as well try it. Try it. Do it first. Otherwise, oh, he's going to throw you in a hole as he's going 180 miles an hour. I will reach out to oh, the change bringer. Is this a D100? You got to roll Come under your level. Come on, change bringer. Which is a 12. Come on, change bringer. Come on, change bringer. Yeah. Change bringer. Change bringer. Come on, the grudge. Um, I believe. This I'm could be so die. cool. Please fucking work. Please fucking work. Please change, work. Bringer. Please change bringer. 52. <laughs> <laughs> Here beyond the boundaries placed by divinity, the change bringer, try as she might to come to your aid, doesn't hear your call in these flashing moments of absolute disaster. Uh, as you cling onto your coin, time seeming to slow in the moments. Uh, Ashton, what are you doing? Um, I'm go. I was gonna start going through that because that apparently. I need you to roll a dexterity check. It's gonna be just a dexterity check. Oh, shit. Uh, do I? Can, can but I? But he gave you a six. He gave you an extra. He did. Going hard. All right. You're so up where on we the get. surface, Fern. Yeah, you're. You're, you're nowhere safe. near. 
Okay, dex so here's, check. You can talk so, to so the So to put this in context yeah, that's, here, that's it? Um, the blast is going to hit you. The, the strength of the roll is going to def- determine how much damage you both take. I love it. Wow. Bring it. it. All right. I love it. Here we go. Come on, don't fuck around. All right, all right. All right. Uh, Threw an anchor on the table. <laughs> yes, I did. 20. 20, okay. So that, that halves the damage. Yeah, all right. That's great. We're fine. So before the flames get to you, you can kind of just begin to see kind of like the exit portion of this, like kind of like carved mine shaft entrance beginning to come into view as it brightens up behind, but before the heat even gets to you, the, the blast comes, and right as it impacts, you're thrown down into a hole as Ashton also tries to like pull into the side, and you both, <laughs> you both take half the impact of it before it blows you both out of the cavern. Mm. So the hole kind of protects you for a second, but then it also carries you out of the hole. I need you to make a strength check to see if you can hold on to that hole and strength carry it with check. you. We'll Correct? Forever, oh my God. Strength check. Yeah, There's the a whole, lot the of stuff in that hole. Okay. Okay. That's okay, okay. shit's happening. Uh, it would stay to where it's unfolded unless he pulls A-R it. You can leave well. it if you want I'll also to. Say, I'll, I'll, oh, I'm, I'll also say I have a... Um, uh, Dead bodies. I don't know if it helps that I cannot be knocked prone or otherwise right now. I know it's crazy or if that helps anything. I'm gonna say no. it doesn't knock you prone, but you can still be pushed and you can still be blown away. Okay, stuff. yes, it's a, it's, a, it's a plus six. Pl- a plus I mean, no, I'm so sorry, it's a strength check. Yes, so strength, 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 strength check to hold on. You're raging, aren't you? I am raising, raging. Isn't that an yeah. advantage on strength? It is, it is an yeah, advantage on strength. Your feet. And and I'm also, since I'm more, I, my, my, <laughs> my strength is <laughs> much higher. You got it. So let's see I what happens. You got a d6. Come on, motherfucker. Advantage. Don't you use the d6? Oh. That's not bad. That could be worse. 16. That's not 16. bad, that could be worse. Oh, Jesus. 16, you, you, I'll, I'll say that you just barely hold on to it. Oh, like, right. like, it was, like 15, 16 was kind of the limit I, I was setting it. it. Yeah. 16, I think you, you barely keep on to it, but you lose some of the contents of That's the okay. interior as you pull it free from the blast that knocks you That's both fine. out. Not our bodies. Bodies. We'll get to figure out what else it is. However, no, you both not. take half damage. Let me roll, go ahead and roll that. Oof. <sighs> That's a really shitty roll, but that's only part of it. Cool, 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 cool. Is it? It's a shitty roll. It's a shitty roll. Even more. That's so Wait, many is this dice that he's rolling. This is dice it's damage. It's a this nuclear damage. explosion. Damage. Yeah. Those are some big bombs. <laughs> some Moabs in that. He's still rolling. Why did he put five down? One would have done the whole thing. Oh well, it's Doesn't because we're about to find out why. Can take the whole city. No fucking wonder the other uh, six people he took with him last time died. fucking died. <laughs> Jeez <laughs> Louise. I have a weird thing. That is so much. Hold on. I'm gonna do math. Ah. I'm gonna do math. I'm gonna do math. <laughs> Half, <damage>. Half <laughs> of 2,000. <laughs> oh my god. Laughing? <laughs> yeah. This is more than the key was. This is uh, 158 force damage. Halved, oh. Which is then, hold on. 179. Halved is 79, which I also have because it's force nice. damage, correct? It is force damage. Oh, which, which, which does is not, not get is not get. Okay. You're so 79 damage. Both of you take 79 points of force damage, and you are both like cannoned. <laughs> Yeah, potato. Out of his head, like full on, like <laughs> shoo, thrown at a massive arc along with bits and pieces of other Ryloran soldiers. That's just the blast you gotta land next. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> like full on skip on the ground. <laughs> Holy God. shit. You can hear, you can, I'm just, we're in the air! <laughs> yelling. 25 <laughs> points of bludgeoning <laughs> damage to each of you. Oh shit. Halved. Oh shit. Halved Halved what, what did you just say? 25, 25 points of bludgeoning. So. Oh! Halved As you both. 104. <laughs> That's 13 points of damage to me? Yes. All right. Are you uh, I'm good. No, no. you're oh. not. <laughs> we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Two points. <laughs> The rest of the sound now rocks the interior, oh, no. and you, as the sound Shit. itself is deafening, both of you, like, like you your vision, your hearing, is uh, 
shot for the moment. Like you were both ah. like officially dazed, mm. like stunned for a short time. Um, while Fern, you kind of like hear it coming and try and protect yourself best you can. And when the when like the blast comes through again, the whole ground shifts, but you're still on the uh, the force wall. And you watch rock just kind of like up around you, the wall kind of catching it. Like this I'm series sort of, of explosions coming after each other are causing different detonations. And that force wall is the only thing that's keeping you from being pulled back under or being blown by the shrapnel that's now flying by the force wall in different directions. You're just kind of surfing over chaos right now. What are you still there? Sort of. Ash! It hurts, but yes! Sort of. MCG! Sort of. Yeah! Yeah! The oh, screech uh -oh. comes through the sky. You hear uh, all manner of, of beasts barking and cawing and, and yeah. screaming at the sounds, but that one familiar go. shriek go. that you once heard well, through the skies of the Fey Realm as you attempted to escape after the first inter Malleus Key interaction, uh, you know that Glomglut is awakened oh, no. and unhappy. Right We're going to come back to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me the audio play in our heads is like, oh! <laughs> what do so, we hear? So, what do, we, do we feel the rumble? Oh, Can you tell us all of oh, so, so, so as you're So as you're in this room, uh, looking at all these things, looking, looking at the chamber, noticing that that your your target is within this 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 massive case, uh, you f hear them say like, "It's going to blow in a minute," and you kind of look at each other curiously, trying to figure out what to do. Oh. What do you do? Uh, can we get in close? Because I imagine if it happens, they're going to exit the room, right? Right. There's no other ex ex exits out of the out of this third chamber. Only we so as you come in, in, on the right-hand yeah, side, there is the another third. archway that leads to a different direction. Different entirely. Yeah. Can I go over to that archway and just look and see, does the archway lead to stairs or another room beyond? Uh, this one looks like it leads up. Are we in danger where we are? We don't know. You in danger, girl. Yeah. I would assume I, so, but... I, I, we, we gotta get this person out of the tube, right? I thought that that was gonna be a distraction so that we we're could gonna, get him out of the tube. We gotta find out. We I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go over... Shh. The whole room suddenly quakes, and you hear the blast explosion echo through the chamber, Fuck. bouncing off all the stone walls of the massive cavern beneath here. It sounds like an earthquake. The whole room shifts for a second, and you see like dust and rock kind of fall. Everyone in the room kind of grabs it. Uh, glass uh, instruments kind of like fall over and kind of shatter in places. The various uh, uh, scientists and engineers like get up and look around. Some of them get under the the table. Uh, the uh, Ryloran uh, mystic on the far end kind of like looks around and shifts to look in the direction of the stairs that lead up. Um, Did the vat break in all of that action? Or is it still just? It is cracked. Okay. Uh, I, I, I'm going to run at it and. and uh... can, I, can I also run up the stairs? Uh -huh. And from the no. stairwell, can I shout down? It's not greater invisibility. Everyone, it's invisible. evacuate just, now! Just, An invisible yeah. voice just shouts down the stairs to that room. Sure, uh, make a deception check. Okay. Come on, come on. It is, okay, okay, it is, okay, it is okay, not a terribly high DC in this moment. Everyone yeah, 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 21. Oh. Yes. 21. Uh, both of the uh, uh, the current engineers that are hiding look out and hear that and grab their shit, grab their notes, and quickly start running up the stairs the past him. The mystic kind of like lets them go by and is like, it, it looks like it's some far more intelligent than some of the other entities here, oh, wow. and is just trying to sense what's happening. Did that clear out the room except for the mystic? It cleared out the room except for uh, the mystic, and uh, the the one that's the carrying shrike. the three blades, the shrike, yeah, yeah, which is currently going to the other side and is helping like check in on the other two engineers. And it's three chambers connected by arches. So Correct. And, and they've we're gone in the third into the chamber. other. If it helps, I can give you a visual. Yeah. Yeah. This visual is brought to you by WizKids Minis. Uh, now you can have your own broomstone embedded hovering horror. The Shade Mother is sure to turn a yeah. few stomachs, and the box mini is available for pre-order. Check it out at wizkids.io slash This is now open there. And the cage is where, no, where is? So this is where, these are some of the other vials along the way. Oh, this is the main cool. vial you saw on the left, the large one. This is where she is, and this is where the, um, the ruidous structure. Yeah. Is. Okay, okay. So we have the the Shrike is currently over here. We came in from that way, right? We came in from this way, yeah. and this is the other exit. Uh, the Mystic is kind of in the middle Shit. of the chamber here. Um, we have the two other. 
by Lauren the researchers that are currently kind of checking in with this fellow here, uh, and the others have scattered out that direction. You are all currently invisible, God. kind of oh, clustered shit. over oh, here. God. Except for me, I was in the stairwell. Oh, right, yeah, the, you're, you're yeah, up yeah. here. In the werewolf form. Here, I'll give you this oh, yeah, guy. werewolf form. Thank you. So they've all been distracted that way. Chet's. Up here. We're, we're heading out this way, we hope. Correct. Who all looks like they're staying around versus who's leaving? Uh, I mean, this one is the only one that's still thinking it's staying around, and it looks like it's. It looks like it, it does not want to leave the important things that are in this chamber unwatched. Right. This isn't an attack, it's just a thing. Unsettling presence. Okay, unsettling presence. It shouldn't make me go on. on, on it invisible. doesn't. It, okay. It, so as you emanate this this dark atmosphere around you, you watch as the mystic kind of like. It's that sick vibe of like, I should leave, actually. Well, it, it definitely is unsettled. Um, it would take more actions to try and force it to leave if you want to be creative. Technically, about it. has a disadvantage on the next saving throw. On its next saving throw. Correct. Orm is going to. Okay, okay. Stealth tiptoe over to here to be about 10 feet away from the mystic. Okay, I want behind you to, it. I want you to roll a stealth check for me. That advantage because invisible, right? Indeed. Natural twenty. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Spell check, but without issue, you kind of Thank appear God behind it. At the I know, I know, I know. Blade out, and we're all mentally connected, and I'm just waiting if I have to uh, go to town. Okay. You got it. Okay. 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 Well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Mhm. 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 Oh, that would only be like ten seconds. Are we attack? I mean, are we going to try to attack this mystic and then get out? I could try ass. to take them down in one go if you guys give me the go ahead. What if? What if Both I? Both of these have now left. Okay. What's with the shrike? And the shrike is returning into the chamber. Yeah, don't worry. I have a thing that's a saving throw against it. So what if I hit it and then you? What if we, like, say now, now. and then we release go at the same time? Yes. Do it. Okay. Is the shrike? So leaving? I'm going to back up against the wall. So anything that is coming. <laughs> Through any of the other doors. Oh, the Shrike and is. If the Shrike came back in, can came I also back creep in. back oh, in? The Shrike sure. came okay. back in. Does the Shrike look like it's like gathering the, the mystic to leave? or It is looks like it's like... stepping in, and they're both kind of looking at each other and having a conversation. Worry about the mystic. Quietly. I got the Shrike. Okay. So, you moved up against the wall back this way? Uh, Yeah, it doesn't super matter. Okay, and I'm going to say what to Orem. Huh? Where do you want to be? Um, I can technically, I still have spider climb up, so I'll kind of get up and. Skitter into the ceiling. You got it. You're gonna ring girl all the way. I'm gonna ring girl. Yeah. I got you. Okay. Make a stealth check for me, please. Yes, sir. I'm gonna say to Orum, now. And so he attacks at the same time I do this. 26. Okay, also unnoticed. Uh, amongst all the chaos, that they're, they have very little perception to pick up anything that's immediately in their vicinity when they're worried about the great expanse around them. And it looks like they're both Calming, except for the echoing explosion, it looks like there's not a follow up at the moment, and they're both kind of just having that conversation. And the moment that they're distracted with each other and in each other's mind, you call now. So, who all's going and what are you doing? I am releasing a sixth level psychic lance at the mystic. Okay. Shit just about so pear shaped. Mm hmm. Let's get over. Set it. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Great. Alrighty. So, uh, it's a intelligence saving throw, but with a disadvantage because because me. Indeed. Mm. Nice. Which is good because the first roll was a natural mm. twenty. No. I'm not even joking. Fuck. That's gonna be fourteen. All right. Ah! Yes. Unsettling oh, presence okay. for the win right. on that one. Right. <laughs> so it's incapacitated. <laughs> And that is 9d6 damage. Woo! One, two, three, four, five, um, six, seven. This is, this is its incapacitation at the moment. Okay, seven. Are you kidding me? Uh, 12, 17, 21, uh, 24, plus. <coughs> Uh, five, so 20. 29? Yeah. 29 points of psychic damage. It's like 
shoo, immediately as the as the the lance strikes into its brain, you watch its eyes go wide and psychic energies kind of flare out of it with that purplish glow from the bolts that streak up your arms and it's like it falls. It, it was floating and then it falls to its feet and to its knees and it looks like it's clutching the sides of its head for the time being. What are you doing? And his arms are already running and his eyes go a deep green and all three of you see little black blooms start to grow up around this thing's neck and head. So that's the first visual, definite visual for other people besides me. Hex. Uh, and I'm going to make a tripping attack. Go for it. Uh, and it's incapacitated, so what does that mean? <laughs> it it incapacitated means it doesn't have any actions sure. or reactions. Okay. Okay. Great. This is my life. Uh, that is a 26 to hit. Oh, that definitely hits. Okay. Eleven. And it's a put. And it's a tripping attack. Eleven. So it's another. That's I'm, I'm rolling mine. 21 points of damage, and it has Wait. to beat, make a strength uh, save against. Oh no, it fails. Okay, <laughs> so it's on the ground. It's on the ground, it is now prone. Now attacks are at advantage, correct? Yes, they are. Okay, here we go. Uh, 18 to hit. Hits or? Oh, yeah. Okay. So Actually, 18 to hit? No, 18 just misses. So just misses, one. okay. Even with advantage, yeah. Okay. Second attack is a 27 to hit. That hits. Hex is nine's 15, and I'm gonna make it a. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna dump a superior to die in it anyway, so that's 15 plus. That's 18 total. Alrighty. <clears throat> that was three. Yep. Uh, action surge. You got Come it. Come on. Yeah, go. Natural for it. 20. Yo! Let's go! Let's go! How much that? Huh? How much damage is that? Uh, I didn't get there yet. On the last one? On, on the natural 20. I haven't what? rolled it yet. Yeah, I didn't rolled. do the damage yet. Okay, go for it. 3, 4, 7, 14 to 28 plus 6 is uh, 34. You add a superiority? Yeah! Okay. So uh, Oren comes running up, flowers blooming on this thing. He cuts it in the leg and it falls down to one knee. He goes back to slash it in the neck, but it falls down to the ground and he course corrects and jams it into the back of its neck, slices away, and uh, Viscera spatters the glass next to me. And then I change uh, my grip. I let go of the sword and grab it, and then go foo, into this uh, being's gut. And lift up, 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 oh, oh, and drop it into the table. Yes. yes. And it right as it dumb. falls, I'm across the room, and I am looking straight at Orem in his face <sighs> as he's doing all of that. He meets your gaze and bolts. 5, 10, 15, 20, and begins to attack the Shrike. Whoa. Let's Which he can do. do. Yeah, he has the movement to do that. Surge, yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, 27 to hit. That hits. Nope. Uh, <laughs> oh, and I move. Uh, can I? Mo I can't move the hex yet, right? No. No. So that is. Uh, so I should roll that again. I should. Okay. So it's a single d6. Two plus six is eight. Uh, let's dump. Uh, superiority die. Let's try um, tripping attack. <laughs> I like this. Yeah. So a 12 total. It has to beat the 17 strength. 17 strength. Four, no. Four, down to the ground. That's right. That's right, That's almost a natural 20. 19 to hit. Right, it's the last attack, right? Yes. 19 does not hit. Oh, and uh, so, slashes along so the as, ground. So as you slash Ooh. against it, as it falls to its side after the first hit, you see it like flicker its hand up, and the three blades that hang in its side suddenly <laughs> lift off of its uh -oh. Uh -oh. waist and spin and deflect your blade out of the way. And while it's on the ground, like starting to try and crawl away from you, it's psychically surrounding itself with three glass blades that are just kind of. Oh, shit. I scream in my mind, "Somebody get this one!" That's I'm gonna Chet. hit it. I'm gonna hit it with a bane to set up Chet. Oh. Alrighty. Nice. Saving throw on this nice. one nice. is that's gonna be natural eighteen uh, with plus charisma with throw. Charisma. charisma? Just, it's just eighteen. Son of a bitch. But he is on the ground. All right. Chet. Well. It's hot. Uh, I will uh, reach out and I will use a uh, blood curse of binding, uh, which makes uh, his speed zero, and he can't take any reactions with my bonus action. Okay. And so, uh, is there a save on that one? Uh, it is. Get the fuck out of here! What is this? Strength, Capture a I quick believe? note. Shit. Yes, it is. Uh, Where is it? Um, Constitution. Where the hell did it go? Oh, uh, strength saving throw. DC, yeah. DC fifteen. DC fifteen. Uh, no, does not make that. Yes. Amazing. So uh, speed is zero. Can't speed take any zero. reactions. It starts to crawl away, and all of a sudden, as it reaches its hand out, you watch the shadows from the ground like 
pull it down, and it's being held to the ground by its own weird shadow and the blood that's pouring out of it. Sick. Seems to be like Ooh. sticking into the stone. <laughs> and from behind me, I'll pull out that new uh, scythe with the blue glass on it. And now that he's prone, uh, these attacks will have advantage, right? Yes. yes. I'll take two swings. You wanna, now, do you want to dart up onto this structure here, or do you want to go around here if you want? Uh, what? Well, I can't you're not quite. You're not, you're not quite melee there. There is like a, like a little brazier type structure here. I want to stand on the brazier. I'll go around. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm gonna stand on the brazier. People are getting blown up around here. Heavy metal. It. I'm sure it's terrible. It's Let's gonna. Let's do it. Gonna All right, go for it. Uh, that is a. Uh, that's a twenty-two to hit for the first one. Okay. Uh, and the second 22 one. Twenty-two just hits. Oh. Just hits. Oh wow. God. Uh, Fifteen plus eleven. Twenty-six. Wowzers. Okay. Yes. Twenty-six hits. Yeah. Amazing. Two d six plus seven. Hush. Yeah. Seventeen plus two is nineteen for the first one. Oh God. Because it does an extra two to hit and two to damage on. Yeah. And creatures with seven abilities. Six. Yeah. Uh, and 17 points of damage on the second one. You got it. So more blood like streaks across the back. It's trying to move and it can't. Um, okay, that finishes the surprise round. Everyone now roll initiative. Yes. Oh. What a fucking surprise round. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was a about. great fuck surprise Holy round. Holy fuck, y'all. All righty. 25 to 20? Uh, 20, 18 plus three. 21. 21. What's your dex? 21 for me, too. Uh, Plus three. What's your statistic? Sixteen. You have the same. <gasps> Rollies! Let's go. Yeah, Rollies are the DMs. Oh. Natural seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So wait, he's got, the he's the, going he's first. He's going first. Mm. Yep. Uh, going first. Then Imogen. Uh, Twenty to fifteen. Twenty-one. Nineteen. Sorry. Oh, sorry. 21. All right. So we have uh, Chad. Imogen, Chad, Orm. All, All right. Here. Hey, y'all. You doing all right? Fourteen with eleven. <laughs> All right. Some, uh, impressive and then what do you roll? Nineteen. Okay. So speed is zero, and it's like ugh, on the ground, which means it can't get up. It has to remain prone because yeah. it can't use half movement to get up. Um, it is going to, uh, as a bonus action, it's going to go ahead and shift its telekinetic blades Oops. over here. Uh, Whoa! Five, 10, Three of them. 20, 20, 20, oh no! Feet. He's going to try to wake up that thingy. Mm. Yep. Release Kong. He's gonna try to wake up the I'm bad bad guy here. in the tooth. Right it's Dr. Right Connors. Um, and it's gonna go ahead and use its action <laughs> to make an attack with each of them against it. Oh no. Uh, 25 hits. Uh, that's cocked paper. <laughs> 28 hits. And 29 hits. Wow, he rolled really, really high on all those. Um, that's going to be 2d10. Damage each hit. First Dang. one's gonna be two D ten. What? 19. This is great. I got a fucking ball. <laughs> and it's going sideways. The blades all freaking like spitting in the air as they go over, and he's like <sighs> reaching out and controlling them. The blades, <laughs> the glass cracks, cracks, <laughs> shatters. <laughs> Oh. The liquid, the, the the thick green brackish liquid just <laughs> spills out into the ground. Chunks and shards hard of glass just kind of spread out with it. Got them on the brazier now. And you watch this oh large God. shape kind of like oh no. onto the ground with a heavy thick oh. like thud and slide. That's on. Um, you can see immediately what looks like a, like a thick carapace of some kind uh, on the ground. Uh, that that then begins to like unfurl. Um, oh. As the no. Uh-uh. No. Uh-uh. no. Is this a thingy? Is it this can't get a... up right there. There are a bunch of blades. It can't stand up. Uh, oh, 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 you can't put that, that there. So much bigger than I thought it was. Can't put that tube. There's a bunch of crazy. As the the um, the adolescent and unfinished Vidulch is released from its chamber. Adolescent Vidulch. Oh, I have a CD for that. Oh. You saw, That's you saw some of them. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a flourish permit. Oh. And it's going to roll its initiative order now. Oh. Which is at the Gabbana. bottom. All right. It rolled a two. <laughs> Still a plus six at the end, but yeah, it's plus four, sorry. All right, so that brings us, that finishes uh, the uh, the Blade Baron's turn. Uh, Imogen, you're up, Chetney, you're on deck. Uh, uh huh. Okay, wait, 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 wait. 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 
God, that joke is Let's go, casters. Yeah. Let's go, casters! Um, I'm sorry. I just had to check out that one thing and see That's okay. what I was doing. Um, one moment, please. I know, we're thinking. Oh, we're thinking. <laughs> no, I don't like that. Um, okay. One, what's, sorry, one more second. I just have to read this spell. Do you spell. want Chet to go and we come back to you? No, okay. I don't. <laughs> I know it's rough when Matt's getting past the I know, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry about it. Like, like, wait, he's next to the initial I just, it's just, it scared me. <laughs> it's all good. I'm not trying to pressure you. I'm, I'm trying to give you more time if you want. Um, no. Everybody okay. Else is, what you got? I'm going to. I'm going to. I am going to. Hold. On. Okay. <laughs> it's a 20 foot going radius. It's a 28 foot radius. Chet, you're up. Um. So I'm gonna aim it. I'm gonna come out so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. You hear the shattering sound. And you come around the corner and go. Oh God. Oh God. God. Right can I do a 20 foot radius that gets the thingy and the shrike? Without getting Chet. From there, you can certainly, yeah, you can do that. Okay. Um, God, I forget how big a 20 foot radius is. Okay. Yeah, um, it's a big old. I've never cast this before, and my hair's just gonna go poof, like flare out, and it's like it's gonna look like slow motion for a second. Mm -hmm. Cool. As I like force my hands forward, and I'm gonna cast synaptic static. Oh, okay. Which what is, is that? a 20 foot radius. No. No. Each creature in this sphere must make an intelligent saving throw. Damn, Does this remain, or is it just an instant? Uh, instantaneous. Okay, yes. So. It's both of them. All right. Uh, intelligent saving throw? Yes. Uh, Blade Baron fails. And Great. The unfinished Vidulch fails as well. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a <laughs> with all of its modifiers in, it rolled a two. Great. Each of them take 8d6 psychic damage. Yep. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Four, one, two, three, four. Why, why did I roll like shit? Okay, 10, 20, 25 points. Above average. 25 points of psychic damage. Okay. And for a minute, they both have muddled thoughts. During that time, it rolls a d6 and subtracts the number rolled from all attack rolls and ability checks. Oh shit! That's cool. As well as its constitution saving throws to maintain concentration on anything. Whoa. That's rad. Muddled. That's fucking And it has to so make an intelligent saving throw at the end of each turn. turn. To try and shake it? Yes. You got it. Okay. As the muddle? Yeah, so uh, describe how this this static looks like as it That's bursts so and emerges. Cool. It bursts, it like goes out in like a shock of pink lightning and then comes down to a small little sphere and then bursts out again. Cool. As it tears past them, you watch the Blade Baron, who's like starting to try and get its, uh, oh, does it get to try and save against? Did you just do it for the one round on the uh, the the binding? Yeah, it's just one round. Okay, cool, gotcha, yeah. So he's just starting to get up before it hits and it's like, ah, falls to the ground, clutching the sides of its head, so it's like rolling on the ground. Uh, the creature is like starting to get up its claws, and you blast it. And, like you see now, as it pulls back, you get a little better look at its body. It has uh, these massive front mantis-like blades that come out, Jesus. and then it has what looks like half dozen to a dozen of smaller blade-like legs that it curls oh. on. That all kind of like around. Its jaws open wide, and you can see that long crest where the <laughs> the adult skull that you once saw now is like yeah. a smaller version of it here. And the ones that you saw out in the middle of the the, the beast pits, who are even larger than this one, and being ready to war and siege beasts. Oh this God. one is now starting to. If anything, you heard it, and it's waking up. <laughs> but it's still muddled. It's it's muddled. It's muddled. Y'all got to get the Cronenberg out it, of it. All right. It's well, D6, D6. A minus D6 Chet. on all its attacks Everything. and saving. You're things. up with the uh, Orm on deck. Uh, Sick him, Dad. That's I will that's leap that. off of my brazier wall perch, whatever. Meow. And uh, will uh, actually I'll uh, use my bonus action from here to cast a blood curse of bloated agony on this thing that just fell out of this fucking you jar. Got it. I'm gonna use my bonus action to regain a spell with my sorcery points. Okay, there is no save on it. Uh, uh, for the duration, of the creature has disadvantage on strength and dex checks. It takes 1d8 necrotic damage and makes more than one attack on its turn. Yes, indeed. I will uh, come up with the scythe and take uh, two more swings, both at advantage because it's prone still. Both of them are prone. Okay. Yeah. On which one? The, uh, the uh, blade the, baron or the, the, the big the big creature? Natural 20 on the yeah. first. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! 
Six. All those uh, second one yes. uh, is an 18, which with this scythe is also a, a crit a on a. So those are two oh, crits. Two yeah. crits in a row. So two. Get a chat. Well, actually, here's the roll the first crit. Scythe might chatter. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I got to roll. That's yeah. right. Uh, roll the first crit seven, damage. It would still nine, deliver the pain, right? 16. Oh, yeah. yeah. 17. So 17 doubled is 30. Four? Woo! Mm -hmm. Well, you double it and then add your modifier. Oh, sorry, yeah. So, so the dice uh, and then the modifier. Uh, so it would be, th Jesus, let me start over again. Uh, seven <laughs> <laughs> plus two, right. So nine, 18 plus seven, uh, 26. So 20, yeah, 25. 25, sorry. Yeah, another, another 25 points of damage on him. Now go ahead and roll a d10 for me. A or d10. Sorry, sorry, d20, d20. Is it a d20 and then on d20. a one through what it shatters? One through six, one through I six. believe. 18. 18. So, so the first strike goes through. Like as you go to swing, you you feel the blade like almost vibrate and resonate with the psychic energy that's all around this space. Especially as the whole city itself lights up, and you're this close to the central glass pillar, it just kind of brightens as you sh carve through one section of its armor, spin it around, and it's it's weightless in your grasp. You go for the second strike. Go ahead and roll damage on the Good second crit. Lord. Okay. Uh, this is also a crit. Seventeen, nine, eighteen plus seven. Uh, same thing. Twenty-five. 25. Exact same number. Uh, and then I got to roll another. Yep, another d20. One through six. It's a four! Oh! So, as you. It's a four! As you swing, <laughs> as you swing back with the second strike, uh, describe to me how it shatters. <laughs> no! Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Can I silvery barb <laughs> that? <laughs> Would you? Oh. <laughs> no, don't, don't do it. Say it. No? Yeah. Okay. Super, okay. super temporary. I, 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 I hit okay. it. I hit it once. It makes amazing purchases. I slice down yeah. the second time. The amazing horror like makes the makes it shiver, and I just like I shank it off of a rib, and it's like <laughs> just the echoes and shadows everywhere. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right, that finishes your go, Jenny. And I will use I'll use the rest of my movement actually, considering he's still prone. Uh, five ten. I'll. Rrr. I'm gonna put myself uh, on the other side of the scarab uh, guy over here. Actually, more towards Orm. Okay, over here. You mean? Yeah, like right. Like, I'm gonna go right. They fail. Got it. Yeah. They, they all fail. You got it. All right. So yeah, you didn't leave the scarab thing, even though it's it's prone. It can still make that opportunity, but. It has a ten foot reach on this blade. I was asking. Yeah. So I was asking. Are, are attacks of opportunity out because of the uh, because of the mind well, uh, mind uh, fuckery? Good Laura, oh. does it prevent? Does it doesn't prevent reactions. She okay. gets a minus no. d six to all this. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, so you're good. Mm -hmm. Orum, you're gotcha. up. Got okay. With a lot of so Little cool. Orum crouches down and then leaps, leaving uh, dark little petals skittering behind him, and lands on the shrike. Uh, still prone. So we've got a twenty-seven to hit. Uh, that'll be. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, oh, bonus action hex on him. So three plus. Okay, so you move that over. Mm -hmm. You got it. Four. So that's ten damage. Oh. Second attack. I'm going to reroll my natural one I gotta for roll. a twenty-nine to hit. These are sneak attacks. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Uh, nine to the guy on the ground, the scarab, mm -hmm. and. Uh, four. Sneak attack damage to the creature that came out of the tube. I you got never it. remember sneak attack. That's okay. All right, warm. 15 damage on the second. It's a 29 to hit. All right, 15. And I will reroll re the one just to see if I get a 20. I know I've hit. I didn't. Okay. That's a 29 to hit. Six, seven. That is uh, 13 damage on the final. 13 damage on the Blade Baron. How do you want to do that? Do it, Let's put it through! <laughs> So I just land on his chest and go right into the chest, and he struggles against it. So I pull the sword out and uh, bring it down against his neck, and then slash one way, and his head just goes to the side. And then I bring the sword back it down and uh, stick it lands right in the eye, planted into the ground. And right, then I, right as you finish that, you hear cling, 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 as the three psychic blades that were being held aloft all just plummet to the ground. Yeah, cool. fucking awesome. I stand and. Uh, uh, fling the blood off of the blade, and boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's a big guy. He is a big guy. Um, uh, in all the chaos, is there anyone out there? Do we know? You don't know. I have no idea. We got to get this thing and out. Yeah, and yeah, we got to. Stairs of the way. 
Yeah. I can he might not be able to follow us I, if well, he's big enough. I can try and hold if you guys are grabbing right. I could run. also command him to stay. You also still have a cracked uh, target. Yeah, we gotta get that out. Yeah, that's what I mean. We gotta He's grab yeah. her. Before she turns uh, into one of those things. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, for now, I'm just gonna move and I'm gonna stand in front of Imogen. You got and it. That's the end. Okay. Finishing your go, that brings us to Ladna. Yeah, that's an interesting point. Does this thing look <laughs> big enough to where if we move through any of these tunnels, it will be able to follow us? Uh, I mean, I the, like the, minis are the doorways, these doorways, as opposed to like the stairs, the tiny staircase we went to, are meant to house hulks. Sure, you know, they, they gotta they get it out of here eventually. And this right. creature does have like a, a segmented body so, where okay. it looks like okay. it could likely right. travel and move. Okay, that's fine. That's all I need to know. Um, I am on the ceiling. I'm gonna. So not as cute as I drew him. As I skitter across. Um. Oh, God. Can this thing be afeard of me? <laughs> afeard? Anything can be afeard of you. <laughs> I'm, I'm just running around needing to do damage. I know. Um, let's just go for damage. I'm gonna skitter. Okay. All right, same and place, or are you moving over where? I'll move just a tidbit closer to it, but not much. Okay. That's good. Um, and utilizing like the blood and the blood maledict mm. that Chet already laid out, I'm going to reach out you to see my eyes go dark as the blood veins through the floor and reaches up. I'm gonna cast Blight on yes. it. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. So that's Constitution saving throw, which it has minus six D6 on. on it because of the static. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, it gets a, gets a, the total is two, but I rolled a two, minus two, and then plus two for the total. It's <laughs> incredible. That's Bane. That is not Blight. I hit the wrong thing. There we go. Yeah, so 8d8. 8d8. Eight 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 let's go. Let's, let's do this. Let's go. Let's do this. It's so satisfying. Six, <laughs> Make sure, like, seven, face cavity is roll. <laughs> <laughs> Just roll one twice. Don't roll one twice. Let's go higher than 32. Look, it's, Come you know, on. It's fun. Big numbers, big numbers, above average. Big money, big no. money, big money, big money. Over 32. Come on. It's fair. Okay. Uh, 10, 17, uh, uh, 17, shit, 19, 20, 3. Plus, Plus. roll one more. Okay, shake it up good. <laughs> 23, uh, 25. Uh, 25. 20, he has a, 25 damage, 25 damage, 25 damage, yeah. 25 damage. Yeah, you're <laughs> Seriously. Right, yeah. <laughs> That's kind um, of awesome. I will. Quarter by quarter. Yep. Wicked a spell. Okay. To uh, Eldritch Blaze. That's what the warlock does with the sword, sir. That's what we do here. Okay. Um, now it's prone on the ground, so you have disadvantage in these attacks. That is correct. Which means the way I've been rolling. Which is bad. That's not gonna. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, shit. It's big. Fourteen misses. And that's big. Fourteen misses. That one was almost a lot better than what it was. Uh, nineteen. Nineteen just hits. Okay. Just hits. Okay. Just hits. Just hits. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Why? Why am I here today? Why did I show up? Beep. I knew I shouldn't have come to school. We're going. No. Um, six. Six I a, damage. I or rolled a one. That was the hit, or that was damage. damage. Oh, it was damage. Oh, got you. So six. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So it was two attacks. Yeah. Don't you have a third for Eldritch Blast at this level? Oh, you do. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I knew that. I was, just, I was just testing you. I know it's fresher at twelve level. That's much better. That hits. That's a twenty-eight. That definitely hits. hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Come on, Come let on. me do Come on. anything better than Come what on. I've been doing. Yes. Okay. Uh, ten damage. Ten damage already. All right. Does that finish your turn? Yeah. It is now the unfinished Fidelch's turn. It gets up. Unfinished Fidelch. Oh um, God. He's they're finishing. never really. They're never really finished. They're just abandoned. It's back up on its feet. Um, <laughs> you see as it stands up, like it, it gets to its strength point, and like some of its armor kind of falls off, and you see oh. like it, like parts of it are still melting. Oh, it looks like it. What? The best way I can describe it is it, it, it wasn't fully finished being mm. cooked. 
and you see as it's like as it starts rushing towards you, it has like a like an odd, they're both dazed from your spell, but it also it looks extremely dangerous, but is also degenerating quickly. Okay. Oh, he's okay. that's good. Okay. It's gonna go ahead and like dart off to the side and uh. kind of leap over you, Chet. <laughs> and go for Laudna. And it's going to land where Laudna is. I'm gonna go ahead and move you here just so you can have that reference. Oh, oh. You kind of like okay. in the middle of all of you. He's gonna open um, it up. Oh, oh no. no it's gonna fart for no. all of us. Uh, is going to multi attack. It's gonna make five scythe claw. Oh! Oh no, actually, I can choose either of these two. It's gonna make two mandible attacks and three scythe claw attacks. Um, would you like fries with that? I would, actually, yeah. We're gonna go with the scythe claws first. So three of those. I'm gonna do. Uh, one against each of you, because now it's just it's going berserk. Yeah, yeah. So against you, Chetney. Oh, that rolled off the table. That's going to be. Ooh, with a negative six, with a d6. Oh yeah, yes, negative d6. With a d6, which I rolled a six. That brings it to 23. <laughs> Holy oh. shit! Yes, oh, that oh, I rolled an actual 18 on that. Attack. Oh my god. <laughs> so that's a big board. So you get hit with the first uh, scythe attack, which deals. Okay. Uh, ooh. Uh, 22 points of slashing damage. It doesn't reduce to 11. Damage, does it? Thank you. Uh, against you, oh, just attacking. That's a big swipe, uh, y'all. Natural 17. Misses, repost. Hold on, no, natural oh. 17. Oh, natural. Plus minus. its bonus. Yeah. Oh. And it rolled at minus 4, so we'll put it to 27, minus 4, 23. Oh, well, that certainly hits. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it rolled really good on these two attacks. Yeah. Um, not great on the damage. You take uh, 9 points of slashing damage. Yes, sir. And then against you. Mm -hmm. Uh, rolled really shitty. Uh, that's going to be a 14 minus 2 to 12. Yay! Which misses you. Yes. <laughs> uh, angrily, it's going to go ahead and follow it up with a razor mandible against you. Angrily? Yep. That's going to be a, a 14 minus 5. It's because the first two were so yeah. nasty. Yeah, that, that snap, don't, that, that don't, spell is saved. Don't roll 29. It's, it's covered in goo. It can't. Yeah. It can't. That's going to go ahead and use its last amenable attack well, on you. Well, it's got a lot of attacks. It, mm -hmm. it does. Five. Um, okay. So that's going to be 24 minus 2, 22. That does it. That's it. Or you take. Damn. What a man, what a man. 19 points of slashing man. damage. Got it. Mandible. Oh, this would be piercing damage, actually. <laughs> uh, and then because it's mandible. Wow. Uh, uh. Oh, no, wait. Take that back. I rolled the wrong dice for that one. I was rolling the dice for the other attack. This one would be. 12 points of slashing damage. 12 points of slashing damage. And 7 points of acid damage. Okay. From its mandibles that bite into you. And then it finishes its turn by using corroding yeah. spit. Corroding spit. Corroding, corroding spit. Yep, acid spit. That's gross. Well, oh, they, that's didn't, they didn't put any fluoride in the tube. <laughs> Sprays both of you. I need you to both make dexterity saving throws for me, okay. please. He thinks I'm its mummy. It's a rainbow. Manable. It's It's raining. Very manable. Sixteen. Sixteen. Both of you got 16. You both succeed, so you only take half damage, so eight points of acid damage okay. to each of you. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Um, that finishes its turn. At the end of its turn, you oh see boy. part of it kind of fall off. Oh boy. Um, it loses an attack, it loses some of its AC, and its speed is reduced. Each oh. turn, it gets worse and worse. Right, so we can outrun oh. it. We can... Is that because of your spell? Or because That's it, wasn't it just cut? wasn't done. It's just it. falling it apart done. once it's mm -hmm. out of the chamber. Oh, boy. Dang. We still right, get top of the again. round, Imogen, you're up with Chetney on deck. We gotta get okay. that thing. Or that thing. thing. <laughs> get that girl. Okay. Out of um. <laughs> I wanna hold your mandible. Oh, was, she, <laughs> was she also in the cage that had like a glass uh, thing? Or was she it? was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. She I was. She was held aloft in liquid. To... Okay. Uh, <laughs> no. Just. Oh god. Sam is only. Which, by the way, you glance over and you can see that. Uh, right uh, um. Gona she's is currently like holding on to the side and is like slamming the glass. Oh, she's awake. She, uh, the, the 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 small Sida, like oh, like her Sida oh, is oh, Gona, yeah, Gona. and it's, it's not doing anything, but she's trying to, trying to break away. the glass to get to her. Imogen, what do you got? She's a man. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna stick with what I know, and I'm gonna reach up and just try to lightning bolt straight through its body. Okay, yeah, you go ahead and arc down. Feel like. The the presence and it's it's interesting as you begin to uh, to cast your spell like you start noticing now whenever you unleash one of these spells all the different chunks and pieces of glass within this <laughs> laboratory all light up in unison as you release the spell. When Imogen does it, it's all yeah. resonant to the psychic magic around you. Cool. So uh, this is a fourth level lightning. Fourth bolt. level lightning bolt. It's a dexterity saving throw yes. for it. Oops. Uh, <laughs> has a really nice dex saving throw bonus, but rolled a natural one. Oh great. 
So, uh, definite so fail. 96. This is the other side of my good rolls. They're finally coming back to haunt me. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. When I'm in. I'm going to stop rolling. <laughs> No, that was, that was good. That's good. Ugh, I terrible. Terrible. Uh, 10, 16, I love 18 you looking at plus, and plus <laughs> 5. <laughs> 18 plus 5 <laughs> is. 5 is 23. Not good. 23. Not good. 23 points of damage. The bolt strikes through it. It shrieks and like slams into the stone behind. Pouring parts of its body kind of and a couple of its like small legs kind of just oh. fall off of it and kind of slam into the ground and continue to twitch, but separately from it. Um, do you want to stay put? Uh, I am gonna quicken. Oh wait, can I? Yes, I can do this. I can quicken a spell, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna um, inflict wounds. No, that's first level. That's first level spell. I am going to it. shocking grasp it. You got it. Okay. D uh, do you roll the hit or does it roll? I rolled a hit. One? Okay, Shocker. go for it. Uh, twenty. Twenty. That definitely hits. Its AC is now seventeen. Okay. That's three d eight damage. Uh, oh, oh, that's great. Uh, 15 plus three. Uh, no, 15 plus six, my bad. Even better. It's 21. 21. It's looking real bad, y'all. All right, gotcha. that finish your turn? You gonna stay put? Uh, it's gonna attack me if I back up. Probably. Then I'll just stand where I am and hope okay. that everybody else finishes it off. You got it, Chet, you're up. Uh, with my bonus yeah, action, I'm gonna reach up with my werewolf claws, I'm gonna rip my ears off. <laughs> <laughs> And flames take their place. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> it's like Crimson Right. That is my favorite Crimson Right description I've ever heard. What the fuck? <laughs> Three swipes against the fucking. Wait, what did well, go? Two swipes to... technically, because you use your bonus. Oh, I did. Shit, yeah, just the two. That's okay. <laughs> did Gona see that? Huh? Uh, it's getting know. worse. Yeah. Uh, Gona's like. <laughs> cool. <laughs> really high perception. Uh, nine plus. Ooh, it's only nineteen to hit on the first one. Oh, nineteen hits. Oh, down. <laughs> oh, that's right. It's down seventeen. Amazing. Uh, second one. Fuck yes. Uh, sixteen plus ten is twenty-six. Oh, kill it! Kill it! Come on! Kill it! 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 Kill uh, eight, six, 14 plus four. Um, 18. That one. How do you want to do that? Ah! Yeah! 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 Amazing. Fire eared werewolf Chetney <laughs> walks up and uh, perfectly, he does one swipe up the sternum and then reaches in and grabs the rib cage and goes. It's. As you. Pierce your claws into it. You expect like, like hard resistance, but some oh, of its carapace has become soft as it's beginning to to disintegrate, and it's like pushing it. into Small? yeah. And you pull apart, and it's it just like it pulls open like a zipper, and you watch as all of the necessary contents of its torso just out. It's still standing, like its rigid structure is still there. And it goes like. And it, I'm eating a little bit. I'm eating a little it dies bit. kind of on its feet, like the feet collapse a bit, and the hardened structure of its outer shell holds it, holds it up while the, the soft parts just kind of Spills liquefy gross. and hit the ground. Ugh. Does it have a particular taste to its gore? Um, yeah, very pine saw. <laughs> I mean, look where it was. We gotta get her out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Great. So what's the plan? What's the plan? Yeah, I run over and start doing what I almost did earlier, and I slash at the glass. Okay. Slash. Uh, it, it, we'll say uh, you don't have to roll from any of attacks here. It's already damaged in between the bludgeoning. It takes you just a, a ten seconds or so to eventually like bash into it before the glass breaks and she emerges from it. It's like the, the, the tubes and chains that kind of hold her up uh, begin to like pull and detach as you grab her and lift her up. And is she's she awake? she's barely conscious, but is a, is awake. Okay. Can can we, we, uh, oh yeah, healing potion. Can or we or anybody got like a thing to give her a little boost. Do you have I any healing? I could do, I will do a Wither and Bloom. Okay. And give her, does she have some dice that she can roll? I'll say so. Not a whole lot, but how many can she spend? The equivalent of a short rest? Uh, in a, okay, yeah. You, hang on, hang on. Spin and roll one of its end hit. 
take one hit dice. You regain a number of hit points equal to the roll plus my spell casting okay. ability modifier. Okay, so, so it's six whatever plus she has plus five. Plus five, so eleven. All right, so she okay, heals up good. eleven points. All right. All right. Yeah. So she kind of like. <sighs> Everoa, we yeah. gotta get you out of here now. Can you walk? I, I, I don't know. I haven't walked in days. Let's try to. <clears throat> Her legs are a little jelly, and she, she's like, Ooh. she's trying to take a step. Like, like they're not like jelly, but like oh. she's having a hard time keeping her weight on Chip, it. Like, can you help? Yeah, can you carry? No, I'm actually going to grab the mystic. How big and tall is the mystic? Uh, at, at full height, probably about seven foot. But then it has kind of hunches and kind of. I'm going to take its arm and I'm going to put its arm over my shoulder and pick him up, like I'm helping him out. Ooh. And now I'll be like. Oh. Oh. We gotta get out of here. Okay, I was just gonna turn us all invisible, but. Oh. <laughs> yeah, if you can help everyone though. Yeah, I can get all of us at wow. a high level. Yeah. <laughs> While they do that, I'm gonna skitter down, skitter down to the shelf with all the like uh, of the the little little fetuses. Yeah. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna swipe a few. Oh oh oh! And the p and the thing. I actually will take the bag of holding and try and fit the about, piece of Aorian tech. Yeah, the big. The, I will try and put yes, it in the bag. Yes of yes yes yes. Come on. Make a strength check for me. Okay. Come on. I'm in my wolf form. I understand. Can I get? Advantage yeah, you get you get advantage that? when you're in your wolf form. Okay. If you all right. If you say so. Yeah. How big is the ruidus model? Uh, I mean, the I sphere is about that big. Yeah. Oh. Um, it's part of like a like a larger device in its base, but the the, the main port. Can is I about grab that big. the sphere? Can I like? Yeah. Get diorama. it on my back. Yeah, you can do that. Okay, I'm cool. gonna hold this. Yes. Natural 17 plus four for a 21. 21. You kind of like push, push, and you can like, it, it resists and stretches barely. Um, you're afraid it might rip right. and and destroy the device before it kind of like fits in. Okay. Huh. I skitter over Chetney and go, had these two, and slip a few a few fetus bottles. There you go. Okay. Got, right. you, got, you got some air tech and some fetus bottles. Great. <laughs> um, all, and all that chaos. I can't remember if, I, if any of us have ever seen a Judicator's face. Is the mask on the Judicator right now? The mask is off. Off? What do we see? <gasps> uh, it, is a, it is a mess of flesh and muscle. The, it's like they've pulled uh, the it eyes off. are gone. Uh, which is where the mask is. It's almost like, it's, it's almost like a heavy branding burn. Oh. Uh, or some, you don't know if it's been done post. Yeah, or before. You know? Does it look like the, a metal mask was like burned, seared fused, onto, seared yeah. onto flesh? The shape of the wound is perfectly the shape oh of where the mask God. sits on the oh. face. Oh. What the fuck, Vasselheim? We got oh. questions. Oh. Fucked up. Do we see the mask? Inside mask? edition. Mask is not around. Vasselheim. Okay. okay. I'm going to cast six level invisibility on all oh. of us so we can get up Damn. and out of here. Damn. Okay. That six oh. level gets five people. It would, yeah. Yeah. Um, you're also hearing the sound of footsteps approaching and other yeah. folks like scattering about, go. checking in on stuff. As we start to, we are moving. We are moving. <laughs> I'm gonna check in. Fern. <laughs> FCG. How's it going? Is everyone alright? It's about right? this moment that you are now saying the like. Letters. Yeah. Uh, ash. We're okay. So Ow. We're, sort of. Oh, I'm gonna oh, cast fourth level cure wounds on Ashton. Do, do I, do, am I some, These some of do you're I know where I am? Sure. Hmm? Do I know Please. where I am? <laughs> Make a perception check. Fourth level cure wounds. Where am I? 20. 20. Thank you. We're here. Right. Fourth level cure wounds 26. on myself. 26. You kind of glance around and you can see there's like smoke billowing up from the outside of the now collapsed mine. There's flames that have emerged and things are on fire. Banners are like burning from the outside of that space. People are screaming and soldiers are looking around. It looks like uh, bits of rock and rubble that were fired out of it with your friends also like impacted nearby residential buildings on the upscale rather than a neighborhood that surrounds the outside of the pillar. Uh, you hear the screech again of glow glut that's like flying overhead. Um, you kind of triangulate where you are, looking at the wreckage of where the entrance of the mine was, and you now know where you are as you kind of still sit over this wall of force. Okay, so uh, so how, I'm pretty far from where I think they are underneath. You're, uh, I mean, when you got plucked up by uh, Ira, they, they managed, they were traveling fast and got hundreds of feet away, so they got flung even further, so they're probably a good 500 or so more feet away from where you are. Okay. Oh, are you sure? Yep. All right. I, I'm just gonna try to run to where I think that they they would be. I'm going to just describe what I'm seeing. Uh, what are we seeing? Uh, right now, stars. Uh, you are both 
deeply stunned by this. You, you're just starting to come, you're just starting to come f- to. The only reason you could hear what they're saying is because it's directly into your brain. Because right now your hearing doesn't work. You just hear this high pitched ring. Um, and as you kind of glance around the space, the pain and the aching in your your bodies, uh, you see like the wreckage and smoke around you. You see people trying to pull others out of the wreckage. Um, it's it's tough to know exactly where you are and where you got thrown. All you can see is the massive pillar that marks, the, the massive glass center column of the city that marks a perpetual landmark, and some some approach at gaining a sense of where you are. Uh, is there uh, So we can see the pillar, and everything else around us is just smoke and... You can see the pillar, and you can see flames, and you can see rock, and you can see soldiers moving around. Let's get away and... from the pillar, right? Yep. <laughs> so we'll just I'm go away, away from it. Yeah, okay. I'm throwing you on my back, and I'm moving as best I can, and I'm keeping my eye out for yeah. anything that mm-hmm. might hit. You rolled high enough perception, um, where you can... S- now, you still all have seeming on you, um, so you can see the direction of where like the flames were and everything. Um, you rolled 26, is what you said? Uh, it, it takes you a little bit of time, but you begin to pick up the illusory images of the two of them. But by then, they've also moved far beyond. You guys both are traveling at pretty much the same speed away, and they're not catching up to you. Um, you think it's them. You just I'm just you're running to to what I think is them. I'm just correct. trying to find them. I'm gonna you know, roll a d20 for me. I can. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, roll, roll 20. On a, I don't want it. On an 11-plus, on an 11-plus, actually, just tell me what. Tell me if it's an 11-plus. 16. 16. You rush up to a Quantica and uh, my seat kind of uh, darting away from the wreckage. And there you are! You both suddenly are surprised oh, by a familiar oh, voice. Ah, it's a big fucking hug. Oh, oh god. god. Oh god. god. You're, you're okay. okay. You're okay. Oh, you're okay. You sort of survived. Okay. Fuck. Run. Yeah, where? Now, Fern. Uh-oh. It's about this time that you notice that the the red glow around her is brightening. Uh-oh. Simultaneously, you feel oh shit. Oh, no. This no, red glow flare. around you brightening. It's uh, worse. And through both of your minds, you hear this high-pitched scream. It's again, we're this earth-shattering scream of fury and horror. And then it, with that, the scream is gone. What are you doing? Did it affect them? Male anything? voice, female voice? Female. Even through my, even through my... A female voice. Circlet, I still got it. Yeah, you f- you felt it. Oh It God. wasn't in your mind directly. I you just, just felt, you felt it. The voice? Right. Did it seem familiar? Uh, maybe. Imogen. You've yeah. Heard a, you've heard a lot of screams in your day. I heard it. I heard it. Heard what? We got to get out of here now. There was a now. scream. I just want to make sure it wasn't her. Make your way back. Female voice. To the to the hideout. Is it still there? Uh. I'm, I'm going to look around to see if I can see any landmarks that haven't been destroyed. Make perception check. Uh, I am going to um, grab Ashton's hand. Mm-hmm. 21. Don't let me float away, please. Gotcha. Okay. 21. You look around and you can see a bunch of a bunch of things in the area. You can kind of make out loosely the, the pattern of roads that look semi-familiar when you first came here. Uh, I was nowhere to be seen, but you kind of gather the entry point to the inner circle of the city that you you came through, and you start heading that direction, at which point you you see this another detonation from across the way, this blast of bright energy with like a pinkish tone. You see the top of a shell-shaped building explode, and chunks of it fly out and kind of stop and float in space. And immediately you see, just out of a bullet of a gun, this singular kind of like lavender streak of power and energy that enters and kind of lifts and floats in the sky. You glance up and what you, Imogen is up in the sky and escaped this. What are you doing? Oh shit, Matt! We, we get, uh, we, uh, we're not out yet, though. We're oh, making our way out. Treasure Scribal! Treasure Scribal! 
Quite sure. Uh, shush, it, shush, 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 shush. it is moving. Moving where? Coming moving down. down? Moving down. Ah, we, we gotta go. We, we, gotta we go, can see it go. too. But do we? Yeah, he's just holding it there. We're invisible. We're not underground anymore. We're, we've no, we're coming up. No, we're no up. actually, you don't see it because you've yeah, probably all lost your sight at this point. No, you all can't see invisibility. I tell, I tell, I did, 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 did. Oh, she's moving down. She we we're go. moving up. We gotta go. She's we gotta go. We gotta go. Yeah, we're running. We're coming up through the stairs and trying to retrace our steps back to, from where we came. Although we didn't, we did. It's a different staircase. I'm right. keeping but so, Everoa Ever would know how to get out. True. Yeah. And and she's kind of guiding you a little bit. She's like, uh, she starts says back the way you guys came, is like uh, that's that's the only. Way from from this point. Yeah, yeah let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. 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 go the way we came. Okay, as you head back towards that area, you can see now soldiers are starting to swarm in. Um, the way is partially blocked. If you want to, you could go ahead and try and make acrobatics checks to dodge past the cluster of soldiers here as a group acrobatics check to not bump into any as you're rushing through. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, whoever's holding uh, Everoa rolls with a disadvantage because you're having to help her through it as well. Give her to me, right now. Okay. Because acrobatics, checks. It's yeah. acrobatics. Yeah. acrobatics yes. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So it's a right. disadvantage? Yeah. Disadvantage for you, yeah. Come on, you guys. Okay. 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 Natural okay. one, which I'll reroll. Ooh, ooh, yeah. halflings. All right, what we got? Chetney. 14. 14, okay. Coward. 20. 20? Sorry. It's all right. Orm? 20. 20. 17. 17. Ooh. You all squeeze through like. Like like you're 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 making your way through a football field and just dudging past them. It's you dart through as as people are rushing through and crossing past hallways. You eventually squeeze past and find the spiral staircase uh, that leads you back up to where some of the upper levels were. Um, at which point, uh, Everoa and goes to point down the entry, the exit that she knows, and down that way, oh no. it's filled with soldiers. Like they're starting to lock off perimeters and exits. Oh, that ain't gonna work. Is that down that hallway that, that we came into? Once no, no, that's, that's that's the one towards the entrance that she was guiding you. You can go back, the, try and go back the way you came, or you can try and find another path. There's like there's the, the way in front that she guided you. There's the way to the right where you came from. There's the so left. So the way she wanted to go is not an option. It's Correct. It's full up. I mean, you could give it a shot if you had no, some creative no, no, no. means of doing so. Should we but. Use, you give it like distraction? Ah, uh, give me another way to distract. We don't, do we? No, we should go the way we came if it's less blocked than the way she wanted to go. Okay. All right, let's or try. Or try and find a, one of these offshoot balconies and just go Yeah, for right? It. Is, is there an offshoot balcony? Mm, well, well, there's just one can, that would leave. If we're peeking indoors as we go, I can this passage which we abandoned, and then there's a brand new passage without soldiers in it, correct? Correct. Yeah, right. this, this is a whole different area. This, yeah. yeah you, guys, you guys are up yeah, on a yeah. different okay, floor. But our we'll choices go. are clear passage and soldier passage. Well, there's, there's two clear passages and the soldiers, a three way. To the right is the where you came from. The left you have not been and don't know anything about. And it seems that Everoa, who is is not like a natural denizen that knows the space, uh-huh. she was kind of put in a place and was you know only kept to what she was supposed to be focusing on. Um, and the one exit that she does know towards the front is currently filled. Let's with... Let's go to the left. Let's go to the left. Let's go to the left. That's how. Yeah. Okay. All right. You dart to the left and lead past. There are you know, multiple open doors along the way, and you can see there are vanguard members like getting up and like gathering their stuff. You can see there's people that are just hiding like blankets over them, scared. Huh. Um, some like the younger vanguard members that are kind of cut off guard by the chaos, and you see fears kind of taking hold within those who aren't ready for conflict or chaos. Uh, continuing down the hallway, uh, it comes to another staircase that goes down below or turns right. As we're going right. by any of those we rooms that were right. open with people inside of them, did we see any balconies past? No, the these are all inside the, the citadel, it, if you will. We don't need to go deeper, we need to go up to get back out, right? Maybe. There are different balconies, you're not quite sure. You gotta take it, we're going this way. Okay, yeah. so we're not. We're going straight, we're not going down. I think so. I mean, we're turning, not going down. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Still, yeah, we're still going the up. same direction. Yep. Same okay. level okay. or okay. up. Okay, okay. okay. All right, so you all dart past to the right-hand side, continuing down that way. As you rush down, you can see like two hulks come darting past a crosswalk, yeah. and like <laughs> bounding past. As you both, you all kind of stop and let them go. Way to beat. Continue on through. As you go past this like T intersection, you look both right and left, and you can see more people are coming. The place is just starting to swell and swarm with soldiers. Um, Anything as, with light, anywhere light coming through windows. Not a whole lot of light here underground. Yeah. Oh fuck! Yeah. So You're we right. gotta get up. Yeah. Gotta go up. I mean, underground at all? Right. We're just trying to find a balcony. Right. Yep. You continue past the way, and you come to yep. a, uh, a T intersection. Mm-hmm. You're supposed to a cross intersection where it comes to an end. To the left, you can see there's one doorway to the right that is open, uh, and you see like one kind of sheepish 
uh, vanguard figure kind of looks out and then closes the door behind him. And to the right, it looks like it continues on and then turns to the right to a curve that goes back into the citadel. We should look, we should open that door. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe there's a balcony that way. Yeah. Okay. You all go to that door, you go ahead and grab it, and it's like it's held closed, but not by a lock. It's like somebody's holding it on the other side. Fuck that shit. Yank it. Yeah. Strength check. Okay. Under 12, uh, 17. 17. You take it open and you watch as this like younger vanguard uh, uh, half elf character uh, kind of stumbles back. Ah! And hits the ground and is like. Ah, ah, ah. You can see just like the fear in his eyes. Looks oh. very much out of his depth. Uh, but sees nothing beyond the door and is just like waiting for something to come and get him. Is there a balcony in this room? Uh, there is a balcony across the way. Yeah, we yeah. just go right around. Yeah, just ignore yeah, it. Yeah, in a second, I think. Okay, you all kind of shift around, darting past, and you seem kind of like hearing footsteps, <laughs> <laughs> but not really knowing where it's coming from, and goes and like pulls under this, uh, like a, a, a rough looking chair and kind of digs halfway underneath and kind of holds uh -huh. carefully to himself. You all dart up to the, the, the do doors that are partially open to the exterior balcony as you emerge. You step out to the edge and you look, it. it's only about eight, 10 feet of balcony width to where the edge is, I can't do it and I it's can't a good, it. 70 to 100 foot drop from where you stand. What about you can we see the city all around you. But we, yeah, we just rope. do we a regular, just we just yeah, tie, just tie it, it, tie it to something and, real. And yeah. rappel down. <laughs> right at this point, you see the explosion at the top of a building, the rocks kind of filtering out and hovering for a minute. Oh, now and we're the, catching up. You're now catching up, and you see the, the, the strike, streak of pink <gasps> lavender energy up oh. into the air, and you immediately know the source of the scream that you heard earlier. It was her, it was my. And, and, and yeah, she we gotta get out. Be all right. What are you doing? But, I mean, we're we're, on, we're, get the rope yeah, yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, we're rope, 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 one of them like tugs and pulls on it, calls over some others. Uh, they all start rushing up and kind of like one of them starts climbing it up, starts giving commands to go see who came up through that area, and they're investigating. Uh, nothing. Um, but as you all kind of scatter off towards the outer open ring to begin to merge with the rest of the uh, surrounding uh, populated buildings that kind of hit the outer outskirts of this region, you see that purple flame like flickering in the air, and. In both of your heads, you just hear the phrase, Did she know? <gasps> We're going to end there. What do you mean? Oh, did she know? Why? Did she know? Oh, no. We'll pick up from there next week. Hates you now. You we I mean, I mean, did she I know? mean. I gave her warning. Yeah. I, I said, dream. I told her to run. I told her to run in the dream. I told her. You told oh. her, you told her, you told her, you told her. This could mean lots oh, of yeah, things. Oh yeah, that was that kicked off a lot of things. things. That means there was an assassination attempt against her that yeah. failed. That's what which the we knew was, was. going to happen. Which means there's probably some dead volition members you know. for sure. Like we told them. Oh no! Who, wait, was it Rashina? Yeah. Going to do yeah. that one? Yeah. You know, Rashina uh, and or um, oh, Gastomo. Gastomo were going to be part of that. Was, we yes, told it them. Was, yeah. Oh, no. We tried to tell them, them and she got all bitchy. There was also a rescue mi mission for the Strife Emperor? Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh. All right, all right. We'll, oh, we'll see what uh, okay. Hold up, hold yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have Fuck. to maybe learn some of these answers next time. No! No, let's do it now! <laughs> On another edition. Let's Indeed. Yeah. Let's just play like a little bit longer. <laughs> just like, Soon can enough. We, can Soon we enough. Meet up right now and Soon talk enough. about it? I promise. Okay, okay, okay. okay. All right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you all. I'm excited for the next one. Shit's getting crazy. Uh, thank you all so much for joining us. We love you very much, and is it Thursday? No. Good night. Oh. Oh. Oh.